come the next season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, hey, Rob, you help us unpack. Didn't what? Bring a fucking jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Wileyverse, everybody. <laughs> This is going to be the last week for Robert. He took a job in Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> what a night. <laughs> what a night. Oh, remember, I must have aced that interview. Yeah. <laughs> Carried all of them. I'm going to be delivering mail <laughs> to three other people in one hut. <laughs> I watched a documentary on, like, they just stayed a year at mm -hmm. the U.S. one. And they need, they even need, like, people just to run the stores and yep. stuff. Mm -hmm. And they say when it's winter down there and like there's never daylight, everybody just kind of forgets like their schedule and stuff. Sure. Right. And they, time uh, just goes out the window. Like everybody ends up on different sleeping schedules and like people just like they don't even talk to each other. <laughs> oh God. Sounds miserable. Seasonal disrespect disorder. <laughs> I think I watched that same thing. Does that have a bit where they got a pinhole in one of their trailers that got frozen on the inside? Because I watched a couple. There's one where they, they don't use all of the facilities all the time. And one of the, like, basically it's like a, you know, when you have a construction site, they bring up a, a trailer, and then that becomes the office, you know, that sort of thing. They have a bunch of those all over the place because they're just shipping containers. They're easy. And one of them got a, a hole in it about the size of it. He's like, well, when we find it, it'll probably only be about the size of my pinky. But the cold wind blew in and just fr like blast froze everything, so the ice came away from the wall, and you could just see it like where where it started. He's like, "We're over there," <laughs> and they were like, "How long has this been, you know, abandoned?" He's like, "I don't know, 24, 27 hours, something like that." It's like completely <laughs> unusable. Yeah. God. My uh, my only story for that is Scott's brother mm -hmm. went to Antarctica as a firefighter, yeah. <laughs> and the facilities, you know, there are multiple facilities all in this compound. And when a whiteout happens, when a storm happens, no one can go outside. Well, like if you're a if you're a scientist and you're in the scientific facility and it's past you know time for you to go home, you're sleeping. You're there. you're there. You're stuck there until they can let up and let you go outside. It's just, it's just too so, damn cold. Too cold, uh -huh. right? The only people that can go outside. The fire firefighters, <laughs> yeah. because if a fire happens, you still have to respond to it. Yeah, and uh, they had a whiteout, and apparently something happened, like a, a breaker, like got too uh, insulated, oh. and so it overheated. Oh, <laughs> like, no. uh, so they got an alarm. So they had to go check it. So they go into the garage where the truck is. They start to open it, and there's a picture. the The door is only open this big. You just see a little crack of light at the bottom, and it's snowing inside it instantly froze all the moisture inside the moment the cold air was affected so all of a sudden it just snowed in in the garage <laughs> that's, that's like even in illinois when it, when it sleets and stuff they'll, they'll call school for wind chill because it's not snowing it's not sleeting but if you go outside it's it's negative four but the wind chill is making it negative 22 so when you go to Antarctica, you, you drop it like 40 more degrees. Yeah, you know, yeah. this wind chill of negative 40, and you're like, well, fuck this, dude. Like, <laughs> nothing lives. But anyway, you probably get done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But join the fire team. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can run the shop and teach everybody D&D. &D. Yeah. Well, that Antarctic dishwashing season, or that, that year I spent dishwashing in Antarctica, <laughs> was like a <laughs> great time. <laughs> no one knew when to show up for game though, because everyone's schedule's fucked. Yep. Hmm. That's pretty much why Scott's brother did it. It's just to mm. have it on his resume. Yeah. So. Too bad there's no archaeology down there. Yeah. Kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> have we have we really looked? Have we really looked down there? Well, Find I mean, a whole civilization under the ice. <laughs> yeah. There's an aliens. I know <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to discover it. <laughs> oh, fuck, we bury it. Why? I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> There's this really weird pyramid up here <laughs> made out of a material. We don't just bury it. Yeah, no. yeah. Erase all the data. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I, I know where this goes. <laughs> God. What are you famous for? Oh, they named the Galen Catastrophe after me. <laughs> yeah. discovered the metal pyramid in Antarctica. <laughs> How'd you do that? I was like, well, there's no archaeology in Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the conversation we're having at the little inn by the pyramid. <laughs> uh, the, uh, more of a restaurant, the, the Silk and Sands. Silks and Sands. Um, yeah, so... 
Welcome to the Spinal Road, everybody. The most boring D&D stream on Twitch. Uh, where our group plays a, a bunch of people running a business. Uh, we've got a security guard, an accountant, and a notary, and their office assistant. Uh, it's great. It's like The Office, but with swords and magic. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the Spinal Road is Dungeons & Dragons of the 5th edition, set in Forgotten Realms, specifically Baldur's Gate, where our crew is running a business, a uh, merchant house, that is expanding from the lands of intrigue up into the Sword Coast and trying to get a foothold. Uh, that company is called The Spinal Road, and it is based in Om. Uh, they have moved up to Baldur's Gate or established an office under uh, the benefactor, Aria, who is the head of the, the efforts of the Spinal Road in this region. Uh, at the end here, we have Galen playing Vidic Khan. Vidic Khan is a caravan guard, battle master, security for the facilities and, and personnel, uh, and all around uh, stalwart guy. <laughs> oh. Next to him is Robert playing Needle, yes. the goblin accountant. Yes. Also a wizard. Uh, he is a Baldur's Gate native. Uh, he's from Baldur's Gate and used to work for the competition, the Sabres and Sails Steerage Fleet, a uh, overwater uh, merchant house or transit company. Yeah, it was very wet. I wanted to dry a job. Yeah. So you just moved from the Wharf District up to the to next you, district yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eastway or whatever it is. It's better. Now we have Mitch playing Dormach Jewel Mall. Turtle Monk. Turtle Monk. Uh, I did change the overlay, so like we don't have like. Oh, okay. that at all. I saw you turn your head, and I was like, "Is it still?" Uh, he is a priest of Joaquin, the goddess of mercantilism and commerce. Uh, he is a Golden Eye, which is a you know, actual really cool cleric yeah. uh, of Joaquin, and he is up here to officiate all the official stuff of the Spinal Road's expansion into the north. I am Wiley, I am playing everybody else, which also includes the NPC, Kaladora, who is a fallen Asimar rogue, and their guide through the seedy underbelly. Uh, loss prevention officer. And loss prevention officer. You know, uh, their guide through the seedy underbelly of Baldur's Gate. She tries to keep them out of trouble as they go from district to district, conducting their business to uh, which brings them to a night at the at the opera. Uh, you guys have previously gotten a ticket to a very exclusive uh, show at the Oasis Theater in Little Kalimshan outside the city. Uh, the ticket was given to you by an unknown person who wanted to specifically meet with Arya to negotiate a deal. Um, um, Garden of Whispers. The, that. the Garden of Whispers, next to the Jewel Emporium. Uh, you have escorted uh, Arya to the to Little Kalimshan, where she has entered the Oasis Theater, and the, the theater is getting underway. Uh, but since you don't have tickets, you guys have uh, taken up a post at a little kind of open restaurant, cafe, tea house uh, next door called the Silks and Sands, where there are dancers and refreshments and tea and hookah if you want it. I think it's um, drunk seamstress is a drunk a drunk right seamstress now? has has attached herself to Vidic uh, and is trying to become the Spinal Roads outfitter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Finessa. I'm gonna have to have a talk with you about sleeping with the help. <laughs> Is how we do. It takes them at least a week to figure out they shouldn't sleep with anyone at work. And you like to be the guy that shows them that, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. You want to be like Fonzie, don't you? Yes, I do. What is that? Wedding singer. Mm-hmm. I didn't see that so long. Yeah. I didn't see that Anne Simon movie. Long time. You're not listening to it. Have you seen an Adam Sandler movie? <laughs> <laughs> then you've seen it. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. His problem, especially now that he's doing Netflix, is that he has his own production company. So he puts the money up, he writes it, he directs it, he stars in it, no one gets to tell him no, and then they print it. Yeah. And you're like, why is this so crappy? Why didn't nobody say anything? It's because he's paying everybody to, <laughs> yeah. to, to like, basically film a movie with him. What a life. 
God, his the most recent one I just saw was like it's like the week of or some shit where his daughter is married. Yeah, oh, it's mine. I already have one. Oh, you already have one? Yeah, it's oh, from there it our is. last our last night. Did you bring snacks? <laughs> he brought snacks. Have some skittles. What well, wasn't the? Didn't he have like a serious movie that he was in uh, Un- about the jewel trading? Love. No, no. Oh, no. uncut gems. I, I haven't seen that yet. No, I haven't seen it. I think that was not bad. Actually. But this this most recent one is it's him and Chris Rock and like his son is or his daughter is marrying Chris Rock's son, but Chris Rock is like rich and this guy's not so well off, so he keeps wanting to put the money up for the wedding and it just you know oh hilarity ensues mm-hmm. but really it's just mm-hmm. mundane. It's, it's like it's Adam Sandler, and Chris Rock, and like David Spade. Mm-hmm. And like, you know that's all all retired and they're just making their own. <laughs> Pretty much. And what was the the movie where they all? Grown-ups? Grown-ups, yeah. Grown-ups, yeah. I want to get chocolate wasted. <clears throat> when you eat too much ice cream. That's what wasted means. You have to be careful what you tell kids, because they'll carry it off. All right. We have a, a, we have a kid in the morning. First thing, like, the, the camera comes on and her hand's already up. So I started letting the other kids ask her questions. So every morning they come up with, like, harder and harder questions for her. They're just ridiculous. Like, where did the universe come from? I'm like, go for it, answer. And one of them was, why do hyenas laugh? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, it's because their tails tickle their butt. <laughs> as soon as I said it, I was Uh-oh. like, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> and I just saw like 20 kid faces light up on the screen where I'm like, God, you're going to run and tell your parents that <laughs> right Guess now. What Mr. Taylor. I haven't heard anything back yet, but I was like, shit. Yeah, that's going to be one of those things that they're going to just, they assume is correct because you said it. And they're going to go through life for a little while. Mm-hmm. They, they know me well enough, I can assume they think I'm joking, but I, I still, I taught them an inappropriate joke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're just going to be at a party or something. What do you mean those laughs? Because their tails tickle their butts. I learned that in third grade. <laughs> Today I learned that hyenas don't laugh because their tails are tickling their butts. <laughs> <Yeah>. I'm 34. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Taylor. <laughs> some story where some woman was at a party and they were talking about animals and she started talking about unicorns as if they were real because she thought that they were a real animal that lived in Africa. I mean, there are weirder animals than unicorns. Yeah. Not... I, I convinced a classmate in high school that South America was spelled with an E. <laughs> like South America. Yeah. And she, like, I was convincing enough that she just spilled out the rest of her their no. homework that day in South America. <laughs> <laughs> she was kind of mad at me. <laughs> really? We're still friends on Facebook. All right. So, uh, you have put some money in the hourglass in the middle. So, you have a dancer there. You have some tea and refreshments. Uh, Vanessa has her own bottle and <laughs> glass that she has been drinking from as she's taking measurements and talking about fabrics and textures and textiles. And uh, she is now speaking about golden thread. Uh, a superior she doesn't say it's magically imbued but how she talks about it it might as well be um, but it comes from Kalimshan this is the type of just a thread that she's into yep like it's you know very strong it's also stylish because it looks gold it comes from specific silkworms down in Kalimshan and all nice. kinds of crazy stuff so what's this, what's this hourglass that we put coins in? Does it, is it like some magical thing that turns it into sand? You know, like when you get a table dance, you don't yeah. you don't have to call the girl over. You just turn the thing over with a coin in it, and the girl dances. For and the you, time. you put the coin in the hourglass in the middle, and you flip it over, and the coin drops into a bucket underneath the table, uh-huh. and a dancer comes over and dances for you until the hourglass is done. Gotcha. All right. <sighs> Wiley sits around and comes up with possible. Fantasy strip club. (laughs) (laughs) Up late at night. Oh no, this is all wrong. What if they came through at two? It's like a new method. That's that's in the gnome area. Um, uh, pneumatic yeah, strippers, anyone? great band name, by the way. Pneumatic <laughs> strippers. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, uh, uh, anything in particular you guys want to talk about? Do or I don't want to talk about pneumatic strippers. No. 
I mean, I might just go on and on about fashion. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the sun. I'm just sitting in the cost of, of golden thread, and you can get like, you know, what do you call it? Spools? What do you call it? Like. These mm, spools, yeah. Spools mm-hmm. of. Uh, of thread? Or no, no, when you dye fabric in like a big thing. Oh, that's a bolt. Bolt, bolt yeah. Um, the sun is drifting through the sky. I mean, it's still daytime. It's still, it's just getting past midday. Again, you're not going to be here after night because every foreigner is kicked out after night. Oh, right. Um, Where's the opera at? Huh? It's here. It's, it's right oh, next number, to No, it, when? Oh, it goes right now. Oh, okay. Remember yeah. we were saying it's like a Hall Notes concert. It's right. Like, oh, yeah. at like 8 o'clock on That's a right. Thursday. Right, it pretty much like starts at, you know, Three or four goes for a couple hours and gets out you know, five, six ish just as the sun is getting low. And they even have an exit outside. So if it gets too late and the people of Lone Kalamshan they don't want them back really in, cool. they just eject the people right outside. What a wonderful place. <laughs> right out into uh, uh, Norchapel at <laughs> night. Uh, <laughs> you get rocked and stuff. <laughs> so. Waiting on the outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here goes those rich fuckers. And how close were you to the like outside? Because this is kind of an open floor plan. It just it's just colonnades uh, around this corner. Like so, think of like we go to the Renaissance Festival. There's those like restaurants around the corners of yeah. things, and it's just open. You know, I imagine. Um, and this goes pretty deep. Uh, so you can go pretty deep, or you can be right outside, like underneath awnings, essentially. I'd, I'd rather have the outside. I was going to say, if, as long as I had a beer, it would probably be out in the awning. Um, so, there's no perception checks needed when there is a lo- loud crash. No. A splintering of wood. You hear this growl hiss and some people uh, exclaiming, and then from over beside the theater, people start running. (laughs) So, like, you're sitting here, and the theater is pretty much, like, right over there, and from the corner, like, you know, the corner of where your restaurant is and the theater would meet, uh, people are just friggin' running. Drink some tea. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, This is supposed to be a thing, yes? (laughs) I don't think that's part of the show. Um, so it's around right. the corner there? I'm not like at the opera itself. No. The beast. Well, the beast. yes. Oh. It came from the building the opera is. Oh, crap. <clears throat> Let's go get the boss. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys all start to stand up, uh, you see this thing, this beast, like kind of running out, and it like stomps down on one of the people. But then it gets distracted by other people running and, like, goes after them instead. So it's not, like, hurt anyone yet, but it's this panther-like cat with six legs and two long tentacles coming out of its shoulder blades that have these almost, like, squid-like pointed pads with uh, rows of spines on them. And it's just waving its stuff around there, jumping from person to person, like playing with it? Well, I mean, it, it, it may be playing, thinking it's playing, but these people are, like, hitting the ground pretty hard and getting claws in their back. Um, and you see that there's three people in the, like, uniforms of the workers of the theater chasing them. Um, there's a gnome and two humans. They're chasing the beast, and they're yelling at it. Uh, you barely see that around its neck is a collar and there's like a little like chain coming out from it. Oh, okay. This escape from the from the zoo, from the opera's <laughs> menagerie. We will listen to our problem. Let's go get this. If we can, they the people need our help. I'll try to grab the chain. Okay. And hop out on it. <laughs> Running ah, up there. Ooh, um, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Initiative. Oh, jeez. Just me. Yeah. And the, until everyone else joins the fray. Yeah, we're, we're all, we're all, we're all, help him. Yeah. Eleven. It's great. I'm like, I'll grab the chain. Yeah. <laughs> You're out there alone. You're doing it's just great. like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, did it audibly sighs and 
Stupid. Rolls his eyes and goes and helps. <laughs> All right. Hey, Dreamy. Dreamy. What's up, Dreamy? You just getting here? I feel like we're not really live until Dreamy is here. Right. <laughs> um, you didn't miss much. They were still at the, just that little uh, restaurant, tea house, bar place, uh, until a, a weird looking beast broke out of the theater and is being chased by handlers. That's a, that's a magical beast. Is that something Needle would know of? Is it a displacer beast? It is a displacer yeah. beast. Um, no, we make, know that. I know yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Description. Uh, <laughs> Small ones. Have some candy. Make a nature check. Nature? If anything, this is a nurture check. Uh, it's a what? Nurture? nurture? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> 14. Uh, nah. Nah. <laughs> okay. It's not common enough. Uh, it How, looks, what did you get it looks like something we're going to have to pay if you kill. Uh, 15. Uh, need more? What did you get? 14. And Caladora. I got a 22. You got an 11. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming these things are valuable. Let's try not to kill it. Uh, it's funny that you say that, because as you're running out to go get the chain, and you're like, you know, these things are valuable. <laughs> you know that? The gnome is like, whoa, whoa, whoa! A <laughs> hundred dollars, a hundred gold pieces to capture alive. Yeah. Two hundred if it's unarmed. unharmed. <clears throat> if he's unarmed? It's a, it's a uh, it wants us to take the claws out. Yeah. <laughs> like, never tell an Omnish man to bring someone back unarmed. <laughs> I've seen him kill a man for raising a glass. All right, well. So who's first? Uh, well, technically you, because you initiated everything and everyone followed my attack of opportunity. I want to grapple the chain, I guess. Alright. <laughs> Is that just a dwarf on yeah. the chain? <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> Got it! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope you're really heavy. I'm not. Oh, I mean, he is in armor. <laughs> I, I am, but I'm like, my body weight is like 10 pounds heavier than I actually am. <laughs> well, I thought that too. I thought they were like 300 pound poor guys. I don't know, I... I have too much of like other lore in my head about stuff, and so when I, every time I was put, when I was putting this character together, like for the turtle, where you find out that the age is wrong in your mind, or like the weight is wrong and yeah, stuff. Yeah, how big is this thing? Uh, it is <laughs> uh, large. I think it's about twelve feet long uh, before tail. Mm. It's like, yeah, let's call it eight, eight feet from nose to butt, and then Great. tail. All right. <laughs> what do I need to roll to try to grab this chain? Uh, you need to roll an attack. At disadvantage. Don't. That's pretty disadvantageous. Uh, yeah, so... Attack, I don't get any bonuses or anything like that. Uh, it's your proficiency bonus. It's, it's a grapple, so... Okay, so, a seven. And your strength. With my strength? Yeah. Strength or dex, whichever's higher. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a. It'll be strength. Like look so at your. Yeah, so like if you look on your attacks, look at punch or you know whatever you call I know it. No, I have disadvantage, but that's that's. Oh, uh, you can't reroll. Oh, it's it'll just no. it'll just that's cancel. Right. That's right. The, yeah. Oh, if it if it just cancels the disadvantage. The other one was twice as high, so it would be. You want to spend it? Uh, no, because it would still be a pretty it's low. Kinda, if you already rolled. It would be thirteen. Yeah. You can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah then you can then yeah. see what it is and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to spend the the inspiration before sure. you roll disadvantage yeah, to cancel. It. That's okay. And it's yeah. so I fucked up. All right. So, so the total would be nine. Uh, or, yeah, nine. Yeah, no, that that does not hit. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you Damn. jump and the chain is just like you know, going back and forth and getting whipped because it's you know moving and running around. Now it's like people were yelling next to it, so it's all <laughs> like what and kind of like jumps back. And the chain just goes. Shh, out of your uh, your grasp. Dang it. Cool. Uh, so, starting at the top, Vidic. Uh, 
I'm like, he's got this new sword. Right? I thought I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make him not use his new, brand new, shiny weapon. Uh, Try to distract it, I'll grab the chain. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'll grab the chain. Okay, disadvantage. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no. one. Yeah. Okay. Um, whips you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, lose that. Too. <laughs> uh, as you're like, you kind of, um, what, 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 three stooges it, as like you don't want to just like jump and land on the ground for the train, so you're trying to like stoop low to get it, but then it like wiggles and moves, and you're just kind of like, uh, 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 like you're down on the like, crouch down going. And you trip over someone that it had pounced on, and he's getting up and running. So he's running away from the beast. You're trying to get this chain with your head down, and just bumps into you and knocks you prone. Oh no! I've killed people for less. You have literally. <laughs> you've killed people for literally nothing. <laughs> he was tricked. Uh, did the thing go off, or did my thing end? It sounds like it's on. No, oh, that's not on. Oh. Is this dead? Oh, it's Could be dead. No, that's... I'm sure I mean, was there an indicator? Oh, I, I just turned that on. One of them. Is there an indicator of battery on is it? it? Is it... Is it still blinking? Yes. Then it's probably low battery. Mm. Uh, is it still blinking now? Yeah. How about now? It's a blinking. <laughs> No, I ain't say a blink. <laughs> you gotta watch Secretary, uh, Secretary of State. Every time I hear his name, Anthony Blinken. Oh yeah. I think it's anti a Blinken. <laughs> it's, it's anti a Blinken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, a uh, Jew. A Jew. Here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, needle. Okay. Um, it's pretty much the only trick I think I got here. Um, the needle gets out a bit of fleece from his little pockets oh, and no. uh, spans it out and <laughs> makes a silent uh -huh. image. Oh, silent image. Good. Oh. I thought you were going to try to sleep. <laughs> no. Hell no. This thing's got to have more health points than us. Uh, at least it holds. Old person. There's hold monster. Yeah, old person won't work on this. Yeah. Hold monster is like a third level spell or something like that. I wonder. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a use a yeah a silent image first level illusion spell within a 15 foot. I want to make a bigger displacer beast, kind of make it look like it's stocking up to it, trying to like distract it. I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I should have done. Huh. Not pay attention, oh. that's what I should be doing. Oh, for. yeah, that always gets me. Yeah. It's like the, like last night, we're like, hey, I'm going to try to knock it prone so you can stun it. Cool, knocks it prone. Attack, flurry of blows. We're like, didn't we just? <laughs> 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 um, the thing is, yeah. So, uh, you make this larger displacer beat next to it, which at this point... They are solo creatures, aren't they? Well, okay. Try some mount it then. No, I, <laughs> I just want to see what it, you know think of another displacer beast. Even if it's just what the fuck, hunt alone or in small prize. Yeah. So yeah, it looks over and like hackles rise, tentacles go into a a weird like. You know, it's definitely not their hunting like tentacle formation like yeah. I'm attacking prey this is definitely like a I'm fighting some like I'm fighting another predator I'm defending myself type of thing right how it's, things go up sure. think of like cats how they like yeah, yeah. And this thing just goes that and the tentacles are like me yeah <laughs> this one's doing the, the cat move where they just look you know set tall and just look <laughs> indignant to their hacklers uh, so yeah it definitely reacts to that and starts moving away from it so you put it on the other side of it, like behind it, right? Yeah. So it's kind of moving towards you guys. Right. So like, displacer beast is like 
backing up, but it's like backing right over to where you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping. I'm helping. By its tail, that'll do it, right? <laughs> uh, Dermic. Oh, it's me again already? Uh-huh. Um, the gnome that yelled at us, did he yell at us in common? Yes. Yeah, all right, then I'm going to try to command this beast in common. Hopefully it understands, uh, like, halt or stand down. Oh, yeah, if it's a trained animal, it probably does mm-hmm. know some. It just has to understand the, the command I give it's it is all. It's a trained animal. Well, I guess, yeah, yeah, it might, it might not. We'll see. It's a good, uh, it's a good thought. All right. Command. What command are you using? Um, calm down. It's like calm. Calm. Mm, okay. Sit. I don't know. What should I use? <laughs> it, it has the list of commands. You yeah, well, use. I mean, these are suggestions, but approach, yeah. drop, flee, grovel, halt. Maybe grovel them. No, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, like you know, down. Like, like you know. common circus command. Like down. Yeah. yeah. Right. Down. 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 Uh, down. Down is probably good. Uh, what's the saving throw? Wisdom. Uh, 14. Wisdom. Shake. <laughs> <laughs> Roll over. Uh, so it's like looking at that, then it whips its head around at you saying that, like whips its head back at that, and is like lays down. <clears throat> but it looks, it's still hackles up and mm-hmm. everything about this other displacer beast standing there. Now it's its turn. It gets up. It gets yeah. up. <laughs> Am I able to kind of reach down and grab the chain now that it's calm? Uh, you took your action casting, okay, I believe, yeah. right? So you can move up bonus to where the, like you can move up to where he is and near the chain. Yeah, that's right. Um, I use my bonus action to summon the drill mall. If you were uh, like a rogue or someone that had mm-hmm. use object as a bonus yeah, action, I, I'd, I'd allow it. You should play a rogue sometimes. Yeah, you should really try one. <laughs> it sounds like it's right up my alley. Uh, so, uh, I was starting to get good at it too. I'll like, do something different. Yeah. yeah. I kind of want to play a priest now. I don't want to play with her. Let's just change roles. Oh. So, spin a is over. We're going to switch seats. Yeah. I'll be the fighter. <laughs> uh, Caladora, like, fills with there. Just. <laughs> kills it kills it dead assassinates it uh Caladora like swooshes in like behind you and you like she just was there the entire time like mirroring you to move up on this thing and now that it's sit down and the chain is there she like whoosh and goes over she reaches down grabs the chain and like goes to like pull it back and then just falls on her ass cause she's holding nothing He's like, Whoa! Oh right, <laughs> the chain is also but, like, displacer. Since you're on the ground, you like literally see her hand pass through the chain, and she stands up, thinking that she's gonna have a chain in her hand, and <laughs> goes down. Whoop 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 whoop. What idea was it? <laughs> okay, what are these? Uh, it's one of my favorite beasts. And I I rarely ever use it because like. Back in the day, I'm like, oh, everyone uses these kind of monsters, right. right? So I'm like, this is so cliche. And then I like realized I'd gone through like a decade of playing D and D, I never like used a gelatinous cube or a, <laughs> yeah. a displacer beast or an owl bear. <laughs> yeah. And then I had to make up for it. That's what's always fun. Anytime I want to do like a D and D thing, because I have to go through the monster manual. I'm like, ooh, I've never heard of this. Oh, yeah. Did you know there are seven types of ooze? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kind of, or gelatinous cubes. That was what it was. Oh, it is ooze. Yeah, ooze. Yeah. yeah. Gray, black, mm-hmm. black green, puddings, yeah, gray, green, yellow, yellow, green. Yep. Gelatinous cubes. Yellow ooze is in uh, Ghost of Salt Marsh, but I can't tell you where. It's, it's hmm. worth it to find out on your own. Oh. We do need to go through that one. Yeah. Like, actually, get through it. Uh, all right, so that's her. Uh, so the displacer beast. Oh my God, what does it want to do? What's it say? How long does that last? The command. Oh, to the end of your turn. I think it is till the end of my next turn. Yeah. And does it get a second save? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, one action. Oh, duration is just a single round. Okay. Um, typical commands. Da, 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 da. So the spell has no effect target is undead, it's not understanding language, if you can listen to typical commands or the effects below, you might issue a command other than the describe sorry the spell. Uh, 
the target can't follow your command the spell ends that's all it says okay um it's staying down for the moment but let's see what else it does all right so it lashes out a tentacle which it's really weird it lashes out a tentacle it looks like it's going at the the illusion mm. but it's it doesn't strike anywhere near the illusion uh, like it lashes out somewhere else and then the other one lashes out on the opposite side of the illusion and then the, you see the displacer beast like mm? <laughs> like I make the displacer beast <laughs> wink at it <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it kind of slowly just starts turning its head and looking at all of you and ignoring that mm. alright because you know illusion but it knows where that thing should be I'm, as a displacer beast. Right. And it attacked those right. areas. Yeah. <laughs> so. I know I'm coming to grab your, your cat. Uh, I don't think I can use a reaction to make it look like it, it was hit or anything. Oh. Where's Bandy when you need her? Right. Where's Bandy? She's on my ass. Oh. Since she's combless, so she's. Fine. Yeah. Uh, Vidic, you hear him calling out for the gnome to do something, and the gnome and the other two handlers are like moving up, but since the thing has stopped and it seemed to get more tense, they kind of like have stopped as well. So I see that. I mean, I don't know if I'd understand what it just did. Or like what happened with uh, Caladora. Like, you can. Try to suss it out on yourself, but uh. I mean, I. But he's not dumb, but he's not smart either. Um. I'll go for the chain again, I guess. Alright. Um. <laughs> Just make a big sweeping swipe for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll lunge at it. It makes me wonder why. Well, you're still prone. Are you gonna get up or are you just gonna. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you can, like, it's, the chain is really close. You can, like, just basically crawl over there and try to grab it. Yeah. Whoa, that was gently. a nice little off the rim. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see what yours says. That's a 15 and an 8. What's the 8 give you? 8. Is it my... Just look at melee. Like, look at uh, unarmed. When you're attacked. You all right so there? That would be uh, 15. All right. So you're, like, <laughs> scrambling on the ground, you know, through the sand, and you swing over, and your hand gets caught on something... And you see, like, as your hand is moving, the chain, where it is, just pushes out of the way. And then, like, as you bring your hand back, something wraps around it, and you can feel a chain around your uh, hand. And when you do that and grab it, the real chain appears, and the other chain disappears, and you it goes, and the cat is three feet over than where it really is. And it's like, and you can see where it really is now. <clears throat> Sheek. So right. it just kind of like <laughs> and it just moves over there, and everyone's all like, "I thought it wrapped its its tentacle." tentacle wrapped it. Yeah. It's your turn to be grappled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I'll use my extra attack to grapple it again. <laughs> <laughs> use you can use your movement to get up now as well if you want to get steady. Um, so he's got the chain, and it is its real location has been revealed. Uh, needle. <laughs> oh, and my turn signal at the end of the round, too, so it's no longer commanded. Right. Right, okay. But hey, you distracted it long enough to mm -hmm. get it caught. Yeah, um... The illusion does a backflip. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to, uh, animal handling, try to, like, calm it down. Now he's got the chain. I don't know what else to do. Go for maybe, it. maybe let the big thing go away. Yeah, the yeah, illusion's gone. Yeah. Uh, okay. Weirdly, I'm not trained in animal handling. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, it begins again. Oh, well. The cycle of <laughs> renews. Right. I got tea in there too, but I. I too much. They're just so tasty. All right. Um, yeah. Guaranteed help with hangovers. You just get drunk again. Yeah. Um. Oh, damn it. Oh, there's a hidden white claw in there. 
Uh, yeah, the poof the illusion away. It's like, it's okay, it's okay. It's just a little trick. Um, Ooh, 19? Nah, it's a 10. Oh. 10. That would have been cool, right? Uh, plus 2, 12. Can you use your inspiration? Sure. You don't have to. I'd rather... It's kind of important. Uh, this thing might just start clawing the hell out of a deck. That's better. No, it's not. That's not a 15. That's a 3. No. So 12. All right. So you're, like, moving towards it calmingly and all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, like, <laughs> looks at you, and then yeah. just, like, you see it size you up and then just choose to ignore you. Mm. <laughs> like, like uh, you're just not. Like people. You're, you're, you're just, just like people. And, just, and then it looks over at uh, the group over there. Okay. Vidic and Dermok and Caladora. It's the teeth, lad. Uh, all right. So, uh, that was anything you want to do with bonus actions or? Golly, you know, I got nothing. Okay. I can't hurt this thing. Well, it says swipes at me. I got a shield spell. I can't give. I can't. I wish I could give shield to other people. Right. Um, that, that could be a higher level spell. That could be, huh? I mean, I could try. <laughs> I could try to mind sliver it, just to give a disadvantage. I'm resisting someone else's. That would be great to like just mind sliver it and hand it back and be like, "We didn't touch yeah, it." Yeah, yeah. Like, totally it wouldn't be wounded. It wouldn't be, wo- wo- it yeah. wouldn't be wounded yeah. to them. It's yeah. like half dead. We we'll give it back because it's yeah. psychic it's damage, so right? Yeah. yeah, it's a psychic damage. Yeah, Probably. but it's it takes an action. Though. Yeah, so I can't. Um, yeah, so that's my turn. All right, uh, Dermok. Um, I guess I'll I'll hold off. I'm not gonna attack it or. You can. You can try the chain too. Yeah, I guess I'll oh. hold on to the chain as well. Yeah, so we can double hold it. That's smart. I'm already double holding it. So Excuse me. Hold it. It'll be quadruple <laughs> holding it. Because I'm also going to double double hold it. No, you don't Quit Double hold it! Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, they're holding it and you're just yeah, swinging feet, back and Yeah, my feet's not even touching the Needle uses grip of the ages. I can't let go. On ten, Kaldor stands up and backs off. That's... Meanwhile, our boss is getting mauled to death by now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is just a distraction. Inside, she's fighting something small that like we could have easily handled. We should probably tell Kaladora to... Uh, I mean, what's she going to do here? She, we should yeah, probably tell her to find Arya and, and uh, Mizla. Can we do that as an aside? Yeah, sure. Commander. So, like, yep. She so cast command. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Uh, so, so it's action. I throw her up with she, she, <laughs> she stands up. I mean, you, can, you, can, you can command Ecuador on your turn, so you can have him run over to her. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> run. Cool. If, if they have to. Um, it, takes a lot. Lot. Yeah. it is a like, fiendish. Chameleon <laughs> runs like a devil. <laughs> but it, it, it runs like those like hot sand lizards. And it's all like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's back> <laughs> 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 those weird hands. Yeah. Um, so Ecuador jumps up on Caladora, and Caladora starts heading towards the entrance of the theater. Uh, okay. Hmm. All right. Who's <laughs> so getting mauled? You just see it like you're telling it to run, and it does one of those like. <laughs> <That doesn't make laughs> uh, <laughs> and you're like, dude, go. <laughs> Should have made a better decision. Yeah. <laughs> right, I know we've been together a long time, but buddy, <laughs> you gotta go. Why do you always throw at Ecuador? Have you seen him walk? <laughs> <laughs> Infuriating. <laughs> oh, Actually, okay. I could just make him up. Disappear and, and appear. And, yeah. yeah, but whatever. This is but to, to change him, you have to resummon him. To, yeah, to turn him into a different... Yeah, yeah have to, to a, a different animal. Oh, yeah. you get to choose how he appears? A, yeah. any, any and every time you summon a familiar, oh, you can that. change what it looks like. Yeah, well, and it's just a, yeah, it's yeah. a devil spirit, and I give it a form in this plane. So, or... 
it's a different creature each time, and he just thinks it's. <laughs> yeah. He's just he's just projecting yeah. <laughs> this this. Oh, it's just the same thing. You're like yeah. it's like, existence is pain. <laughs> just let me in. I can see that. Oh thank God. You start to you start to summon, and someone's like, oh, "Who's got needle this week? Needle, needle. Sorry, it's your shift. Damn it. <laughs> Always summons penguins. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me to run. Yeah, it fucking makes me a chameleon. Run. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> never, never once told me to hide. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so, um, man, what a fight! This thing does not want to be here. So, it pounces around you, like basically off to the right of you. And then pounces and then pounces. It's using its movement to wrap the chain around you guys. <laughs> Clever girl. Um, Who's uh, misdirection? <laughs> Sidestep oh, it. Use misdirection and, and put it onto Needle. Yeah. So you two are fine and Needle gets wrapped up in the chain. You're both like jumping around. Um, uh, the problem is it jumps too high at the beginning. And the chain kind of goes... Like up and over, and then when it jumps again, it just basically moves the chain over top of you guys. Mm. So it's just like shh, 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 jumping around you like all crazy. <laughs> um, it's around my head. And then, oh. It's really trying. <laughs> it's really trying to dislocate again. Uh, you can see that every time it moves, it just looks weird. It looks like you know a TV that's. Going on the fritz, you know, oh, yeah. little waves. Of... Like, I want to be somewhere else. Yeah. But uh, since you're holding the chain, it's rooting its uh, hey. displacement. I wonder what this chain is made out of. Hopefully, something useful. Uh, Fifteen. Um, I mean, I guess I'll choke up on it. And Start give trying it to game, yeah. you know, get it in. All right, strength check. This is an interesting fight. Ooh, twelve. Kind of like, I'm. Sometimes I'm just such an asshole GM. Like, here's new weapons, everybody. First fight, can't attack. Yeah. <laughs> just check, not a save. Correct. Uh, sixteen. Uh, nine. You start reeling it in. And it's like trying to pull, and you can tell that this thing is pretty damn strong, but it's also <coughs> not used to being on sand. <laughs> so it's like, hmm. like dragging it in. Um, so it's pulling did, its face closer and closer. Right, around. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like, now I'm picturing that the entirety of Little Callum Shan had sand shipped in. Like Balder is all like, hey, yeah, yeah. these little cow chain like, um, what is this shit? It's outside just sand of, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Outside of, uh, in North Chapel, it's just dirt. Yeah. Like, it's, you know, coastal, uh, you know, west coast dirt. There's no sand anywhere, but yeah, when you walk in a little cow chain, it's sand. Mm. You don't know They why. import it? Like, <laughs> yeah, there's a thing, like, maybe they do. Or maybe they have a druid. Mm. Someone's got that bag of holding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that, like somebody stole a beach. Yeah. What? Someone stole and moved an entire beach worth of sand. Like, I, they don't even know how long it took. But mm -hmm. the people, like, some the, not the wardens, whatever, like the the wildlife people, were just going to go check on this beach to see its uh, beach shit. Yeah, you know, beach shit, and gone. Like all the sand is gone. What? Someone took all the sand. What? It's like a, it's like you get away East, with that? Where they, where they started creating their own land, like in the Middle East, where they're like, oh, we want to build this master plan community. Where? They're like, mm, there. And they're like, that is the Black Sea. And they're like, we don't give a shit. So we, we, we're Saudi Arabia, we have fucking sand is like a commodity here, so they just fucking started pumping it in and pumping it in, and they made, uh, they made a giant palm tree, and then each arm has like, it's, it's crazy. It's in Dubai. Dubai, yeah. Dubai, yeah. They... They made their own islands huh. in Dubai. Yeah, go on Google Earth. Yeah. They even made like one. Midwest like the world. Earth, yeah, it's yeah. the Earth. 
Yeah, so this, it's, it was at the time it was the oh, largest shit. artificial man made structure. Look at that. So this is an island. Now it's completely populated. Here's the one he's talking about where they've started making other ones. So here's Holy another shit. one. There's the first one. This one's the world. It's the map of the world. Oh, I see. And when they were building it, people were like already like, I'll take Ireland. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Teenage Archie, like, people were trying to buy the country that they wanted and stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. some crazy money. Yeah, that, that, that. That's, that's where you're like, what do I do with my trillions? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> laughs and oil. Because you don't need Do you like my perfect <laughs> okay. you know, you accent? I see he's, this thing's going to struggle against him. I am going to mind sliver this thing. <laughs> can, I, can I do it like subdual damage? I don't want to hurt it. I just want to make it I just want to, you know, knock his brains a bit, make it a little dopey. Mm. More importantly, getting a minus D4 to his saving throw. They can't throw. charge us for internal damage. <laughs> they won't, they they won't, won't know. even know. Yeah, just a verbal. I still look like I'm trying to calm it down, but I give off the I mean, little... it does, like, have a effect that goes through its mind, but doesn't leave any marks or anything. And yeah. These it's... people are, they're watching intently, but they're really watching, like, you I'm guys. So. Yeah. Because hmm? handlers, right? Because <laughs> I know what's uh, capable. Oh, I don't roll. Like, let them yeah, power it out. Intelligence, intelligence sixteen. They're like, let the displacer beast this waste wear be itself smart. out on these two know. guys before we move in. Yeah, you got this in this mess. Does he save? I did nothing. Natural twenty is it? Wow. So it's like, and it just looks right at you. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> it's not getting hasty. <laughs> I'll start my three-part apology. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's Needle's turn. Yep. You see this thing, this like as it's getting pulled in you, and it's like fighting against you. Something happens. You see this little effect kind of like go across its its face, and then it just turns and its entire posture changes. Uh, towards needle. Fuck. <laughs> I, it's got it's got your scent, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, shit. Dermock. Grab his tentacle. It seems like that's dangerous. I mean, yeah. can I? Should I just grapple the beast itself? Yeah. And if you go up the chain to like the collar point yeah, and just like try to, let's try to force that, then, it down, yeah, yeah. I'm that's what that, that thing's for, I'm sure. All right, because I'm afraid that commanding it twice won't work. Uh, strength check. Ooh, Ooh. is it good? It's a ten. Mm. Okay. The T is right where it yeah, needs yeah, to be. Fuck, it's a nine. Uh, so twelve. Ten. Okay. Uh, you like. Head down the chain and like try to like grab it and pull this thing to the ground like with your elbow and it's just like jerk and the true strength of this thing like really kind of comes through now as it just kind of lurches you and shows that it's gonna take a combined effort. Uh, it has an eighteen strength, so gotcha. fuck. Kind of since you have fought against it and you fought against it now, you're getting a gauge of its. Look at this Strength. gnome, like, it tranquilizes? What are you, what are you supposed <laughs> to do with this thing? Uh, okay, so I that's... channel divinity, so I have to be proficient with chains. Uh, proficient with animal handling. Animal handling, yeah. If you do... If, well, it's supposed to be a tool set that I'm uh -huh. proficient in, yeah. Uh, 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 Ringleader tools? Yeah, like yeah. Circus whip <laughs> and yeah. a chair? <laughs> there has to be something. Harness the power. Now we've got jobs in the circus. Um... Kalidora could have become proficient in animal handling. Oh, or, skill or tool. It is a skill. Oh, there you go. You want to do that instead? Yeah, let's try that. Sorry. I'd... Since you haven't... We haven't really get to see you use your channel divinity, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, it'd be much smarter than channel trying divinity to fight the same strength. Channel divinity and proficient in animal handling. And I believe right. that's a wisdom skill. It is a wisdom skill. Oh, yeah. You, you rock it. Yep. So what does proficiency do? Uh, it allows you to add your proficiency bonus to the roll. It already has my proficiency bonus added to it. Do you Am I already proficient? No, that's handling? just your wisdom bonus. Oh, and so it adds so so plus six. Right. Yep. Gotcha. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's calm this fucker down finally. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. So 22, though. Okay. So you start coming up to it, and like, uh, you approach it, you know, not passively, like not uh, submissively, but calmly like you you're showing that you're not afraid of it uh you have your arms up and defensive showing you that you're not prey uh you're not just gonna be taken down 
uh, and you just start loudly, you know, like, you know, down, you know, kind of like telling down. it to down. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I just turned into Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> That's the trick. These only respond to Austrian <laughs> accent. Uh, sternly and loudly, <laughs> you basically calm it down. Command it to stop. And it's like still like <laughs> burning daggers into you and then it like kind of looks up at you and then kind of settles down and all six legs fold in and it <sighs> lays down and its tentacles kind of curl up. Does animal handling give me the ability to understand why this thing went crazy? If you were there when it did, mm. um, you don't see any marks on it or anything, so you're not really sure. Gotcha. Um, but the the two humans come in and they grab the chain, and then the other one goes the other side, and he has a chain, and you see that there was another hook on the uh. collar. So it, they double hook the chain from one guy on each side, and the gnome kind of just goes up and puts his hand like over its eyes and they walk it back between them, start heading to the, the door that goes to the side of the theater. Interesting. Uh, you make mighty fine bait, lad. Money. Uh, <laughs> Did he say talk of gold? Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not letting go of this. Uh, he uh, reaches into like a big pouch on his side and pulls out two small little bundles, and like, here you go. Well, is it doing business? <laughs> Unharmed, as requested. Uh, and it walks it back in there, and Calidora is coming back, and she's like, they wouldn't let me in. I didn't think they would. That's not why we sent you. <laughs> what, am I, what am I supposed to do? Go in there when, in the middle of the crowd and get her out? Let's <laughs> check on her. Uh... Alright, I'm sending Ecuador. <laughs> he can get in there. Okay. Uh, do we all get 50 gold? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm still thief at heart. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. money and money, right? Yeah. Let's look at the fucking money. <laughs> Man, we're rich compared to the Bayou boys. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't believe I bought the nicest room they had and then that bitch fucking took the sheets and blankets <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you, you said yeah you get the bed you never <laughs> said anything about this <laughs> so uh Calidora's like you see her like walking around with her head down it's like she's like moping oh <laughs> was I too harsh with Calidora <laughs> yeah, yeah are, you, are you okay <laughs> yeah I'm looking for Vidic's boot dagger You, you look down at your boot where you normally have a dagger, and it's missing. Check if I can stab. <laughs> you always have additional weapons, and I'm yeah. like everyone starts with a dagger. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you didn't fall on it, did you? I've seen this dagger before. I'm gonna cast a locate object. Hi. What's the range Wow, I don't have anything rampage small rampage like that. I have my... Oh, I might not have a look at object. What the fuck? It's a light crossbow, and then my hammer, and that's it. Well, two hammers. Then. Oh, it's you one of the spells... You have a dagger. It's one of the gotcha. spells that I recently bought, but I don't have it prepared, I don't think. Damn. <laughs> Is it a ritual? Uh, let's see. Manage spells... Locate object. You have a little R next to it. Um, no, it's not. Nobody yeah. got hurt, right? Nobody got hurt. Uh, nope, but... Uh, I was going to say I could add a dagger to my inventory, but now I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so it's a thousand feet, foot range. Damn, I had to wait an hour to be able to prepare it. Now you... You've already put those into your spell book, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if you still had it as a scroll, you could just burn it as a scroll, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Hey, what made you realize his boot dagger was gone? I... She's our lost prevention <laughs> officer. <laughs> right, like, I, well, she's not doing a good job. <laughs> Or if you wouldn't have like fallen into the sand yeah. and got dragged around. Take a look around for a dagger in the sand. 
right? She uh, basically Actually, says to you that she keeps an eye on everyone's assets. Gotcha. It's you know part of her. Joaquin's loop, I wouldn't be able to kind of wave around and look for his dagger. Yeah, it's not you magical, have to. Right? Yeah. It's not magical, and it's yeah, it has to be close. Damn, this would be a perfect use for the catnap spell <laughs> that I didn't take. <laughs> uh, perceptions. Uh-oh. Or yeah, I thought you were. I heard catnapping them all. You could have just catnapped the cat. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. I investigate the sand. Uh, you, you roll investigation. Okay. Instead. Oh, for him. Thanks. Because he doesn't have it. He's not going to spend time walking around in the dirt when there's three other people looking at the dirt. He's going <laughs> <he's> to <laughs> use his mind powers. Ah, he's triangulation of where he was before him. Uh, 19. 18. 18. 19. 19. 23. 23. Ooh. Natural 20. Oh. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> where was that? We're fighting <laughs> <right>. or bees. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, right? Like, everyone's gonna look in the ground, and Calidora, like, once you two start looking around for the dagger, and she's already been looking, she kind of stops, and then you, like, like, hmm, where could the dagger have been? He was here, he was there, and then you look back into the silks and sands, and you see that Finessa is gone. Uh, her oh. bottle is there, and her glass is there, and you mention, like, Finessa's gone. Yeah. And then Calidora goes, she's up there. And you see her outfit, but now she has a veil on, uh, and she has gone up on the, like the, in between walkways, and is quickly going somewhere else and going down the other side into the next district. So now we can just figure out that all of the bad guys that are trying to do us harm start by hitting on Vidic. He sure can pick them. <laughs> well, Muriel didn't hit on him. He chased her into the, bar, <laughs> to the back of the bar until she was uncomfortable. <laughs> out of the district, not to the opera itself? No. Back towards the... the... Uh, well, should we give chase? Ah, there are lots of magic up there. If they have a possession of his, they could do all sorts of nasty things to him and to us through him. Hey. What? You can be <laughs> cursed. We should get that back. What? Yes. Hey. It's a world of magic. It's you, terrifying. He's saying our dagger can be an, a component to be used against you now if we don't retrieve it. He's magic. Well, you know. Hey, all the more you reason, are from All the more reason to give chase. You're gonna give chase. Well, yeah. no, but we what have to tell me that she can use it. I mean, you can't do anything we when she's in, in the theater. theater. Like, yeah. and then from the theater, this monster came running out. Um, now this bitch has been stealing from us and watching it. Yeah. How much time do we have until we assume the the? Oh, you said it's it's I'm ending going. now. Chase, aren't you? No hours. You have hours. Oh, okay. And you remember too I'm that gone. when we asked I'm for him, going. he's gone. <laughs> yeah. When we asked for information on how long it was going to be, they say it could be all night or until the place burns down. Literally. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Which we hope is not the case. I'm following Vidic. We're going to run after that thing. Or that girl. They've because the gnomes have the thing now, right? The mm-hmm. gnomes, They've taken cool. it back in the theater. Yeah, we got our money. That's right, we got paid and everything. <laughs> <laughs> pay for pay us quick, quick. Yeah. We got some other shit to do. <laughs> All right, off we go. If I can call this billion. All right. Um. <laughs> we pass by a guard. I'll say, "There's a thief." Oh, that's right. Little Callum has its own guards, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck yeah. They're probably better than the, the Flaming Fist. Oh, yeah, after that. <clears throat> Finessa. If that's her real name. It's Muriel again. Oh, God, it might be. Shit. Yeah, right. It's our new crane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new Lord Crane. It's Muriel, good host. You did a good job. Like, Crane, I wasn't so mad at. Like I was like, Badger, I fucking hate Badger. <laughs> like I'm still mad at him and yeah. I haven't seen him in two years. But Crane, but like we slowly just, him slapping us down was great because by the time we actually were standing in front of him and he was just like burning you to death. Yeah. I, remember. I was like, this is badass. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you know, that was, you were, he wasn't burning you to death. He's burning all of you to death. Who was the one we fought outside? Oh. That was the Drake. <laughs> That's where you got burned. I oh, raised yeah. you from the dead and then you burned. burned dead. No, uh, it was the inn that we crashed down. That was yeah. the first time we saw so, a sign of Buckle <laughs> Yeah. It was the, uh, it was the, uh, it was a Drake. <laughs> and the first time it attacked you on the road to the wizard, Tolan, hmm. uh, it attacked you there, and you, bef- before it got to half hit points, it left, flew away. Then it attacked you in the inn, 
and it got to burn you. But then, when you got outside of Neverwinter, that's when it burned the fuck out of you. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. You burned. And that's when you finally got to kill it. Wow, that was really early in our journey, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> I thought it was great. Oh, yeah, it was, it was. Sorry, I got to do the same thing. You got to do the same thing when we fought Luke, bro. Hey, Giant Hippo. Giant Hippo? What? Yeah, he was dying like a chump. Yeah, right, dude, he was doing his fucking job. And it was, right? Like, that's when, that's when we uh, started to discover the power of a life cleric. Yeah. Stop bringing me back to life. <laughs> and it's like, that was like almost foreshadowing for the Lord Crane fight. Yeah. Like, because that thing breathed fire on you, two of you dropped. Yeah. You got back up, it breathed fire on you again, know. two of you dropped. What's the roll for that to recharge? Is it like a D6? It's a 5-6. It's a, it's a, it's a, a every six. turn it rolls a D6, and on a 5-6 it just gets its breath weapon back, and I did it three turns in a row. <laughs> <laughs> like, that it was, was, it was pretty obnoxious. Yeah. <clears throat> That was crazy. Though. That was where Xeranax's idea about Bahamut changed. It was like, someone's got to be watching our backs. I've seen this guy die like 40 fucking times. <laughs> yeah. well, there's definitely some divine yeah, intervention going on. <clears throat> so, Every time you come back, there's just a little something missing. <laughs> we'll fast, uh, yeah. He, was, uh, he did have some missing screws by the end of that. Yeah, he ate my scale to keep it safe. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> that, Oh, you know, that's, that's what the I beholder. was about to say. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say last night when I was talking about how Sorry, I did end up having a light fever when I got home. That was what the issue was. But uh, when I was saying that, you, could you wash another man's piss off your back? Yeah. Could you wipe another man's shit off your face? Because yeah. that's where my yeah. my yeah. scale was on my face. I had a plan to, yeah. to have someone turn my flesh to stone, and then you shape earth to no, yeah. just to prevent you from having shitting it out, yeah. right? Because yeah. the dishonor, yeah. That was a huge thing, and you guys had to convince him not to do it. <laughs> um, well, initially they had to what they had to convince me not to break your hand off of your stone body when you were petrified. Yeah, because you, it, I got, it charmed you. Yeah. So now you're like you're like oh here I'm just gonna give you my scale to show you my loyalty. You grabbed the scale. Uh, it petrified you, yeah. and he was about to break your hand yeah. off to get his scale back. That's right. <laughs> Man, what a ride. Uh, Good times. Have we'll have to a, remake. We've seen a date to pop in World for a minute. Ross, so he can be around if he's still alive. Uh, did you decide if he's still alive or not? Sure, maybe. Why not? He's a tough guy. Uh, I'm looking for Ross. I wonder if he means old Ross, Rolf Ross <laughs> Kenobi. <laughs> he, I know he gave up the sword or the lance, the lance to, to uh, make the kingdom. New, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> to make Balholm. So he probably. Soldiering it over there. Yeah. It, it really, it, the question is like, if you're if you died, that pretty much means that Savroth died, because there's no way you would die if he's still alive. <laughs> 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 that guy could like, he's just a life like tenth or what? level life cleric. Just, yeah. Impossible it's, to it's kill like anyone that, around him. It's like that death meme where like death comes and puts his hand and it's like you know Internet Explorer and it's like was I a good explorer? Like no, you were the worst. <laughs> yeah. It like sees you and it's like it's time to go and you're like was I a good dragonborn? You were the best, but then you see Savros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like, you not see the... fucking Bahumas yeah. and they're yeah. like welcome my champion, like, come to my blows up and you're like uh, and Savros like so yeah, on your own on your shoulder. No 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 no. We ain't done with you yet. Pick up that weapon. It's something mundane. I'm back. You're like, oh, I'm back. You're like, open the door for us. All right. So you give chase, and you. So who is saying something to the guard? Well, I do. Yes, yeah, because yeah. he's running uh, right behind him. Persuasion check. Just oh, for good. Your, your initial, like how you come off to this <laughs> guard as you're it's running past. Good. I think I just have a plus. Do I like, just see that a goblin running up, being like thief? He's like, is he telling me he's a yeah. thief? <laughs> <laughs> Thief, give chase! Uh, oh, all chase. right! <laughs> <laughs> do I have persuasion? I don't. I don't think no, I do. no, there's no way. <laughs> Without performance. No, no I'm, yeah, have you, have you heard me recite <laughs> right. poetry? Yeah. <laughs> He's tried that once already. Ooh, that That's going to be a two for a total of three. Okay, so you run by and, and say something to the guard, and the guard's like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bites his thumb at you. 
Uh, Rashford, so you, just, <laughs> you get into the second, the next district over. Um, perceptions. Natural 20 plus 6. Woo! All right. Uh, All right. Uh, You look over, like you're you know, trying to scan the area. You know that she came down uh, in an area you could see her, which would be next to the gate (coughs) that you came out of. So you just kind of like scan that area, and as you look down, you can see her. She is behind a merchant stall, and she's going through a little door. And the, like... You just like look at that, and you look over, and you can see like that probably goes into the next district. Gotcha. Is like there a little way back we, way? Is there a way that we can cut over any district before her, or do we need to follow? No, I'm gonna have to. Um, Whoa, hey, Drewby. Whoa, subscribe. Drewby, six months. Oh, thanks, Drewby. Heck yeah. Hey, it's been six months. Wow. Uh, Wait, is that how long we've been playing time? this? No. Drewby's been, been around since before this game. Well, no. no, well, Drewby has. When did we start this game? Here, I can find that. We already. started uh, it in fall, so yeah. Was it? Yeah, was it? Has it been the beginning of the year? It was maybe? really because it's. We did it. It had to be after December. Oh no, it was in December. Well, at least it has to be before December because then the you know. My, my third page of notes, I wrote December 6th. Oh, yeah, duh. We got... It's the, the notes are the, on the first day. Yeah, November 29th was the first day we sat down and played this. Wow. And before that, we were playing... Uh, uh, oh, we played... We played uh, 40K. 40K before that, that's right. That's what we were playing before this. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking, I'm like, you've been here since like the beginning of the year, so... Make well, me... Know, at least December, we... Yeah. Uh, Do you say that out loud? Like, is there another way we can cut through? Do you say that out loud? Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, she's over there. Like, is there some... Oh, I'm saying my right? skinning that. You, yes, I'm still like, there she goes. Uh, investigation. So I look around like for a way to cut around. Looks like she's cutting through the next district. Mm-hmm. Throw that away from me. It's Appreciate it. Uh, have you never had those before? Oh, I have. I oh, have. The spicy ones are the best. 14. Um, you start, so. like, looking over the place and trying to recall the floor plans, but then Calidora is, like, this way, and she takes you guys to the right to a different district than what it seems like she was going towards. Hey, you see, we're, not, we're not getting too far away from Brazil, are we? From Brazil? Argentina. <laughs> Argentina. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Probably are out of range for me to do anything with them. Because did, did it look like did it look like Aria was okay when we ran? You don't even we don't know. know. He didn't no. get time to get in there. No. All right, well, let's keep going. She could have she could have stabbed Aria with his dagger and is already making her escape. We're already in trouble. We can't get in extra trouble. Oh, I'm so you guys away? <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. That's where you're like, I'm late. Can't be the extra way to extra late. <laughs> you guys pass through the second district, but as you pass through, Caledora gets. Like walks up to get on the walkways, and as you're heading over, now you're at a juncture. Like basically, she had walked through just below where you are now, and you can see into two districts. Uh, okay. Perceptions. I have that. Oh god damn it! What Uh-oh. was that? Four. <laughs> Twenty. I think there's three. Natural or not? That's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. No, that's what we gotta say. There we go. I keep saying unnatural 20, but it sounds like natural 20, so dirty 20 is good. Fake 20. Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> dirty 20. Uh, you see her. Oh, good. Um, she has gone into the district to the right. So if you would have gone where you thought she was going, you would have not even seen her. Because she went through that door and apparently somehow came out in the district on the right. Not mm. that one. Huh. Um, you see her there and she's going up. She is heading up onto the platform, like up onto the wall, 
on the opposite side. So basically, she's almost like in a straight line from where you are. And you see, like, she comes around and looks back at you and then starts, like, <clears throat> running down the little thing. How far away is she? <clears throat> um, like, 150 feet? Fuck. Uh, <clears throat> was it 120? No, no, I didn't need to be within 60 to uh. do this. <laughs> Fish it. Yeah. 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 She's tough. <laughs> right. That'll yeah. Yeah, that'll allow him to do the it. The Toll of the Dead. Oh, it's 60 feet. Wow, I'm pretty short range. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can throw spears, too, huh? Mm-hmm. You can throw jav- what do you do with javelins? Hmm? Because so you can start, one-hand a javelin. Starting equivalent equipment, too. And, you know, two-handed sword. I actually went back and bought javelins when I realized that you used strength instead of dex. Yeah. <clears throat> Thrown weapons can use either. Yeah. Most thrown weapons. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, see what's here for the 40 day one. Yeah. We run. So you start running. Yeah. We give chase. Uh, there's a guard halfway between you and them. <coughs> he didn't seem to see her, but as you're starting like run towards him, he like looks over at you and is like, whoa, 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 <laughs> halt. Eh, eh, eh. Sorry. It's got to be you this time. Don't make me. Don't let Needle talk. <laughs> yeah. um, the did Goblin. It, did we? I'm sorry. I'm just I'm filling in this real quick note. Did it look like that was Vanessa? It does. Okay. She's wearing the same clothes. It's just now that she's wearing, she's wearing a veil. You can also see that she has a dagger stuck into her, tucked into her waist. <laughs> In her <laughs> That's where she holds it. Right, so yeah. I'm, I'm, we're chasing a, a rotten magical thief. Natural one. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, that sucks. That's rough. Uh, Drewby, did you put your <laughs> inspiration in the chat? <laughs> oh, now who's banging? Yeah, I know. Uh, <clears throat> well, then. You, uh. <clears throat> yes, there it is. Okay. Oh. Make it a 19 instead. Okay. Oh, wait, no, hang on. It's persuasion, excuse me. I think it's it's pretty close. Do you have... You might yeah, have persuasion. Yeah, it's uh, 17, not yeah. 19. Sorry. Okay. Um, Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been really bad. I, right. He knows my, like, pause You're and under stall. Rest. <laughs> I was like, I'll give it, like, 20 seconds to see if someone wants to, to save the party. <laughs> um, Inspiration delay. <laughs> so... You know, chat delay, so I have to give him a chance. Right, right, um, right. So you yell that and, like, point, and he, like, looks back, uh, and then you kind of, like, just brush right by him. He's like, oh, hey, oh, <laughs> like, you're running by. And you hear him, like, he pulls up something. It looks like a small little horn and just puts out a note. Oh, shit. Um, so you're running after her. She is booking it. Uh, they are now up on the the separators of the districts, which are like parapet walls, uh, running after this, and they've spotted her, and she spotted that they're chasing her. Um, so she's running up ahead, and you're almost back at the. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> restock to the party. You're almost at the uh, like the initial districts. Like you're pretty, you're getting pretty close to the front of Little Kalimchan, the entrance. Uh, when she runs in, like over a district and you see that guards are now responding and starting to like pair up and block the paths they're trying to like shut down all the walkways <clears throat> but so Vanessa runs up and you see that there's a just a person walking like just a, a customer a, a civilian <laughs> and she runs up grabs the civilian and throws her over the wall <clears throat> off the wall into one district over here and then she jumps down into the district on the left. Uh, which is the, like, pretty much the largest main district in the front. Shit. I'm on a range for Feather oh, I don't he think. He gave you an inspiration, too. Oh, yes. Uh, great. Um, yeah, unless I can get, unless I can get in range in time to cast a Feather Fall on that poor How, lady. What's the range? 60. And your 20 foot movement? Or no, I'm 30. 30? You're fast for a small thing. Yeah, yeah. Goblins. Um, 
Uh, uh, it's a reaction, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Stretch. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just some isometric stretching. <sighs> so. If, if I can. Know. I mean, if I can, then sorry, bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, there's not much we can do for her. <laughs> yeah. So, dash. As a run, dash, and. You know, run. As the action is, you know, move, run, and dash would get you 90 feet. And, um, and actually, don't I? I might be. This is my goblin thing. Oh, you can disengage or dash? I think for, I could dash as a bonus action as well, and then reaction to. to um, do let it. me double check, though. And Nimble I can, escape. I, I can could, guide him. No, it's only disengage or hide. It's only disengage and hide? Yeah. So. Um, How tall? This wall's not that tall. They're. Like, like six eight feet, right? No, no, they're taller than that. No. They're, I mean, they're enough to keep the guard, the, the flaming fist out. They're probably twenty foot high walls. No, that's fine. She's fine. You know, it's, it's only two stories. stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I've fallen further. All I can do is try. Yep. Um, hmm. Feathers. They're quills again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's more quills. <laughs> Look at these fucking quills you have on you. Did oh, you give boy. your quill away? No, you took I him back. Just, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> the finality in his voice. Well, it's gone. You gave your fucking quill. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> my magic. Okay. So, you're like, ah! You see him. You guys have been running, you know, using your movement to run, but also it's a small little place. And you haven't been like going all out because you don't want to exhaust yourselves uh, before you know you have to fight someone. But you see him just like ah! like yeah. runs his ass up there, and your guys are behind him. He just pulls out ahead of you, and like you're looking down over where that woman's falling, and she's like falling down, and she's like just about to hit the ground behind this stall, and you're like throw your feathers out. And it's all ah. <laughs> like, just like ah. <laughs> Tiny goblin heart, <laughs> and um, and I'll just point to where to where the the, the thief uh, Vanessa jumped. Okay, we'll follow your finger. So how are you gonna get down there? Jump, jump. Okay, all right. Oh fuck! <laughs> Wait, I can also include yourself. Myself. Yeah, but you have to be in the air when it casts. Hmm. So I you'd probably, have to like I throw probably, and it yeah, you would have yeah me first. Yeah. You'll have to cast it again if you want it. All right. What does it say? Oh, that's an 18, sir. Ooh. Athletics. Like plus zero. You have strength, don't you? Oh, it's athletics. Yeah. 20, then. It's a dirty 20. I thought it was acrobatics for jumping. No. Acrobatics is tumbling, climbing. balance. Yeah. No, climbing is right. athletics. Yeah, yeah. It's it's everything people thought it, think it is. It's not. <laughs> um, 16. Okay. Are you doing Featherfall? Yeah. Are you doing it on anyone else? Um, because I'll slow it down. If these guys yeah. are confident in jumping down, then I'll just use it on myself. All right. Uh, no, like, I thought I had like a thing where I had to, could specifically cast Featherfall as, a, as like an ability. Um, if you took Ritualist... Oh, I don't know. Like, So you took Ritualist or you took Wizard um, yeah, yeah. Initiate? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Go check your feats and check what spell you took as your wizard initiate. I thought it was for the fall. Let's see. Um, you yeah, should so be able to look at. That's what you yeah. land on. Right? Yeah, that's what you're gonna land on. <laughs> Thank you, for that. Features and traits. Hmm. I'm not seeing. Oh, magic. There it is. Yeah, featherfall. Boom. I got Beautify, Mage Hand, and Feather Fall for that. Okay. So I can so, cast that once as a long rest without using a spell slot, which is what I did, and now I'm using now a spell, spell slot. slot. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kalidor climbs down. <laughs> so she's going to take some time. Would it be faster if she Feather Feather? You want to tell her? Yeah, yeah. Right. Not... yeah. She'll jump off and... Yeah. Foop, foop. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So you guys get down before these two. And uh, you see 
you're in a familiar place. This is the first main district after the the gateway district to get in, right? So the gateway district you get in and it has all like the the hawkers and the cheap deals and the, the stereotypical stuff that they want to sell fast or and get you to sucker into beforehand. But this is that next district over and it's the biggest district in Little Kalimshan. It's like where most of the market is. And you see that that crowd that was there earlier listening to that guy speak, uh, it's still kind of there. The, there's no one up on the stage speaking anymore. It's just there's still a lot of people there discussing in, in dispersed oh, yeah, little like groups. Uh, you see there's this. several guards here, you know, walking mm -hmm. around. Um, but as you're coming down on this side, where you think she jumped down, or you saw her jump down, you're basically dropping down right next to the building that uh, was that the stage is in front of. Uh. So you're dropping down in the back of that building where the stage was. So as you're coming down, you're seeing all the people talk. Did it freeze? Yeah. Look you at put that. it up top? Yeah. I was on the bottom. Can't fit on the top. I'm sorry, it'll be good in about 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll take another one at least then. That's the last time, Bud Light. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks. I mean, I took the white cloth so you guys can have this series. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I'm just going to say, I'm in like. like pursuit just, mode? Yeah. Um, Tunnel vision. It's just her. That, yeah, did these, did these guys see her after they jumped? No. But you see that uh, the beads of the door to the back area. Looks like it has a door, but then it has a bead curtain over front. And the door is just open, but the beads are swaying like someone had gone through them and agitated them. All right. Through there. Right behind him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dinner. <laughs> you head in there, and it's just a, it's like a small little... Uh, it's like part storeroom, and there's also some cushions in here and a small, like a short table... Uh, there's hookah there and some teacups, but no one's in here. Um, there are a couple doors out of this place, but they're all beaded curtained, and you can see that one of them is swaying and agitated. So, go with that, and you're in a small little hallway, and now you see that there's, like, two people, and they're, like, they're looking back, like they're something, like they're, they were already looking at where you come out of, and they're, like, act surprised but they were already looking at that area and they both pull out scimitars you see that they're not wearing what the guards wear here but they are both wearing uniforms um make me an intelligence check oh fuck I think it's a lot process. of that right <clears throat> I actually do it plus two hey Ooh. do you have investigation just wondering Uh, yeah. 14. Okay. These colors are the colors that the man up on the stage was wearing. Oh. So probably his house guards. Yeah. Because he's a noble. The one sympathetic to the to Baldur's Gate relations. To opening um, up little Gallon Yeah. It's a Turhan Ganesh. Yes. Um. And there's no sight of the... What is this? For knowing the name? Yeah, yeah. We're the seamstress. I said it first. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, said, I, got, I still got it written down, too. Yeah, me, yeah. You yeah. said it? Yeah, he did say uh -huh. it earlier, too. Yeah. Hey! I said it, too. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take notes about shit. <laughs> oh, too. Oh, what? It's that What do you scene. do? Every time I We're sit the in the... We're the seamstress. Why is everyone running through here? Get out! Uh, we're no, chasing we a the seamstress. Yeah, we're taking. We're chasing a thief. Uh, give us passage. Persuasion. See ya. Uh, persuasion. Fifteen. Okay. Like so, the one guy is standing in front of you, like telling you to get out, kind of like looking angry. The other guy is standing behind, and you see him like his brow is furrowed. And he's like, she went that away. 
Awesome. Awesome. And, decide. Uh, and nice it's job. like there's a little door <clears throat> before these two guys, so it looks like she probably ran yeah. in and cut off that way. Uh, so you two run off that way, and <laughs> the Galador and Needle come in, <laughs> <laughs> and you, like uh, you hear the one guard exclaim like, "Oh, what the!" <clears throat> and he's like, he starts chasing you. Um, and then you two run in, like, <laughs> coming in afterwards. Yeah, and, and like, you, like, you yeah. come in, he's like, <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> and now you're running alone. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so, you're heading back through here, and you're starting to run through areas. You're starting to see more and more people back here. Many of them just look like people. They're not hanging out, but there's probably a guard, like, one to two guards in every room at this point. Uh, so as you're like running through, figuring out where she, and they all look like they're already startled that someone had run through here. Uh, but it's, so it's easy to see, like when you walk in, you see them all looking at a door. So you run to that door. Um, <clears throat> Athletics for the two of you. Oh God. Come on, get you. Get your running legs out, dwarf. I was already there. 19? Yeah. 11. Okay. Um, you're starting to lag behind. You're just laser focused. Uh, so you... Caravan God. Run into... Meanwhile, the caravan came to do <laughs> So you run into a room. It looks like it's a, a receiving room. It's got a settee and... Uh, a small little table and a couple like just accoutrements and tea set and this that and there's a large double doors behind it um you see that there's a guard shutting the double doors and there's two like three guards sitting in that room like shutting the double doors and they all turn around and they see you and they just all pull out their uh, scimitars and stand in front of the door um as you're lagging behind you're seeing into the room that he's in and seeing that uh, but you hear, off to the hallway to your left, uh, a door closing. And so far, going through this, these are the first actual doors you've seen. Everything else has just been the curtains. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll chase that way. You're going to yeah. head off that way? Um, so the... The guard runs in, and he is going to... He comes up to the door you're in, so now you have three guards in front of you and a guard behind you. You're running up. Yeah. And you see a guard in a doorway. You see Vidic in the room with three other guards. But if when you look to your left, you see Dermok heading down a hallway and cutting right. Um, I'll call out to Vidag. Uh, Vidag, the thief went this way. Leave those guards alone. <laughs> the guard's like, That's my my first Whatever. actual party split. <laughs> <laughs> my first actual party split. Um, hey. um, so, you cut it. around the corner. Actually, what are you doing now? If I hear him, I'm going to turn around and I'll Mag- shove past this guard if I have to. Strength. Ooh. Well, now we're pissing guards off. Ooh, 16. Um, That's a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, it's just strength. Oh. Yeah. It's a 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. Ah. As, like, you come up, like, he's like, ah, 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 and, like, turns around to see you coming in and basically just, like, puts his arm against the door jam and shoulders into you before you get to him and push him. So he's like, Posture boom! Check. Are we... Are we <clears throat> posture slouching? check. Yeah. I feel posture yeah. check. Yeah, it's, it's checked. <laughs> yeah. Um, we weren't doing too bad today. There's days where we were all kind of... Moving around. He yeah. shoulders into you, pushes you back, you you know, take a step back, and he brandishes his scimitar, and the other three now are moving up. Well, shit. What are you stopping me for? I'm not thief. Thief, go that way. What are you doing? Oh, boy. 
What do I do? <laughs> no. Well. At least the three behind me. Did those float up too? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's what I was saying. Anything, because I, last time we were here, I, I made a Dorito cloud one day. I was like, summon the Doritos. <laughs> God, sorry, man. I don't know what to do for you. Um, I'll just shout out that, uh, uh, just, um, fuck. Vidak, just, 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 just stand your ground. We'll come back for you. <laughs> <laughs> we mean no harm. We're actually quite sympathetic to the words of Ganesh. Uh, we're just trying to stop a thief. <laughs> Vidak, stop resisting! Bye! Uh, you had to use your bonus action to yell all that out okay. so you only get your 30 foot move. Okay. Um, we'll see you back in the office. You, yeah. <laughs> uh, you come around the corner, and this opens up to a larger, like, entrance hall. It's just. It's marble floored, mosaic tiled, vaulted ceiling. Uh, there's a stairway that goes up. Like you're you're coming around and it's like hallway or wall on one side, and the hallway kept going the other side, and it's just kind of a small little jut until it opens up into this big, uh, you know, kind of like. Boop, boop. So you're coming around the corner here, gotcha. like, and it's this big, just open chamber. Uh, and like colonnades up there that look like they go into a really impressive entry room with like uh, pedestals with busts on them and Slender. artwork and cushy uh, uh, cushions. It looks like the next room over out here. I'm in a Colosseum pit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the room over here looks like the spitting camel. But that's like, upstairs though, right? No, no. This oh, is down. Like the stairs to go up are like over here going up. Uh, there's big doubles doors here. Um, so you're basically on the left, and you can see big double doors here. Uh, that okay. probably goes outside. Gotcha. So people come in here. There's colonnades here. Uh, people come in here. There's a nice cushy area to wait mm -hmm. and chat and all that stuff. Then there's like the big marble tiled impressive entrance and then double doors that go who knows where. But coming out of this door is... What's his face? Turhan Ganesh. Yes. He, uh, it's Turhan Ganesh with oh. his, a man that you saw earlier uh, at the back of the um, congregation. You mm -hmm. saw this man who's talking to him, a uh, younger man uh, wearing a sash that's the same colors as the house. There are two guards with them, and yep, they're just walking out. It's okay. What are you doing at that point? Now that I've lost Vidic and Needle behind me, I'm gonna just try to run through, run past. Like, just, just da -da 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 -da. like where? Because uh, they like come Vidic, they're coming all the they're way coming out. out towards the front door. Vidic and all of them are stuck back here in this room, which mm -hmm. looks like you know. Since you kind of came in here, if the thief was going this way, it would go into the back where, like, the room they just came from. Oh, So okay. he's walking out. I misunderstood. Yeah. He's walking out he's of walking she would most likely out, be. And she is most likely in the chambers that he just came out of. Gotcha. If you, like, because you ran down this way instead of going this way. <clears throat> well, then I'll skid to a stop and tell him, you know, hey, we're searching for a thief in your place. So you stop how far in? Wherever I don't look threatening, I'm not trying to. With, give me a, give me how many feet you want to be away from them. Fifteen. Okay. So you kind of rush in there, fifteen feet away from them. The two guards, like brandish scimitars, turn towards you. Uh, hey, what are you chasing uh, a the, thief? Make me insight. Okay. Nice little 19 there. All right. 19? Mm -hmm. So, 25. Wow. So you come in, you know, Snap stop. Decisions. You see the two guards pull out their scimitars and, and move to the front. You see the young man looks over at you and smiles. And the older man is like, what's going on here? 
Uh, so the young man looked at me and smiled. Yeah, like like he was happy to see you. Like, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Uh, so do I have a chance to talk something touches your shoulder and you hear Kalidora's voice saying I'm here but you don't see anyone behind you mm. she's got really good at sneaking damn she's <laughs> yeah, I haven't realized for a while, but she has invisibil- invisibility as an innate ability once a day. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> really fucking good. I at mean, sneak. like, like she disappeared from the room when the uh, flaming fist came in. Yeah, it's like where the fuck would she hide? I thought she, she just, was like <laughs> up in the ceiling. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. she just disappeared. Uh, I, uh, all right, then I'll immediately start to apologize. I, Lord Ganesh, you know, we mean no. Uh, the door behind him opens, and you know, that, so from where where you're standing, his two guards. Are between you and him. Mm-hmm. The door is opening behind him, oh, no. and there's no one between oh, him no. and that door. Oh no! And you see Vanessa with his boot dagger. Oh come on! Mm. All right, I'll try to get in the way of that. You know, try to bust through two guards, a guy, and get behind no, someone. No, I mean, tell the hell of the door to do it. Um. <laughs> you could throw the jewel mall. <laughs> Or cast a spell. You know what? Let's yeah. I can cast the jewel mall as a command. bonus action. I can't command it if I can't see her. Yeah, he hasn't seen her yet. Oh. Well, you, you you can you did see her, but she quickly passed behind them all. So now you have a wall of people in front of you, yeah. basically. Um, you just got the impression that she's there. Or right, quick, while you're figuring out what you want to do, what are you doing? Um, can I hit inside these things? Yeah. Like I'm trying to. Are they? What I want to know is, are they about to attack me because they pulled their swords? Um, or are they going to try and grapple me? Or does it seem like they're just kind of stopping me to figure out what's going on? Looks like they're stopping you to figure out what's going on. Because he, he wouldn't have shouldered you. You would have just, you know, if you came at him, he would have just ran you through with the scimitar. Right. And he's been chasing you since the you know, beginning. Right. So I don't want to, like, draw my sword and get into an actual fight if I can avoid it. I mean... I mean that's safe to assume that, but you know. Well, the other option. Is Baldur's the Gate's a rough place. <laughs> We're not in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> but these are guards. These are guards. Um, which another reason I don't want to just start. They've got guards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, professional. God um, complex. Yeah, God. Yeah. yeah. God complex. Um, the other thing I was thinking about is using uh, one charge ring of the ram to push that guy out of the way. <laughs> Shit. Uh, can Druby or Hippo? Can someone boot that? Yeah, I was going to text it earlier. But. Um, so yeah, if, they, if they're just trying to stop me, I'm like, Pam, the, the, this stone digger, I need digger big before she magic me. Finnick <laughs> 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 is a simple man. <laughs> I like to think it's just that he doesn't fully understand common. Yep. Perception? I oh, sorry, not perception. Persuasion. Is a good advantage for that for that stirring <laughs> no, explanation. The, the difficulty lowers. <laughs> no. It's good. It gets that uh, you use things like talking and all that stuff, and it the NPCs have attitudes towards you, mm-hmm. and you can shift those before you make the roll. It's almost gonna be an eighteen. Gotta... Yeah, that's true. Right back. I make them laugh. (laughs) Hey, Uh, eleven. It's better than five. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. Nice, Drew. Um, what was it? Eleven. Okay. So they they all like pause at this. The fuck did he just say? (laughs) They walk in and (laughs) sign. Needle, what are you doing? No, right. that's you. Wait, you did that. You tell yeah. him. They tell I'm him telling, to stretch. I'm telling him to stretch. Yeah, uh, really for putting in that hard work. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Me, I'm trying to follow. Trying. Oh, so, oh yeah, you can't win after him. So you come around the corner and you see him, two guards, this young man, and the guy that was up on the podium uh, earlier uh, in a standoff. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, Good uh, job, Drew. I really agree with your politics, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well. um, I don't see... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't see a would-be assassin. Uh-uh. Well, shit. Um, yeah, I just... I see you're stopped, and so I'll, I'll come up to your side, or, you know, it looks like you're about to move or something like that. But yeah, I just go up and... Ah, oh, we're just after a thief. Uh, have you seen her? She has a veil. All right. What is your decision? Is that per- is Finessa within fifteen feet of me, or do I need to move closer to do that? You would need to take. You need to move five feet forward for that to be true. All right. So you'd be ten feet away from the guards. Because I can cast Spirit Guardians. And make it where nobody gets hurt except for her. But it would be scary looking. <laughs> Just a bunch of... Uh... Or I can cast can spiritual weapon attack on the same round. Yes. So it, I... it, 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 when it comes out, it attacks. But, you know, is that going to stop the door her? Opening? She's, come, she's already come out. I've seen yeah. her once, right? She's yeah. come out, but... Like, I've seen her come out, but she's behind people. Like, she's got a knife, and she's headed for... Yeah, so, if, edge. like, if... This is Jewel Mall, and this is you behind him. You've got the two guards. The... Uh, yeah, the two nobles. And you suspect, now, that Finessa is here. Oh, she's gonna... She's gonna I'm gonna do it, then. Somebody. I'll, I'll do the spirit guardians. Okay, I mean, Read this. I it's can't, gonna be fun. I can't call wait for to hear. spirits to protect you. They flit around you to a distance of fifteen feet for the duration. If you are good or neutral, the spectral form appears angelic or fey, so it'll be angelic. Uh, when I cast a spell, I can designate any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected by it. Mm-hmm. An affected creature's speed is halved in the area. Oh, that's good. When the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wisdom saving throw on the failed save. The creature takes three d eight radiant damage. If I'm good, I'm successful these save, the creature takes half as much damage. So that won't even hurt her until her turn starts. If she tries to move, yeah. Which she'd have to if she's going to try to assassinate this guy. So that won't work then, huh? No, I think it would. Because she can't assassinate if it's not her turn. So if this is her turn, then she'll start mm-hmm. getting clubbed to death by your angelic tax collectors. I mean, it's true, but it's not going to stop her from moving either. It halves her speed. Oh, it does half her speed. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, no, that's she's just still a thing. Within, she's still within strike, though. Right, right. It may, you know, dissuade her. <laughs> See angelic tax collectors beating her with... Yeah, let's give it a shot. All right. Ugh, this is scary. Do you have any bonus, bonus cantrips that can also help? Uh, I can't, bonus action. I could also toll of the dead her. <laughs> you can't see her? No, that's right. No, that would be it, then. We'll just do that. Or maybe say right. something. The guards are like behind you. Or yeah. <laughs> Not falling for that trick. Yeah. So then I probably would say something to Turin Ganesh, like, "You're in trouble, Ganesh. You're in trouble, Ganesh." Sorry. Uh, you know, a burst of coins comes out of you, showering the entire area in golden light. As Chained these men with scales. You owe money. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do your spirit guardians look like? I think like, that's... And they're supposed to be angelic, but this... this I want it to be... It's, I mean, it's Joaquin... F- fl- yeah, it's, so it it's would Joaquin's... Be, it would be the money... Uh, angels. Angels. It would be the money collectors. It would be, you know... They would come out with scale and sword, you know, kind of like justice. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, you know, these entities kind of like barely perceivable. You see them uh, coalesce behind the group and, you know, like coming up with the scales and... Uh, like, is it a sword or would it be like what is, coins I mean, or something? Like, I guess it could be like you know those weights that they put on a rope. You know, the oh yeah, I you know it's like it's a it's a mm-hmm. disc weight that you can put onto the the what's when you start getting black okay. panels and stuff. Yep, they have a disc whole weight. They have like yeah, a, the flail, like, like yeah. the chains with yeah. those weights at the end yeah. and the scales, and that's like the scales aren't messing around. Like they're the big saucer type scales yeah. almost that like, it's got like hanging off it over here that it uses almost as a shield. Fuck yeah. And like as people start to try to move the scales 
uh, <laughs> heavier. So shrink. Peers behind them. Badass. And I don't know what I swing. don't know if you could have done uh, better. So saving throw, right? Uh, Wisdom. Yes, I believe. Also, if she's unwise. Yes, it is a Wisdom 14 saving throw. That ain't gonna do it. 3D. 3D. <laughs> 11 radiant damage. <laughs> the sound of coin spraying <laughs> comes from back there. I say something cheesy like, trading is closed for the day. Nice. Needle's just confused as shit. He's never yeah, seen like, you do this before. <laughs> like, or what's going on? What's behind them? Uh, did you remember to include Caladora? <laughs> you said like everybody but her. Yeah, but I was not. If he's gonna, if I want to be honestly serious, I was not thinking about Caladora at all. Okay. She did tell you that she's here. She did tell me that. But if he's, if I'm being honest with myself, like, I was like, yeah, I'm looking at this. I was like, yeah, none of those guys get hurt. And Needle, of course. She's right here. Yeah. And then, shit. All right. You see another tax collector appear off to the left of the group. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, no. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Is it her turn? Because she doesn't take the damage till her turn. Right. Okay. It's her turn. Take that, Caligora. Well, she natural 20 did, so. Cool. Oh, okay. So she halves the damage? <laughs> yep. Uh, she takes none. Oh, because she natural 20s? No, uh, because rogue. rogue. Oh, no, that's only deck saves, is it? Or is it in, Is it now any save? I don't know. I don't and play it this. might even be Just higher appears. now. It might be a 6th level ability. We'll find out, because I just rolled a 12 for the damage. <laughs> so... If it's half to a six, that's good. Or if there's nothing. That's Uncanny good. dodge. So uncanny dodge is the yeah. Uncanny dodge is the ability to use a reaction to half damage you take from any source you can see. It's not until like sixth or eighth that they get the. If they save for half, they take none. So did she half the half damage then? Um, she is going to yes. So it's three damage then. All right. Quarter damage. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Never seen that before. Yeah. Same. What a rad spell. Third level. It's technically necromancy, but... What are you going to do? Dead tax collectors. Oh, yeah. oh, it's conjuration. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Because it's angelic. It's not yeah, spirits. It's both, too. All right. Um, so you see that thing appear over there. And, uh... Good old Clary. Shit. Yeah. yeah. And... <clears throat> Oh yeah, giant hippo! You can check out our the overlay has our <laughs> character sheets on it again, right? Yep. Yeah. I've been worse situations. One of these days, I gotta watch this on my computer during like a game that you guys are playing, so I can see all the Hell character yeah, sheets. Yeah, I've never seen yeah. that before. Same. Oh. Uh, but now, so she is moving. Her 15 feet and having to use her bonus action to dash uh -huh. to get another, <laughs> to the other draw their attention at least. Um, well, that this whole thing just like they're all what? Yeah, it's and, a distraction. Yeah, um, she is going to. Unfortunately, oh, if you get hit by something in invisibility, do you lose it, or is it only if you attack? I think it's if... I don't know. I think it's I think if you it's take if you damage, attack. you would be... Well, no, because then why would... I don't know. Spells. Invisibility. Uh, creature you touch becomes invisible. Spell ends. Anything the target is wearing carrying invisible. The spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. So, no. Until she does something. Ugh. 
<clears throat> so how did you see her? He didn't. I didn't. Oh. She told me she was there, and then I forgot because I was in a hurry to cast my spell. But she is within the radius, and the guardians don't give a shit yeah. if you're invisible or not. Mm-hmm. That's why I was saying, like, I should have just been like, of course I remembered her, but I really wasn't thinking about her when I cast this. I was I was looking at that map and thinking, yeah, do it. Okay. Uh, I was hoping for some new addition, but whatever. Yeah, okay. No, I'm just kidding. I've already gotten one before, but I'll take it. Uh-huh. For being true and hurting your teammates, spoiling the party. <laughs> oh. Renewing your fighter. Don't kill Ganesh. Inoperable. Uh, I made the fighter inoperable? Because uh, you didn't stay and try to help him, but then, of oh. course, Ganesh would have been assassinated well, anyway. I, we were taking turns <laughs> taking the lead. He was in charge. He was ahead once. I was ahead once. He was ahead once. Then I broke away. Okay. Sadroth would be proud. Oh, wrong one. Oh, Prince. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Are you kidding me? Okay. Is that Kalidor's inspiration? It's Kalidor's. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> that is the assassin's like, you bastard. <laughs> if this guy gets, sta- gets assassinated and you're... <laughs> <laughs> with all these guards out here to say like, my god, Lord Ganesh is dead. <laughs> all these guards are all around you wondering what the fuck you're doing. I mean, she's trying to frame me. It seems like that would be really hard at this point because I'm in custody. Ooh. I feel like I bought the most hard to read dice. Like mine are easy, his are easy, yours are tough, these knives are tough. That's so fun though. Yeah, like this I mean, is it a six or a nine? No. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a nine. Yeah, and all the numbers face the handle. Yeah. So you have to pick it up by the handle to read the number correctly. Bonnie. Well, mean, yeah. Um, <clears throat> what are you doing? Fucking my way out. <laughs> I need her, didn't I? <laughs> she went that way. Go get her. Uh, um, the guard in front of you tells the three guards behind you, you know, uh, uh, go, and, go and check on the Pasha. No, not Pasha, thief. Everything's the language barrier with you. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to eat? No, my boots are soft. You can probably just speak their language. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just speak to them in Gallon Jam. <laughs> and uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> but in the heat of the moment. Oh, one track mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Laser focus. They're like, he has a Gallon accent. He's <laughs> this Russian sounding <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? Well, it uh, depends on what I'm seeing right now. Uh, you saw golden shower of coins and man, you are short. Uh, you heard a crash of coins from behind the group in front of you. You then also saw a one of the tax collectors appear off to the left of the group and swing its flail at something that isn't there. Shit. <clears throat> now, if I... So, shit, I can't see them, though. If I cast Detect Magic, would they just glow with invisibility magic, you think? Hmm. Around any visible creatures. No, it doesn't work on visible. What the hell? 
That's Stitch? Oh, those are cats. It's from some other stream. Huh. Or some other Discord. They just pop up when he does it. Actually, I think we have that one. I think that's like a default one. It's only in the process of casting a spell. Uh, shit. Um... There's one cat, cat dogs. hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> it auto-corrected my name to bitch. <laughs> I... Fuck me. I see. So I see him do this thing. I've seen things get clubbed with coins, but I can't see that what. I kind of want to hold my action with a hold person spell until I could make sense of a target. I mean, you can see the guardian striking something. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if that. I can't just. I have to be able to see, don't I? Yeah, to see the target. Your movement still. Yeah, I got my movement. Are the guards distracted by my... Oh, and you're small, right? You can go through people's squares. I sure can. You can just go doo -doo 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 through all of them to get behind them. Sure. Would that help me? But if she's invisible... That's Caladora. He doesn't this. know this. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he saw something get attacked gotcha. that's invisible. He's making assumptions. I see. Well, now if I, now if I run through their little legs, and there's something going on behind them, regardless of hold person or seeing visible or whatever, the only issue is that you're going to be charging through guards, uh, sure, who are already arrayed against you, right? But you know, hell, if you can help, then yeah, I can um, bonus action disengage. Right, that's a, of course you'd do that. Yeah, <laughs> bonus action disengage, run through them, and you can. All right. See whatever's on the other side. Yeah, because something's something's fucked up. If you're doing this, all right, yeah, yeah, something's wrong uh, here. Okay. Uh, so you're like, ah, like I'm going in, <laughs> <laughs> and the guards like, what? Ah, what? <laughs> they clash with each other's swords as you're just <laughs> going through. The the younger man is like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the older man just. What is going on to you? <laughs> he like, kind of turns around, and as, he's turning around, and as you come around the back, you see uh, Caladora with her sword in Finessa. Finessa is like five feet from Ganesh with his with her, his dagger up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Old person. <clears throat> Better fail this shit. <laughs> it's like. Constitution saving throw. We got to beat a, a beat of four. It's wisdom sixteen. Ooh, that's not gonna do it. So <laughs> the only reason I feel okay with this is because he was also did this with the with the, with the flesh goal when he went out to to see what was on the other side of that door. He gets he gets squirrely sometimes. He does in the heat of does. battle. He's just like this <laughs> <laughs> goblin. This goblin. So it's so it's she's <laughs> held. Also, with a never piece mind. of iron in my hand. I did. You were there, and we did talk about that. I was like, yeah. "Oh, you ran into the spirit garden, sir." No, he was already he was already right. next to you when yeah, yeah, you cast sorry. it. Then um, here comes Videk and the guards, and all suddenly get attacked. Well, I can. I was gonna say I'm gonna stop it now since he ran into it, and I can hear him cast his stuff. So. I mean, you don't know what happened though. Yeah. All right, I'll keep it going. Okay. Uh and it's just like in the corner of your eyes you just see these little coins in all these different areas like gold coins like it's like you're in a snow globe yeah well it's like any of the like 80s movies where someone's like tripping out or it's a magical place and you just you know they they blur it out and do, do almost the Michael Bay uh, lens flaring effect like that's what you kind of like little little coins sparkling all around you in this zone <clears throat> and then of course the tax collectors uh, there's two of them, one over Caladora and one over uh, Finessa, and they're just both like, eh? Uh, <laughs> um, but she's, oh, and you, Ganesh turns around, like, looks up, sees that, and uh, he goes, enough! What is going on here? Thief! 
Assassin. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's a dawn's on me with the dagger and everything. Oh. Uh, the guards are now like backing up. Uh, so the guards have turned around, have moved to the other side, like basically to see what the hell's going on back there. Uh, and you see the young man is still staring at you. He's like, mm. not smiling anymore. Oh. And then he goes reaches down into his belt and pulls out a curved dagger and you see him look at his the, the older man Ganesh in the back you know what sucks is I thought in the beginning that that person was bad and then you said I saw that other person and I forgot about him was Finesse is Finesse about to stab Finesse, Finesse was about to stab Ganesh, Ganesh. Okay. okay now this guy looks like he is also about to stab Ganesh alright so that's why you're so happy to see you yep it's because that's probably Vanessa. Or, or he hired her. I thought you her. were the assassin coming in to kill him. Mm-hmm. Who knows? What do you want to do? Um, let's... You can definitely see him. Let's throw the big old gemstone at him. The guiding that, bolt. That, oh, guiding bolt. You can also command or things like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's command him. Let's well, uh, halt. Drop. Drop the weapon. Drop. Fourteen. Wisdom. Uh, eight ain't gonna do it. <clears throat> so Ooh. he's like, this is, and you're like, drop! Like how many times do you have to thwart this in a row? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. He <laughs> drops yeah. his weapon, and you see Ganesh turns back around, looking at him. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, so he didn't. <laughs> uh, he turns back around, <laughs> you know, looks at him yeah. with his hand Ooh. up, like because he's yeah. looking at <laughs> looking at Vanessa with her, you know her hand up in the dagger. Turns around, looks at him with his hand up, and looks down the ground, sees a dagger, and he's like, uh, "For what?" And the guy's like, "He forced me to do it." <laughs> 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 Traitor! <laughs> no, I don't say that. <laughs> like, how could you? <laughs> My whole team uh, turns on me. Yeah. So like this guy is now like, anyway. he's hearing the commotion out there as the three other guards left, and he's like, come with me. And he goes out the way he came in, basically the way you went. Uh, are you going to follow him? I'll try and get ahead of him. Hey, you guys come around the corner and see this clusterfuck. <laughs> you see Jewel Mall, a young man, a knife on the ground, uh, Gan- uh, Turhan Ganesh, the guy you saw speaking earlier, two guards, one guard is looking behind, one guard is looking this way at Jewel Mall. Uh, you think Needle's back there, but you see Finessa and Caladora, and they're both not, like, not moving. Like, Caladora doesn't know, really, the spell, spell is ended, but she doesn't want to move, and she just has her blade in Finessa. And then two <laughs> translucent golden tax collectors look at you. Because <laughs> you haven't cut it out yet, right? No, I wasn't stopping well, yet. considering I'm still on... Pursue mode. I'm just gonna go straight to Vanessa and try and get my blade back. <laughs> uh, the guard next to you tries to stop you, grabs your shoulder. Uh, strength. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh, you get seven. You working 16. out too much? No, hold on. <laughs> I'm really sick of your shit. <laughs> um. So yeah, he said, he made me. <clears throat> Nay, I took the, way, the knife from his hand. Just as we've stopped this other lass from attempting a plot on your life. She carries the blade of my friend. Look, and then I'll turn everything off, because otherwise it's going to hurt Calador on her next turn anyway. Um, um, while he's talking, if I have an opportunity, I'd like to mage hand the knife out of the... Uh, she could break out of the spell at any moment. Can't use my channel on anything that is held. Oh shit! Duh. <laughs> Calder, like once the gold and all that dissipates, Calder pulls her blade from Vanessa and reaches up and just peels the dagger out of her hand. 
I'll kick the other <laughs> knife away. God, what a terrible spell if that was like a real life thing. Yes, yeah, hold person. person. Oh, yeah, uh, like what's the like hold group? I think it's like used to mass, be mass. Group. Mass hold person. I'd be yeah. fucking with that. I'd be putting like rods, like immovable rods in your car. Like there you go. Oh fuck! What <laughs> 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 the shit was that? Damn it! <laughs> so, uh, three guards come out the door. More guards are coming from back where you guys came from because all the rooms you ran through, other people from this place are walking in. Uh, this place is starting to get pretty kept crowded, and uh, Turhan is like, he steps back, <laughs> he's and he's line. like, guards, cease, he says, uh, cease for hot. He goes, what? Father! <laughs> and they grab him, and he goes, if you all are so innocent, relinquish yourself to my guards. Hey, we'll do so. Um, yeah, um. Okay. I'm, I'm still holding this spell. Uh, should I? Uh, I'm going to release her now, okay? Wait. And Kalidor reaches up and pulls the veil off of her and just grabs it. And you see, like, is Finesse is like, hmm? It is Finesse. It is Finesse. Okay, cool. It's like, uh, okay. You just go seal. Uh, so you guys give yourselves up to the guards. Yeah, yeah. they're even like they don't even take your weapons or anything. They yeah. just like you know, come up a guard for each of you type of thing. Mm-hmm. You release a spell and they grab her. Um, oh, I better mark that spell. <clears throat> uh, she is very heavily <laughs> wounded. Vanessa is. She got stabbed by yeah, by Calidora yeah. with her new weapon. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> What'd she get? Uh, she got a pair to work together. Uh, the she's got the dark. Not a pair. <laughs> a pair. She's got a pair, <laughs> dude. She's got a pair. Yeah. Uh, she has the the black uh, short sword and the white dagger. Oh. That you know have a black pearl and a white pearl in the bases. Uh, the short sword is a short sword of wounding. And which does an extra Oh, every time she hits someone. Uh oh yeah, that's still happening. When she oh. hits somebody, they continually take D4 necrotic damage every turn. Oh shit. Um until they can make a DC fifteen constitution save. Does she mention that? <laughs> Um, and oh yep sorry <laughs> and hit points lost to this weapon's damage can only be regained through a short or long rest rather than by regeneration magic or other Holy means Oh shit yeah what and the dagger yeah, your sword does no it's just like some fire and does 2d6 ah. extra damage nice. her dagger I can see in the dark too ah uh, well well, you can he can see in fire. Dagger. He can see in light. You can light the <laughs> yeah, just has, like, she, her dagger is a dagger of blind sight and gives her 30 foot, 30 foot, 20 foot, 10 foot, uh, 30 foot blind vision, blind sight. So, wow. <clears throat> uh, yeah, she's like, someone needs to treat that wound. <laughs> well, she just missed. So, Damn. What a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. So let's see. Let me see if I got this straight. <laughs> yeah, I think I would like to. <laughs> like, and later on, when you're all sitting around a table with Ganesh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Trahan, um, discussing all of this with some tea, he's like, let me get this straight. <laughs> you escorted your boss to the Oasis Theater. And yes. then a beast. Oh, shit, the beast. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll it's still going on. And then a beast broke out of the theater, and you stopped it. But then you noticed the seamstress <clears throat> had taken your dagger and run. 
You ran after her into my house. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the intrusion. And then, uh, where she was trying to kill me. And then my own son was trying to kill me. <laughs> I thought you said that was your son. Oh, I'm so, that's terrible. But, uh, yes, that sums it up quite neatly. <laughs> Glad you're okay. <laughs> Spinnel Road, eh? Mm. Hey, we had meant to speak with you under better pretenses about possibly opening up trade to little Colin Shan to oh, the wait, south. I did hear you speaking about that, yes. But at present, we have business still here in little Colin Shan that we should attend to before it's too long. Ah, uh, yes, our, our, our uh, benefactor could be in danger right now. Uh, you have. You have much work to do before little Kalimshan opens up, but uh, I, I can secure what trade I do have that doesn't come straight here. Uh, I will certainly be looking at your services for that going forward. Thank you very much, Pasha. Um... He goes, he speaks in Kalim, Shite, or whatever the language is. What is the language? It's like yeah, Alzado. Yeah. Alzado. He speaks in Alzado to a guard and basically says, you know, escort these, this group, uh, escort this group, they have my blessing for the rest uh, in, until dawn. Um, so basically what he's saying is that you're not going to get kicked out. Ain't. As long as this guard is with you, you have this nobleman's. You know, we can get tickets leave. to the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sort of just tack on other stuff. <laughs> and, like, you've been in here for like an hour, so, like, the show is probably about to wrap up soon. Mm. Um, hey, we should make our way back. They said it'll, Although, be, it'll be some time. They've before. taken Vanessa and Farhet uh, into custody for questioning, uh, but they're going to keep them both here and not turn them over to. The flaming fist. Interesting. I was just thinking, should have used the uh, ring of the ring. Placement. Oh, sorry. Beast. <laughs> it's 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 a, as a way to get into the show, be like, we'll give it back. You let us have. Oh yeah. Uh, but then this guy. An would assassination would have happened <laughs> yeah. with your knife. With your knife. <laughs> That's the thing. It was just like, oh, it's just a knife. Let it grab it. I guess. I mean, that was my initial reaction, yeah. but then you're like, "Oh no, they can use magic on you." And like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, but no magic. magic. That's funny because yeah. at first I was thinking like, it wouldn't really. What does it matter if they do magic on your knife? He's already running after him. Like, well, I guess it, it made him chase. So <laughs> <that's> <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> yeah, just threaten me with magic. And yeah. Whatever you want. Spooky shit. You happen. see, if that dragon keeps that coin in there, <laughs> it's, it's your turn to buy drinks. They buy last time magic. But fuck you guys. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, shall we take our break? Yeah. It's six twenty already, huh? Jesus, halfway through it. It was quick. That was a, a hectic little yeah jaunt. A little cool little chase scene, and we get split up different parts. Cars are messing with us. End up, yeah, that's nuts. Glad that guy lived. You'd have had a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you did die. Because even regardless of, like, you know, the the clean getaway was if you wouldn't have chased her, she would have just killed him. Your knife would have been there. And yeah. <clears throat> you guys would have been apprehended and questioned and bad things would have happened. Yeah. The other thing is now, like, now that you got there, you're, you're all rushing into this place he gets murdered by somebody, yeah. and you're all there, so you st it still doesn't look good. No. I guess his uh, I guess his son is unsympathetic to opening up Baldur's to Baldur's Gate. No, he is. Uh, you'll is you'll he a, hear. You're right, Pasha. Like that, that entire sequence was successful because of two perception rolls. Because we were in the chase, you got one right, and I got one right, and that was the only way we kept up with everything. Man, oh, and Calidora got one too, right? And the investigation at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and then so them I, failing your saving throws yeah. against against oh, that's command. True. We jumped off a wall and, went and started running. Haha, -ha, successful jump. I did it. I made it from the 
from the top to the bottom. Yeah, you did. It's going to become a trope where I'm running. You're just trying <laughs> yeah. to keep up and falling. <laughs> You're redeemed from that scene in the end. I don't know. I bounced off the fucking wall. Yeah. I, like, I jumped and hit the opposing <laughs> wall. <laughs> right. like, it was less than graceful. <laughs> Holy shit. That was wild. But, uh, you know, someone has it out for you, apparently. Yeah, who does it? God, everyone's targeting us. Was she? Huh? Yeah, sure. My God. Uh, we'll be right back, folks. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I got questions. When they're gone, I can tell you about the whole thing. Oh, did they float up in order? Like, did they stay together? I didn't see. Uh, uh, Finesse is, is working for the same shadowy organization as Muriel Goodhost, uh, the bard that was messing with him in episode two. So, yes. Someone has it out for the Spinal Road. Uh, I'll be right back.
not. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't just didn't take care of this, you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it was riveting, I bet, while we were all gone with the away message. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Super Sad. Pardon me, did want to just start murdering those cards because I was just so mad. You haven't yeah. got to use it yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. sure you'll get your chance. Uh, all right. So you guys are released from the Ganesh estate. Allowed to head back to the Oasis Theater. Good. Okay. Good. Did you get his knife back? Yes, you got it. Caldor pulled it out of his hand. Hurt me. I don't know if they wanted to confiscate it or what. I don't, them, I don't want them to use magic on me either. <laughs> now you can kill the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the message and then leave. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Bye. Oh, here I am. <laughs> Purple flame and one girl face. Yes. Did you set it up to check it for that? I thought it was just the... No, so we found out that you can put anything in there. That's why, uh, see, I was doing Doritos. Like, here, I'll make a Dorito cloud. Yes. <laughs> Summon the Doritos. I was really hoping that when you did the octopus, it would, like, stay together. But... Oh, it just drifted apart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One dead kraken. If you put in too much, it won't work either. I think if you go, like, at least in the text, if it hits the third line, it just goes into oblivion. Ooh. Too much. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Big yikes. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of Sams. So many Sams. Oh, Sam. Now, I've been trying sure. to avoid the spoilers for the next chapter, because I saw the nose bleed, and I was like, oh, no. Oh yeah. Now I want to know. Do we have a? Is there an ETA for the next uh, issue? Is that or is that just like a? He's coloring it now. It's been inked. Cool. By the way, but you didn't lose my uh, Disney Plus thing last night, did you? No. Okay. Amazingly, I still have it. Yeah. <laughs> so you got some catching up to do. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can watch the Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty excited about Mandalorian. Division, but you need yeah, to watch. In game before you watch WandaVision. Oh yeah, I can see all the Marvel movies now. Yep. <laughs> Oh. Well, who gives a shit about those? I like the Spider Man. The Hulk was Edward before Hulk. the Marvel Universe, Superman uh, Universe, even though they say it's included in it. It's the Edward Norton version. It's terrible. I know. It's just like an Iron Man and go through the entire thing. I might. And there's, that, there's one scene in that whole movie that's really good, and it's where Tim Noth fights the Hulk after he receives the Super Soldier Serum. Tim Noth, is, he plays the soldier that's like the bad guy test subject in the Hulk movie with Edward Norton. He's the guy from uh, Four Rooms. Yeah. Oh no way. Yeah. He's a cool. He's a good bad guy. I like that guy. Huh. Four he's Rooms the, with a bellhop. Mm -hmm. I saw. He's the bellhop. That's Tim. Yeah, that's Roth. Tim Roth. Yeah. Uh, I Is it Roth? Roth? I thought it was not. Is it Roth? Roth. I didn't Tim know Roth. you guys even heard of that. I felt like that's such a like a oh, weird. No. Is, it, is it famous? Uh, Four, Rooms? Four Rooms. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, one of one of them was done by Rodriguez, yeah, and one of them Roth, was yeah. done by. Uh, Quentin Tarantino, so... Oh, like, right, yeah, yeah. It's okay. pretty huge. Yeah. It's, yeah. Everyone always says, too, they're like, it's a, it's a Tarantino movie. I'm like, no, out of the four rooms, that's the worst. <laughs> the <laughs> last the, one? Yeah. It's hilarious. It's so Is that the one with the witches? No, no the, that's the first the, one. Oh, the, the, the finger getting chopped off. Yeah. yeah so the and, you, and just, it's so great. Just, chink, <laughs> chink, <laughs> chink. <laughs> And out the door he goes. It's, like, it's uh, uh, the witches. I can't remember the name of the room. And then the second one is is Theodore or whatever it's called. That's the, the one where the guy the has the heart attack. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah the yeah, guys. Yeah. And the third one. The woman's tied up. And the, the third one is my favorite. That's don't misbehave. Yep. Because that's up, Rodriguez. Yeah, they open up the door and he's got a dead hooker. And a, the kid has a syringe that the room is on fire. And there's porn <laughs> on the TV and. <laughs> And he opens the door and goes, did they, did they misbehave? misbehave? <laughs> <laughs> he's got the syringe stuck in him. Yeah. Because she's like, he's like, there's a dead whore in the mattress. Oh, that's and right. And stop saying that. There's a dead whore in the mattress. Oh, that's and right. And she goes, he can't smash him. And he goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the kid has, the young boy has, 
It's not just a boy has a cigarette in his hand. Yeah, the boy has the cigarette. The girl (laughs) has stabbed him with a syringe. Uh, He's holding the hooker, dead hooker, in the box spring. And then the the, The, the blanket's on fire. The liquor spilled and caught fire from a cigarette. And there's four different rooms, and each one of their own little short story written by another director. It's an old hotel on New Year's Eve, and it's a bellhop's first day. And he's been he, he gets told four <laughs> rules, basically. You know, keep your keep your pants zipped up. Uh, don't you know? Don't interact with a guest. Don't do this. Don't do that. Like he's been he gets told four things by the old bellhop before he leaves and gives him his first night. And each room is its own story, and each room breaks one of those rules. Fun stuff. Ugh. So is uh, Arya dead? Well, you head back, and uh, <laughs> as you're getting into that district, uh, so what happened was like in the Ganesh uh, household, you were taken, sat down, questioned. Uh, they also questioned uh, his son and Vanessa, and separately, and like. You know, people were coming in and out of your room. Ganesh was coming in and out of your room. Um, it took a while, and finally he sat down with you. Went through like the okay, I really yeah, like, yeah. Did we get this here? Huh? You probably told him like, when he questioned who you were. You yeah. probably gave him your whole spiel. So well, that's why I said maybe he's gonna. I was like, hey, we were hoping to meet you and do yeah. better. Yeah, um, he nice. is a big, big in merchant. Yeah, big enough to get assassinated. Right. Mer- I was like, merchant. Mer- merchant. Mercantilism. He's kind uh, of he, merchant. he imports a lot of things, he but most of them go to well, Kalimchan. But he, like, because that's the rules of little Kalimchan, mm-hmm. if you bring things in, it has to come here. So he kind of alludes to the fact that, like, hey, maybe we can do some business and I can veer some stuff off your way. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that would definitely have to be smuggled in and not have anything to do with his name. Which is weird. Yeah, let me happen to have smugglers. So you head back into the Oasis yeah, Theater yeah, District. Yeah. Just as you're getting there, uh, it's still daylight. The sun has just hit the horizon and is starting to dip down. When you enter the district, you see the doors of the Oasis Theater open and the crowd coming out. Okay. All abuzz and and fluttering from the performance that night. I had told Ecuador to go find Aria. Yep, when you get back into that range, uh... He's been sucked on. <laughs> Someone's got him on a stick roasting him right by. <laughs> you go into his eyes, you find, you find uh, him in a jar on somebody's table. Like, yeah. like he's been captured. Yeah, he's been captured. Has he? Mm-hmm. He's sitting in this kind of like stablery uh, where you can see like the displacer beast and all these other things. He's got his little hands around that cage. Ecuador. And you see the. It's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Pull him back, give him some reassuring pets. <laughs> Bites this is where he gets back to hell and he's like, oh, he clocks out. Like, oh, I hope he doesn't need another. <laughs> oh, he pulled me right back. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's petting me. He thinks I like this. I fucking hate it. I want your soul, you little asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will make this happen. Just imagine him having like the, the Ghostbusters things. Like, I'm a third level. Ghastly apparition. Yeah. <laughs> Manifestation. <laughs> yeah. Deuce to this s- um, stupid form. You see uh, Arya and Mizla. All right. Looking as elegant as ever, laughing, and like probably the first time you've really seen her joyful. Mm, like, Mizla or uh, Arya. Arya? Or both of them. Mizla laughs a lot. Mm-hmm. You've mm-hmm. seen her. Put on the smile and laugh for people at the bar, but Arya has always been business with you guys. So, well, they come out arm in arm. Well, um, pretty much just like how we, you know, gave give him space, but like you know, you know, escorting. When she sees you, she walks up to you guys. Huh. Ah. 
I hope you uh, stayed out of trouble while we were in there. Oh, this is a very quiet evening. <laughs> I, nothing we couldn't be trusted with. Excellent. Well, let's get home, shall we? Let's. Yeah, like the first time I'm not scared to see the boss. <laughs> yeah. So like, hey. And yeah, I guess we... Back to the pile. Yep. You guys head... Well, you head back into town, and there are... Uh, Misla and... Well, Misla says, like, nightcap at the Blushing Mermaid, and she turns to all of you and says... Sure. Was, Never turned down a free drink. That's true. <laughs> I thought it was free. She's just giving us to get some sales. <laughs> well, I'm just remembering that I've never paid in Arya's presence, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the Blushing Mermaid. Uh, when you get there, you do go in through the back where Squint is. Uh, he lets you in. You go right down into mm-hmm. the catacombs, into Arya's private room, a little office down there, where the unseen service get Yay. your drinks ready and uh, Ms. Lowe will regale you about the performance. Yeah, was, how was it? No, it was about a, a seely and unseely court uh, duo. Uh, you can do it with emojis. Yeah. yeah. So, basically a uh, son of the unseely court and daughter of the seely court fall in love. Mm. Romeo and Juliet style yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> They even said that they have a very realistic uh, attack beast that worked for the the Unseelie King. Oh, <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. <laughs> that attacked it. it. Like, it was a displacer beast. It looked really well done. For It must have been an illusion or something. Like, so well done. I'm kind of, like, putting messages out. Like, maybe we just have, let her enjoy her evening before we fill her in with... I, I don't see any reason to bring up what happened with her yeah. at all we were just well, getting back some of our well I mean we could explain that yeah why not what why keep it from her I oh mean, I was just going to like made a new connection. no yeah I was I don't plan on keeping this secret from her I'm just being like for now like let her enjoy her evening She's like a cleric who's afraid of the boss I'm like I'm the notary but I don't want to talk to Ari <laughs> <laughs> I've been burned by too many boss NPCs in this in this room <laughs> <laughs> shell shot <laughs> like, uh, oh, don't yeah. hit me <laughs> the boss walks I'm like uh it probably would be cool to bring up Ganesh actually. It's like, oh, you know. We, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, the possible so we'll, opportunities there. We'll tell our, we'll tell ours kind of, a, I'll try to make it sound funny though. Like, oh, you know, funny thing happened to us. We saw that thing you were talking about. It got loose before you saw it. And we got robbed and we got it back. No way, we got it back. No big deal. And then we met Ganesh and he seems open to business with Spinning. Especially after we saved his life. No. <laughs> yeah. Do we? Discovered a plot on his life. He's like, oh, I guess we're just what? <laughs> oh, I meant to just report on it later, but it was uh, it was quite a busy evening for us as well. Um, do you know? Do you know uh, uh, Pasha Ganesh? 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 I did. Taran, Ganesh? He is prominent in the uh, circles that want to open up a little Kalimshan for business. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had two run-ins with him this evening one as he orated and another as we foiled a plot on his life trying to get Vidic's knife back which was being used for the the vile deed it turned out yes uh, our loss prevention officer noticed that his, his boot knife was missing and then um, sure enough we saw someone running away from it we gave wait so it's not magic well, it could it could have been used for that. It's definitely a possibility. But you have your knife back now. It's all good. And just uh, have an attempt uh, attempt of his on his life was made with uh, with that very dagger. But we uh, 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 we barely managed to bit, step uh, in. But it seems that someone is still out to to frame Spindle. Do you skinny the situation that yes. occurred? Oh. Yeah, the sun. Yeah, the sun. The yeah. Uh, the seamstress. The seamstress. <laughs> oh. I know. I keep wanting to do that. <laughs> we was fighting a powerful mean panther. Funny story. Hmm. So we're almost afraid for the murder of a noble. Yeah. That is kind of like how you brought it up to. <laughs> how was your evening? Oh yeah. 
<laughs> almost framed, Spindle Road was almost framed for the murder of a prominent noble in a <laughs> yeah. district. The xenophobic uh, district at that. Uh, Doesn't he which, run his own district as well? He runs a district inside the Kalimshan, mm-hmm. which is itself a district, district of Baldur's, Baldur's Gate. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Arya also tells you that she has secured... Uh, she had spoke with the the agent. Right, yeah. Um, How did that go? She believes it was the guild kingpin of Callum Chan. Like uh, the guild? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the guild. So, Cal- which Calidora will explain that every neighborhood and district of uh, Baldur's, Gate. Baldur's Gate has a kingpin that reports directly to the guild leader. So oh, that, so, so that every... kingpin was the little Callum Shane kingpin? Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's who they, That's who Arya suspects this was. She mm. didn't actually get a name. Uh, uh, right. Arya suspects. If it is, then that would be would have been Rilsa Rail. Kalidora will tell you. And it seems from her description and what Kalidora knows about the guild kingpin of Cal- little Callum Shan. What's her name again, sir? Rilsa Rael. So the guild is what's opposed to the right Pashas. The mm-hmm. guild is all about opening up little Callum Shan's trade where the right Pashas want to keep it closed. So that is the major confrontation there. Um, but you've secured some business, especially smuggling things out of little Kalimshan and back in as legitimate deliveries. So you'll literally be Money like wonders. the the guild will be taking stuff from little Kalimshan that got delivered directly to little Kalimshan. Uh-huh. They'll be like basically tossing it over the wall. Right. Your guys will pick it up or someone will pick it up take it down to the the veins, river veins, uh-huh. where your smuggler friends will smuggle it to Rivington and put it on your next caravan <laughs> where it'll go across as legitimate goods into the into Holy Baldur's shit. Gate. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's rad as hell. Wow. Sounds like a good evening was had by all. Except for the assassins. I'll uh, certainly follow up on that. We need to know uh, we do know who this Vanessa is and works for and who Furhat and how they got a hold of Furhat and what his goal was in all of this I'm sure it was just to take over the family mm-hmm. but we need to know some motivations so do not let this lie understood For hot. Motives. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We will get to the bottom of this. Glug, 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 glug. It was a stressful day. Mm -hmm. Have a drink. King stops the game war. Look at that gold W. Oh, oh, look at that gold bronze, W. That's a bronze. That's a bronze. Yeah, the, the gold oh, is much more Oh, that's bright yellow. yellow. That's right. Yeah. Um, I think Drug Dealing Monkey and Lord and Savior Ace. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh, shit. Super Sad Squad for two months. Your wow. finger slipped. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank your finger for us. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I saw, we just got fingered by Super Sad Squad. So I saw a tool that he uses that I was like, that is fucking specialized. Where, you know, he draws, he's an artist, but he draws digitally, so he draws on like an iPad. So he has a glove that covers these oh, yeah. two so fingers so he can yeah. put his hand on yeah. top of the yep. screen. I need that so bad because I'm, really I'm left-handed. Yeah. And uh. almost like, and most of them now have a left-handed thing because they try to... 
to acknowledge that you might have your hand on there, so they mm. they try to do that. But most of them only look for wherever the pinpoint is. They ignore every input to the right. Oh, right, but not to the oh. like if you're it's right-handed. Built for a right-handed. Yeah, people. so yeah. as a left-handed person, you put your hand down and just. <laughs> 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 Like when something came out pretty early on, like one of the, oh, it was um, shit. It was the screenwriting software. It's like one of the most prominent screenwriting softwares out there for like screenwriting and novel uh, planning. Uh-huh. Like to make you, you can make characters and you can put them in a folder and reference them. World it's Anvil. like this. It's basically World Anvil, but it was for authors and screenwriters. <laughs> uh, but it had you can just write in it, and they didn't have a left-handed feature. So I like had I messaged them, and they actually put it in there. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, so the iPad has a palm rejection, like you were saying. Yep. The glove allows my hand to glide across to make smooth spokes. It also cleans the screen as I draw. Ah, oh, well, nice. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, it so looks we, like it looks like pool gloves. That's yeah, what I was say because pool pool players will have those three these three these fingers. three, but this one's the yeah, opposite. So mm-hmm. uh, you have to post that in the the Discord because I might want to buy one of those. But I still need to get a new Apple Pencil. Hmm. One of these days, I want to really want the just... Wacom. Well, I have a Wacom, but uh, it's the like where you. You, you yeah, look yeah. at the screen while and you're, you're drawing. drawing. Like, you want the... You do it oh all. Oh, my like, God. That'd be so amazing. Oh. I still have a laptop at home that, like, isn't strong enough to run Zoom when we play online. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get with the program. Uh, all right. So, uh, I suppose we drink and make merry. Probably, probably fine. Is Ms. Lett here, too? Yes. Then we'll probably leave them too alone at some point. Yeah. Kind of play that. Check out after a couple drinks past the the discussion of what happened that evening. Mm -hmm. Uh, Leave them to their devices. Do you guys go home, or do you guys go to the hangers? (laughs) We can celebrate the hangers. Yeah, let's go to the hangers. What do you think, Vidak? Yes, we'll find you a real seamstress. One that doesn't want to murder merchant princes. Right. You already found a real seamstress there. That's where your clothes are from. Yeah. Where do we go? Okie dokie. Beautify. And off we go. Beautify. It's <laughs> <laughs> dust. Is Beautify just self cast? No, it's. You can cast with others. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cheek! <laughs> oh, you have a nice little trim to your beard. I try to mend your teeth, it doesn't work. Oh, oh. I know. These are the prettiest goblin teeth you could ever have. There's a gnom- gnomish dentist in your You know district. what? As long as the break or tear is no longer than a foot in any dimension, I can fix your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it has to be in an object, I think. Can't be unliving. So you can't you can't tear someone's you arm can't, off. Like, off that's called healing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's healing. Could it work on a construct? Yes. Could it work on a flesh golem? Yes. <laughs> Why can't it heal someone? <laughs> <laughs> Z Bradshaw. That was a funny episode. Oh, that was great. <sighs> yeah. So what's happening with the hangers? Uh, the hangers are as lively as as always. Uh, things are. Hitting up. What is the what's the day today? It is the fourteenth of the dawn. Da- da- the drawing down. Four- you want to say dawning? Yep. Yeah, the, the drawing 14th down. Fourteenth of, of the drawing down. All day long. I need. I have the calendar. I bought it. Oh really? It, it, it's from last year. Ah. Like, I'm playing in like eighty nine, and it's from eighty eight or whatever it was. A fourteen eighty. Like, what is it? 1490? Fuck what's... if I know, man. Like, you, you had it written down somewhere, but it's, like, literally, the, the D&D world at release was for X date, 14-something. And my yeah. world has progressed because of the Dragonborn campaign right. one year beyond that. Yeah. So, it's literally, like, why can't you, like, hey, dude, the, all you, it's on DMs Guild, like, hey, can you just... You know, update it? Yeah. Because the days are all pretty much the same, but the moon calendar... All right. Changes. We could just. We could just oh, uh, yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter, right? Yeah, like, yeah. 
so I just need to print it out. I really wanted to print it out nicely, mm. but we can like have it here. So every day we sit down for this game, I can mark. Do Kinkos exactly. still exist? I haven't seen a Kinkos in ages. I don't no, even know. Uh, can you? Is this is this calendar like a real calendar where you can reuse it every eleven years? I mean, I don't know what the Ferunian yeah. calendar is. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, I, don't know. I just think that's fun because like, every eleven years you can reuse the calendar. Huh. So, like right now, we can use calendars from twenty ten and nineteen ninety nine. Interesting. I didn't know that. Well, that was the the fun part about that's the. It's a PDF. It's really the, nice. The mid tens was everyone was like, oh, all of our nineties calendars work again. So people were having like, you know, Saved by the Bell and like Brennan <laughs> Sippy calendars worked again and stuff. Things from when we were a kid. I don't know, it was like clockwork, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, same days and everything. So right now you can use a 2010 calendar. I'm trying to think of what came out in 2010. It would have been right after 2009, so... Really? Know, what movies? It would have been out after 2009? No, I'm just trying to think of... This, <laughs> I, I know very specifically what I was doing in 2009, so I'm trying to think of what movies I saw in 2010. But that would have been what... I'm the, horrible. The MCU, yeah, yeah, yeah. The MCU horrible. started in 2009 or 2007, so 2010 would have been, like, the war. Yeah, 2012 was the first Avengers, Avengers movie. Yeah, so Thor would have been about 2010. Cause mm. That movie sucked. Thor came after Iron Man 2. With bleached eyebrows. It's the most unepic movie about a god I ever saw. <laughs> Captain America saved the entire world from you know domination by Red Skull and the winning of you know Nazi Germany yeah. over the entire world. Captain or even Iron Man stopped, unknown to the most of the world, a plot to plunge the entire world into war for the sake of selling arms, uh, and then Thor comes in and saves a uh, one stoplight town. town in New <laughs> yeah. Mexico. Literally one stoplight town. They they show it several times. It yeah. just sits up there. I think it gets destroyed at one point. Yeah, because the the and it oh. only and it's only in danger because he's there. Yeah. If he didn't, didn't if he walked outside of the town, that thing would have followed him and not hurt anyone or destroyed anything in that town. Ragnarok was pretty rad though, isn't it? I like well, Ragnarok, the... and I also I like the Dark World, but I love the Dark Elves. Dark World. Well, Dark World. That's I... the second one. There's two. There's three Thor movies. You'll find that out soon enough. <laughs> Yeah. The Dark World's the only one that like that. So there's there's two movies in the MCU. It's Dark World and Captain Marvel. I can't get through it. I can't get through it. Captain Marvel was I've I've watched the first half of it like three fucking times. I saw the whole thing in the theater when I was wasted yelling at the screen the whole time. <laughs> Almost getting. You fell asleep like in Solo when <laughs> we went there. Yeah, that's true. God, Solo was good. Yeah, it's so good. It's what sucks. That too. It sucks being a Star Wars fan because I was like, oh, I grew up with Star Wars. I've loved Star Wars my whole life. What's your favorite movies? Rogue One and Solo. So, uh, <laughs> like the ones that don't have anything to do with the main story. Huh. Can I answer the Mandalorian? <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Solo has to do with the main story. So is Rogue yeah, One. Rogue One. I mean, is, but I it's not the around. it's not the Skywalker it's, trilogy yeah, or exactly. the Skywalker saga. Yeah. Solo is good because they just they they just ran with the fun excitement of it instead of trying to like I don't know yeah see I, that's kind of how I feel it's I, so I went good. In, <laughs> I went in like very skeptically like because I I try so people at home don't know this I, I I don't do it as much anymore but when Rogue One came out it was kind of the height of it where I I ignore spoilers as an art form. I changed the channel. I don't listen to radio. I didn't know Rogue One was a prequel until like three weeks before it came out. I had no idea who oh, was in yeah? it or what oh. it was about. Nothing. <laughs> like I didn't know that the original cast was in episode seven until three days before we saw it. Mm. Someone's like, oh yeah, you know that the original cast is in it. And I'm like, no, I didn't fucking know that. Because <laughs> I managed to, to be, you know, totally right, But yeah. Rogue One, I went in very skeptical where I'm like, we don't need these like offshoot movies. I hate when series do that like you know MCU is big enough it's got something like 22 movies in it if you made an offshoot movie it'd be like shut the fuck up so this was how I, I went into this like I don't want to see this mm -hmm. when it was over I was like ha oh, that was so good <laughs> yeah, yeah. my wife actually took me she didn't even know I remember the first time that Peter Cushing's character came out Moff Tarkin before he's grand Moff Tarkin mm -hmm. and like in the, oh, yeah. in the theater I was like oh, he's dead yeah, yeah. and Taylor my wife's like is it you mean the character's dead I'm like no 
Peter Cushing is dead. <laughs> and the character model looks so good. And then I found out, I went home and I, I checked it out. And it was like his... It's a deep fake, basically. His, well, yeah, but his, parent, his parents, his family okayed it. Mm-hmm. Disney Studios went and talked to him and was like, hey, we're making a Star Wars movie. We want to talk Moff Tarkin in it. Do you think Peter Cushing would have been okay with him being in it? And his family was like, oh, yeah, he would have loved that. Aw, that's so nice. So they asked the family first, and the family said yes. Then they okayed the Peter Cushing CGI with them beforehand. It was like, yeah, sure. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. Uh, I'm used to Disney being such a horrible... I mean, it still is pretty horrible. <laughs> they, they suck after the money part. Like, everything leading up to the money part, all the research and inclusion of making cultures the magic, and stuff is great. Yeah, yeah. The making the magic is the magic part. Yeah. What they do once they have the magic, that's the evil part. <laughs> <laughs> they bring balance to the force themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they do good, and then they're like... Yeah. So... So you head off to the hangers. So the tanker bell. Uh, it's so pretty ascending. happening. Uh, Sinocinda and Tumult are there. Ah, uh, Tumult. I'm sorry, I might have just triggered Giant Hippo. Yeah. Uh, was that from uh, Red... Uh, that was the... Cardinal Bond. That Cardinal was the Bond. hooker that his in-real-life wife spent the evening with. She didn't sleep with him. Yeah. But she it just caused, did drugs with him. <laughs> yeah, but it caused like a... <laughs> yeah, fuck Tumult. <laughs> 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 it caused like an in-real-life... <laughs> Fight between the two of them. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I can't believe you just gonna go off with Hooker. She's like, This is fake. And he's like, Well, it's role play. You're supposed to like put yourself into there. Like, it was like a, an ethical problem for him. <laughs> and like, you know, while she was off having fun with a, another dude, he of course did what Dayton does, which is went, get drunk, and end up naked in somebody's basement. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I remember watching it. Someone like, Why is Dayton naked? What's like, happening? <laughs> I forgot that part where Dayton's character just went off and got wasted and felt sorry for himself. <laughs> well, you know, he got poisoned I know, but it's shackled so to the wall. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. It's time to time to drink and do drugs and, and read off some bad goblin poetry. Oh, no. What's her face is going to be assigned to you again? I'll, I'll try the... It's my attempt at goblin poetry. Wow. Yeah, I speak goblin. Remember we talked yeah, about... I know, yeah, yeah, I know. But I don't like, know why I keep asking you if you remember. Robert, do you remember seeing this me last week? You're going to try to... I am going to try to recite goblin poetry. So it was his performance at his? disadvantage. You're doing his... No, I'm doing my own, but it's... How <laughs> <laughs> dare you? <laughs> okay. Well, no, it's not the... It's not the Oh, you feel like I'm bad on oh, you? Like, the no, thing is that there really isn't like it... any goblin poetry. He created this. Like, you can just oh, try to come up with something on your we own. we had discussions about how we enjoyed goblin poetry and stuff. I didn't realize there was no goblin poetry. We were talking about, like, the words and, like, um... Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, Go yeah, for it. Go and for I'll try my best. Yeah, so what, performance at disadvantage? <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do performance at disadvantage. Yes. Determine your own shitty roles. There's gonna be dwarves in the audience like, what is this fucking... <laughs> is he speaking goblin? <laughs> <laughs> is he an outcast from his clan? Oh, damn it. Uh, Six. That's how it goes. <laughs> Nobody likes goblin like, poetry. <laughs> I just, you know... Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? Six? <laughs> yeah. Rena Man. Roseweather <laughs> comes up, <laughs> the, the, the gnomish girl, and, and uh, all right, oh. that's enough. Oh, thanks, oh, come over here. Right. I appreciate your time. <laughs> Stop by the table of walking. <laughs> Rena Rose, Roseweather has like, uh, as a um, a form of illusionary magic, it's like the hook that comes out yeah. and, and pulls you off stage. <laughs> was beautiful. I tried to say something about the Temple of Walking. Don't forget to stop by <laughs> the Walking Art Temple in Twin Song for all of your prayer needs. For <laughs> Good job. We, we can, yes, but when there's disadvantage, all you can do is take away the disadvantage dice, which means I would have succeeded beautifully, but it's okay. But you have to do it before. Yeah, you, you have to say something beforehand. Uh, you have to give him the thing before he makes the roll. It's like, you can't cancel a disadvantage after the roll. Yeah, so Nathan doesn't know that. So when I'm rolling, if I roll shitty just on a regular roll, I can use my inspiration to re-roll. If I'm going in and I have disadvantage, I can use my inspiration to un- I can take the disadvantage off, but I have to say that I'm doing it before I roll. So now that I've re-rolled, I can't say, well, yeah, never mind. Because then it would just be... Would yeah, then you're like, you look at it like, yeah. oh, I got a natural 20 yeah, on one. Exactly. I'm just going to have that. What do you think of it, the deck? He's probably off trying to find no. yeah I was just saying yeah. no no, no. no. Just, I'm just no. at the table just kind of staring at my drink 
I thought for sure you'd be hitting on somebody. <laughs> yes. Be hitting on somebody dangerous. Isn't that what you should be doing? Should be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he down? Yeah, he's going through uh, an existential crisis right now. Did yeah. it seem sad? Does he need to get to use his sword? No. He's magic. He's the tick digger. He make me do stuff. If I take, if I do something, then somebody, and I killed that man, and. Yes, that's what inspiration is. Mm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always a thought. Is there a free will? Oh, certainly. Although, you know, uh, people who have, uh, have access to the weave can, can alter the direction of, of that will and make you think. Uh, it's just like when, they, uh, when you saw illusionary constructs around you thinking that they were real. It's, uh, it's a dangerous force. It's it real, though. You can deal real. Well, that's a deeper question. Uh, I, I do have some books I could recommend. You read, right? Yes. Yes. All right. That settles it. I'll get you some philosophy. But what the hell I know what read real? I suppose you'll have to make that decision on yourself. Based How do on I know your... that you're real? Well, I feel that I'm real. Yes, but I don't know that you're real. That's true. You could be fake and see you're real. Well, then what does it mean to be fake? Uh, do I not bleed when you step to... Don't try it. <laughs> okay. If it bleeds, it's probably real. I mean, how do... Is this real? I can see it, but... Well, that's just a matter <clears throat> of uh, perception and... Sorry. Oh. Well... Uh, also on the character sheets, there is an inspiration, like, icon. It's either on or off. Um, but inspiration is a, like, a fate point or a token that they get, and they can use it to reroll. Uh, reroll a die, which basically gives them advantage. Uh, advantage is being able to roll two 20s. But, um, but, uh, if they have disadvantage they can't gain advantage. They can only get rid of the disadvantage. And that's where spending the, the inspiration happens there. If I say you have disadvantage on a roll, they have to choose to spend the inspiration to get rid of the disadvantage before the roll. But if they have a normal roll, I let them roll the dice and then decide if they want to spend the inspiration to have the re-roll. Because mm. if we have already rolled with disadvantage, we already rolled two die, so if yeah. we take it out, like, what do we do? Just take which one we want? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, inspiration, uh, as a follower, as a subscriber, you... Yeah. Yeah, check it out. It's cool. Uh, so, as a subscriber, you have an inspiration that you can give to the party or me. Now, they can, if you give it beforehand, if you just say, my inspiration's for the party, they'll just have it in a pool and they will know to use it but at any time, if someone rolls, and you still have it, you haven't given it out, or you have channel points, and they roll poorly, you can say, I'm going to give the group inspiration, and they can re-roll. Or, if I say, hey, you need to make that roll a disadvantage, before the roll happens, or, you know, I, I'd let a complete re-roll with one die. You'd have to take both dice mm -hmm. out. But basically, you could, uh, before they roll, t hopefully... You could say, I'm going to spend my inspiration to cancel that disadvantage. But you can also give inspiration to me to give my guys and villains uh, re-rolls as well. There's some Muriel out there running around with the advantage. She is. She still has it against you guys. What if I wanted to actually write good poetry? Would that be like an insight check to like look deep into... Deep into your soul? Um... Not that like Making like make an art. Um Yeah, we could say it's an insight roll. Okay. I mean you I would like you could justify using nature or religion. Not Depending on those two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it depends on what the poetry is about, maybe? Yeah. Are you trying to do poetry? I'm writing. Poetry. They have not used them yet, I don't believe. You haven't used Ruby's. Ruby's now, yeah. Yeah, it's still out there. Well, it's uh, about to roll me some good poetry. I stole one of the inspirations from Ruby. Oh, Did you? Okay, so yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So Who's only right? one of yours is out. All right. 
You know, try to write some good poetry? Sure. While you're high at the hangers? Hell yeah. <coughs> Wiley did... You used yours too, right? I have not used Oh, no. Oh, sorry. He used one for Caladora. He has yeah. not used his GM one. It's a 22. All right. You're like... Ooh. You, know, you, you take a hit off uh, of something good. You, your mind goes to another place. And you're like... Wait. What if I think of the goblin language instead of the words and the culture? Like... How it sounds, mm. and you start to like go into this, like cadence. Yeah, this cadence. This this. You discover rhyming. <laughs> you it's, discover it's basically rhyming. you discover it's, it's almost a <laughs> goblin genius <laughs> goblin innuendo. So mm. like it can like almost be mistaken for words in other languages ah. as you say things, but they also make sense in goblin. Aha. <clears throat> Oh, Alright. I'm d- doing that and having conversations about the existentialism <laughs> with Zach. <laughs> I, re- I can recommend this card. Just ask Maybe you. I'm <laughs> in, uh, inspiring you to write. You could be. You, you, yeah, especially with the drugs. You and the drugs. You are, you are a drug in your own way. Let's see. Aww. I know. Uh, so, how much you guys celebrating tonight? I'm not doing that. Medium amount. Yeah, you're high, so. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. Oh, I am just gonna drink. Mm. And if Usman's not around, then just a regular old evening. Oh, but if you were deceiving me, you'd tell me, right? Of course, it'd be uh, it'd be foolish not to. You are you are the protector of this Ooh, company. I got an inspiration. One for Wiley, one for Dermak. Ah, uh, yes. Nice. Um, Usman is around. You, he, is, you, right. he wasn't there when you first got there, but he arrives later. I'll pay my gold to hang out with him again. All right. Yay. Oh, you're getting him a whole bunch. You yeah. can. I mean, you're giving specific ones. You can also just give one to the group. Yeah, if you just throw them in the pile. And one for everyone. There you oh, go. Damn. So everyone has addition? everyone has one. No, they can't give you a reduction. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, would just call, I would just call Super Sass one and like, hey man, I need you to come on. Yeah. Just give me <laughs> I need <laughs> six more your edition so right, I can Anytime I have advantage, just start pumping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Into me. yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but theirs can be stored. Yeah, unlike, unlike real inspiration, <laughs> you can have a regular inspiration and a stream inspiration. Huh. We're just going to have to start calling this the inspiration verse. Yeah. <laughs> Come watch us play D&D with infinite inspiration. Don't like a roll. And I make up the rules as I go along, because next week this can be completely different. <laughs> I'll start telling the deck about, uh, that the, there's, uh, there's writings out there about uh, how, like, you know, the how divine magic was made to, like, create the prime material plane. But it also made the weave, which is how you, how you shift around, how you, like, manipulate the, what the real realm is. And so, really, if you... If, you, if there's a, there's some writings out there about that, that there could be like a bridge between the two, and then all of this is actually just like the the uh, uh, the communal imagination of of gods and um, and stuff like that. It probably doesn't help, but except also. for that, ignores the inner planes. That's, that, that's, that is the rebuttal to it. And I think there was another person that wrote that, but uh, I'll have to check that book out. Yeah, yeah, I think I so. The inner planes are the elemental planes. Yeah. So it can't all be a dream if there's actually real substance that does not touch the dream world of the outer planes. Well, 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 Callie Dora. She doesn't say that. <laughs> oh. But that was just, like, insight to you. I also feel that you don't appreciate my question enough. If you were deceiving me, would you tell me? Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Thanks. Of course you would. And you, yeah, of course I would. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you let the fools add in to contemplate on the motivations of the gods. Says the priest. S- simply appeasing them and having faith is enough for me. Oh. Faith. Wondering why they require yes, it. Yes, yes, faith. We need faith. Hey, don't we all? Have you? Tell for faith. Perhaps they, <laughs> probably yeah, that's the right, that's yeah. the right one to yeah. ask. Yeah. <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> hey, next time we're in Twin Song, I can show you the price of fee. Let's go now. Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. So we're drunkenly gonna wander down to Twin Song. <laughs> the, door, the, the gates, gates are closed. closed mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yep. Um. So you get there. The gates are closed because the pl- the city is still in crisis. Don't with we the, still have the little column the knolls and uh, all the other stuff. 
Um, you're like, oh, like, you may even argue with a guard for a couple minutes before they're like, just, <laughs> just go home, go home drunk. drunks. Can I, can go I, home, can drunks. Can I, can I try to convince him that it's my temple? You, it'll still be your temple in the morning. <laughs> oh, please, I need it. I need it. I need it. Oh, my God. Poor of a dog. <laughs> Farm and your faith is a good anchor to... I should know that he's yeah. drunk because I'm like, we've been traveling for years together and he's never been interested in the walking art. Yeah. yeah. Now one night drunk, I think I need faith. Yeah, this, let's go to the temple. This all just came from, come this from, is, <laughs> from me telling you that if someone has a possession of yours, they could like scry on you or some shit. It's really interesting though because in every game that you played in D&D, there's at some point your rogue will have a come to Jesus moment where it's like, holy shit, the gods are real. Yeah. Uh, I I actually need to you know think about this and consider this. Uh, my whole life has changed. That there's this divine will out there that could help me. Every time you have this, like I have a whole new look of faith. Now I believe in Bahumon. Now yeah. I believe in yeah, this. Yeah. Now I believe in that. And now that you're the priest and you you know you can't have that. You already have it. I'm trying to. It's a bit experience. What? Uh, Alright, so you guys uh, heading. Playing. You guys heading home. Did you bring Usman with you? Yeah. I paid for, pay for his time. So he's like, Usman! He's starting to become like friends with everybody. Yeah, we're yeah, all getting to know. Like, like every, twice every 10 days, Usman's just he's at probably the got pie. some funny stories, wouldn't he? Huh? What Hell if we yeah. go to other. Uh, gate. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be locked to. Did he take both for feet? Aye, other temples will take your tithe, but none pay the way for... Well, let's well, no. go! There is no price. Now, even Joaquin wouldn't take payment for salvation. Mm. I mean, th they can't offer you salvation, but payment for Joaquin is literally yeah. a show of faith. Like, the other ones is like, oh, I, I like you, God, I want to help your people and your followers in your temple. But for Joaquin, to give them money is mm. literally a transaction yeah. that is what her thing is. But Caladora says, the gates to the temple district are closed too. Yes, that's true. Uh, <laughs> to what? the upper city. Yeah. This, man, this man traveling with us expounds his miracles of God. Uh, yes. The longer you stare into the void, the more you realize the void will pick. Could you just give him a copper? He'll bless you. It'll feel better for the night. Will they work? He's a priest. Yeah. Have you not seen him perform miracles before our eyes? That's He's not... literally the priest of making money. Hey, and I'm damn good at it. <laughs> I give you a gold. And I, I put it in the alms box. <laughs> and now you should ask for prosperity and good commerce. Give dick. Give him a little blessing. Pray, prayers of trade. Oh, prayers of trade upon you. <laughs> Beggar's blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for unarmed he's, damage. He's not a beggar, though, so. <laughs> you take. The beggar asked for nothing. No, I know. He gave. He gets the payer's blessing. Well, now it feels <laughs> good. Uh, so you guys are heading back home? Yeah, I am. At this I point. Eight or less. <laughs> uh, the mist is rolling in. Uh, there are in. Uh, you guys are in Eastway. Or you guys in Brampton. What? We're in Heapside. Heapside. That's what, God damn it. Well, um, now we're in. Well, you're still in he Heapside. Is the is, is the gate to Stony okay. Eyes. All right. um, so on the way back down your street, uh, there's very little green lanterns here. Like. Not many, because there's not many businesses that are open this late. Um, there's, like, one at the beginning of the street, which is a little in, um, which you pass by. But from there to the piece of the pie, which is at the other end of the street, there's nothing else going on. So the fog rolls in, but you've walked this path uh, many a time. Are we attacked um, by any bears and bunnies? Um, <laughs> nope, you're attacked by two assassins. Oh. So as you walk okay. under a bridge that goes across the street... Uh, two shapes come down through the the fog above you, and uh, so we're gonna get like the actual fog or the alcoholic fog. Both. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna give perceptions. Uh, if you've been drinking and drugging it up, do it at disadvantage. I'll use my inspiration to undisadvantage. 
you have said you weren't drinking any more than you normally do, so, so, okay, so you're fine. Okay. I'll do that though. So you're using the one from Super uh, Sad Squad. From Super Sad Kay. Squad. Thank you for giving me drug vision. Eleven. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Super Sad Squad. All you did was encourage our drug and alcohol use, by yeah. taking off the negative effects of it. Uh, yeah, I'll use it too. Oh no. You are fucking welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what an aggressive welcome. <laughs> I love it. Memorize this by now. Nine. Eleven. Oh, perception. Nineteen. Yeah. Show us the way. Beer goggles on. Yeah. There are beautiful women falling from the All right. bridge. Ah, ah. So. Oh, Usman. Uh, Usman is not he's, not aware. He's a, I mean, he is a guard, but he's eleven. You got him eleven. I gave him a plus one to his perception. The ten. Wait, this is a little Kalimshan guard. No, no, he's it's the, the uh, Usman's strappy dwarf. He's he was oh, the contact yeah. we made in the undercellar. That yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. <laughs> no, he, he spends his he spends his off time. I mean, he's a guard for the undercellar. Yeah. He's yeah. a cellar. So he's got. He is a reveler up here. Yes. Yeah. At so, night. During the day, he's an under. He's a cellarer. Under does he sleep? When I when I wear him out. <laughs> yeah. After I wear him out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Run, Usman. You, you Something tells me this is the last time I see this. He's like, I can't hang out with you. Look at that the spirit guardian. Walk all over the gate just like yelling some guards. <laughs> Every time I see your goblin companion, he's fucking wasted. <laughs> <laughs> your company is strange as shit. <laughs> What's up with that old man safe guy? <laughs> old men have safe. Old men have safe. I'm looking up a assassin character sheet. Yeah. Is your iPad dead? Yes, it is. Which I don't understand. I was like 100%, and then I took it off the charger, brought it here, and it's like 16. Whoa. What? So I don't think it was charging when it was on the thing. Right. I always hate how, to preserve battery life, the newer phones, like if you plug them in, you look at them like 10 minutes later, it's like, oh, scheduled to be done charging at 4 a.m. Yeah, because it does the slow charge, yeah, not and I'm to like, kill the battery. What if I need it between now and then? Like, why don't you just fucking charge it like normal? Use this shit. Because it hurts your battery. Like, it's like, I'm not going to have this phone for longer than a year anyway, so I don't... I don't. I, I wear my phones out. My last phone was a 6S Plus. I had it for four years. Hmm. Mm -hmm. that phone. When the first generation chocolate came out, it was the first like touch sensitive buttons on it. Oh thing. yeah, yeah. Like I had that phone for so long that it eventually like fell apart, like <laughs> gently. Like I didn't break it; it just like fell apart. I remember people would look at it and be like, "Dude, why does your chocolate have like the weird red buttons on it?" Because like, it's the first edition. It was like first <laughs> generation <laughs> chocolate. So that's awesome. Uh, you are not surprised. Caladora is not surprised. Surprise! Oh, yeah, Caladora is the best one. <laughs> yep. Um, I, I, think so about her, I think about her so often damn I it. attacked her last time. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, Usman. seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn it. Usman, no. Usman. No, Usman. <laughs> what if they're after Usman? Nothing really, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I've never been after spin a road. That's me. No, oh, that's you. Yeah. Six, seven. <coughs> no, five, six. No, wait, one, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Yeah. So that was Caladora. She's not surprised, though. No. Yeah. You. That's bad. La, 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 la. Ah! <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Caladora, like. Sees a little bit of shadow above her and all this stuff. It's like, oh, she has blind sight as well, so she feels him mm -hmm. move up there and is like, whoosh, tries to dodge out of the way. Uh, but you're just, this thing comes down and you, <laughs> two long blades. Let's see. Uh oh. How this turns out. Uh, Goodbye, so, first evil. off, you need to make a. 
wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Mm. Mm. You're a wizard. Well, wizards have intelligence. I know. Uh, it's going to be a 21. Okay. Yeah. Um, as you're sitting there, like, doo, 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 you just feel this, like, little bit of. Uh, uh, <laughs> this, like, sense of dread just. It doesn't just slowly build. It's not like, oh, like, we're on a dark street. It's just all of a sudden it's like, <gasps> there. Like, yeah. this sense of dread. And you're like, what? Well, and I have then this thing me. Oh. drops down on top of you. Clacking together. Uh, nah, it's two attacks. Oh. Yeah, it's only uh, two attacks. Yeah, it's only two, um, two attacks. <laughs> 22 and 20, dirty. Uh, both hit you, I'm assuming. Wrong! Yeah, they hit me. Fuck. Luckily, it's a sneak attack. <laughs> yeah. Because you are, you know, you weren't, you are surprised. Yeah, yeah. So, just for auditing purposes, uh -huh. what is your health? 32. Okay. You took 41. Okay. So, shink! And he, Needle, just crumples to the ground. Not even not even enough time to say anything. Oh, I'm sick. Uh, and then Kalidora. <laughs> Kalidora makes her saving throw. <laughs> She gets hit once. Not a sneak attack. Kapow. Uh. She takes 18, but she's not surprised. She's going to spend her reaction to half it. So she takes nine. Like it comes like she just gets out of the way and the thing comes down and, and cuts through her cloak and her shoulder blade and she like dives out of the way. I love this phantom subclass, but like it would be so unfun to play as a PC because I'd be like, like what do you say? I'm like, I'm nowhere near here. No, right. I feel like I would play it like you, or I'm like, I'm nowhere near, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. uh, Split the party, it's not even together. Oops. I still have to roll because death saves. Yep. You gotta put more than three in there, super sets, but. Does, <laughs> does one not go? I thought one did go. No, I, it didn't work for me. Maybe I was wrong. Here, let me try one. Bing. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, Hi. That's a little bit funnier than the big <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, dink. Uh, all right. Uh, a little, little sad fun. Riddick. Whoa. <laughs> Needle. Ten. Dermak. Nine. <laughs> She's getting so bad at initiatives. Um, What's up with that Calidora? Yeah, I Calidora. know, right? Like she has the best Jeez. dexterity out of all of you and can't get faster than you. Aw. Um, Fifteen. It looks like you and these assailants are moving at the same time. They are fast. They are wearing skull masks and this oh, shit. shimmery grayish like full round cloak that the moment they put their arms down it just encloses in on them and it seems to be the same color as the fog so you just see the basically you just see this skull in the fog and then there's a break into darkness where there's two hands with daggers coming out I feel these like long, thin blades. I think we should change the name from the war from the Spindle Road to the Warriors, where it's like Warriors. Yeah. It's like come out in every play. day, we run into a new gang that's like dressed up scary. Right. You're like ah. Although this is definitely not a new gang. Nope. Miracle. Oh, this is a dead three game. Well, I I think, but neither. he would think. Yeah. If he was awake. Yeah. <clears throat> so who goes first? I'm yeah. taking a nap. PCs go first. Yeah. Needle! She what? Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> your tongue spits out of my <laughs> And I can use the bonus action to go ahead and light the sword. Yep. 
the flame brand. The heavy handed flame brand. Hold the shield up and I will go for the one that just hurt my helpful little. Go for it. Um. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since I've actually done it in combat. Maybe you should be better at it. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Dab. Uh, so you can do goading attack after I roll the hit, right? Sure. That's what it says. Yeah. Yeah, when you hit. If you hit. Oh, that's not going to do it. <laughs> well, we, we, have the, one. we have the one team in You have one given to you. I should use that. But huh? We have the team inspiration. Use that that I'm use. Or the perception. Huh? Yeah, with the one. There is one. There is two. There's okay. Drewby's has one. I'm going to use the team. Because you only use one of Drewby's. Yeah, he's good. So two. there's two in the communal pot. Uh, I really need to have like a little tracker up there. Yeah, well, I think mean, if you do anything, else, you know what sucks too. I've, I brought the document came home the last two Fridays, uh, and I never bring it. It's even like it's sitting in my in my my pack at home. Thirty twenty. Uh, what? Thirty twenty. Uh, that will hit. That's good. We got that going for us, which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, or, Goblin is dead. <laughs> yeah. Our rogue got wounded. We're getting attacked in the middle of the fog, but Vidic hit, so I got that going for yeah. <laughs> So, 1d8 for the sword, 2d6 for, for, for the fire, fire, and another 1d8 for the goading attack. Alright. Fuck him up. Oh no! <laughs> this is like we were rolling last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I that's... know. Like, what's your damage? Seven. What do you roll? Three d eight. So two, two ones, one two, and one three. Was any of the ones on your fire? No, no, no. Your heavy. No, sorry. I'm thinking it's a shield. Yeah. Yeah. I was great thinking great fighter. Yeah. Great fighter. Great weapon fighter. So oh. how much? Seven. Oh, plus. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you're still strong. That almost seems like impossible. Yeah. <laughs> like, unless all of them came up once, and then it would yeah. still be an eight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 11. 11. Okay. Um, and I'm going to hit him again. Uh, since uh, I'm not going to be doing much, uh, how much did all that revelry cost us? Oh, at the hangers? Yeah. Let's say two gold. Right. Uh, 16 We're, for everyone. Hits. Oh, he needs the goading attack, too. DC 15? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Hmm? Damn. 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 He failed. Oh, he failed. Yeah, like, no, he, he did not pass. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, I heard that's always here. Oh, sorry. Like, like it didn't work. Yeah. Um, he failed. So he is goaded. Yeah. Which is good. I mean, you should... Oh, much better. Two sixes. Well, three sixes. No, that's a nine on a D8, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so... 18. 18 plus 4, so 22. That's it. That was a good one. The blow was so powerful it knocked me back to life. You said 22? Yeah. Should I bait and switch you? Or... What? <laughs> <laughs> you give my corpse hey, Goldman, what should I do? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you do some fancy footwork and all of a sudden there's a dead goblin just, and yeah. I was like what is this just kicking, kicking my body all over the place <laughs> did you take your hit points off yes the overlay is still apparently showing it at full oh really did you actually hit the minus yeah I'm showing fails, I'm showing uh, fail saves or death saves instead of health on mine can we fix this so I know it isn't <laughs> <laughs> so I know that goblin's fucking dead yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm showing I'm showing death saves instead of health now All right. 
So, uh, so he's goaded, so he has to attack you, otherwise he gets disadvantage, right? Right. Um, that was on 15. It's them on, uh, also on 15. So, of course, he comes up from over top of Needle, and you swing, miss, swing, catch him. Or, no, you swing, hit, swing, hit. And it's going into that cloak, and you can see, like, the fire burning and leaving trails. But, like, how it cuts through the cloak is just very weird. Like, it's cutting there. There's no blood coming out. It feels weird when you pass through it. Very almost insubstantial. Uh, but you can see the damage on there, and you can see the burn, like, the, the gray cloak turning black and burning around where you strike through. What are these wraiths? What the fuck? Uh, I, okay. Well, you're not gonna so, tell us. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it like and it just moves weird because like That's you can't see said. where its body is. Like you just see this cloak and the cloak, you can't tell where it folds. Like even if it folds, the color is just blending into each other. So how he moves is just weird. And it's like it's a strange placement for that. It's like it oh. feels weird, but you can see the burn. That's yeah. what she said. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the penetration feels so substantial. Wisdom yeah. saving throw. <laughs> also, I point out that since we brought the extra guy, that's another... Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> you dick. Uh, <laughs> what? So he gets a plus one to AC for everyone around him. Oh, including Usman. Including Usman. Hell yeah. Because what did you get that from? The prize shield? Yeah. You got it from... Oh, fuck. From heavy hand. bring him around more often? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so it, goes, it only around. goes up to plus what? Like, you can only stack it so Sorry. high. Three. But oh, since yeah. Needle is down... You need Kaladora, Usman, and Dermot. Doesn't count if he's dead. No, <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Well, unsubstantial penetration. Well, oh, uh, okay. This is a band name. It's like do before I say I, say anything well, no, else no, no, or no, no, whatever. Work because it's only for every two people I'll get plus one AC. Is it? Yeah. Can you imagine if there's no cap to that and you're like leading a, a battalion of soldiers. Yeah, just, they have to be <laughs> you're going to be the right. last one standing. <laughs> What's his AC? 36. What? You get <laughs> yeah. plus one bonus to AC for every two allies within five feet. Okay. So that, that's why two. I was saying with the extra guy because yeah, usually yeah. it's three. Yep. And then it wasn't four. But uh, you have Okay. One. Well, he's still alive. I'll, I'll let it happen for this, t- for this time. It'll be completely different next time. <laughs> okay. But. <laughs> I'll let it happen for this time. Uh, so okay. before I tell you if you succeeded or failed or what happens, do you want to use an inspiration? There is one more in the group pot. Would you roll? Do you it. rolled a 12. Uh, well, use the oh, inspiration. Okay. Okay. That's going to miss for sure. This is a saving throw. <laughs> ah! All right. Now we're, we're stripped of inspiration. I have one still from Super Side Squad. Yeah, and I we got that's our, it. We got a chip. Oh, so I have two then, yeah. I feel like I've been making enough <laughs> chips that I should have. Ash, there's two more in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yeah, he has got another one. Which, okay. if you use one, so that'd be... One, one in the pot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, currently. Right. Thank you, Super Sad Squad. Helping us cheat at Dungeons and Dragons. All right. <clears throat> It looks like, you know, it was over a needle, and then it turns to look at you, and as it looks up, the skull mask is there, and its eyes just have this quick flash of, like, a baleful glow in them in the dark, and you are stunned. <gasps> Let's get my attack up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and this Fuck. thing just kind of, this thing just kind of moseys on up to you as you're basically sitting there defenseless. Brings up its blade, put, puts one right there, puts one underneath your... Ribs right there, and just shink. Ugh, fuck. Because <clears throat> it gets advantage on the rolls. It can, you can't move. It's just gonna do whatever the hell it wants to you. Oh. Oh, if you have that. Wait, is he, he, stunned? Stunned? Is he stunned or paralyzed? Stunned. <laughs> stunned, which is incapacitated. Uh, Speed reduced to zero. This is advantage the, to all attacks against them. This is the healer dilemma. Like, do I bring back my damage dealer or oh, the wizard? Oh my, my god, fighter? are you kidding me? <laughs> my damage dealer or the wizard? I know, I'm well, the the <laughs> my fighter or the wizard. No, a two and no, an no, eight. You're correct. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so a 15 it's will like not hit wizard. you, right? A what? A 15? No, I'm at AC 20 right now. 
if let's say yeah wait even what? Stud, wait man. so <laughs> hold on can't take actions reactions uh, can't move can speak only falteringly automatically <laughs> fails strength and dexterity checks good, attack rolls against the creature have advantage all right, so He's still able to kind of like fudge around. No, like uh, what happens is he goes in, like he's lifting this up here, but as he tries to get his other dagger around, like into your gut, basically, your shield is there, and because it's the Priya shield, as he moves his hand in, your shield actually just <laughs> gravitates to block the thing. Like it, it's it's the shield is moving you. It's moving to block the weapon. So it's like shink, and it just foils that attack. And he's like, you just see this little surprise. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> wow! And the second this attack. Uh, twenty three. So uh, that the one. Yeah. The, like <laughs> once that fails, he's like. <laughs> yeah, I'll get this one. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, that was all on 15, huh? Uh, 14 damage. That that all was on 15 for one. one. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so this guy, Caladora, is staggering in front of him. Uh, you see his eyes flare in their baleful glow. And Caladora is going to do. Does Caladora have? Yes, inspiration? Caladora has an inspiration. Yes. Now she does not. Now she doesn't, and she succeeds. So she is not stunned, and this guy goes after her. He still gets the bane. Oh, it's two. No, attacks. it's two attacks. Yeah, just rolling them at once. Oh my god! I think both hit. Both hit her? Pretty sure. Ooh. Doesn't the death cold take a fucking day off? Nope. Especially when you shut down their operations. I mean, what else do they have to do? They can operate somewhere else. Right, they, they, were, they, had, they were busy running a butcher shop, and we were like, stop that. Yeah. And they were like, well, why that was our moonlight? <laughs> Uh, her cult. AC is 16. Uh, yep, she gets it twice. Ouch. Good thing she has a whole lot of hit points because she's not a rogue. Right. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 13, 26. Oof. Uh, actually, she's going to reaction to half one of those. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. Plus 12. 19. 19. She's still alive. She ain't happy. She just took 19. Did you see uh, Major Pain? That's what I thought. Uh, yeah, if he in there, he ain't yeah. happy. Yeah. Still alive. After <laughs> shooting into the kid's closet. <laughs> still alive. Just little dubs. Yeah, this thing comes up behind her. Right, good night. <laughs> the, the knives go from the downward ones and it just flips them over and it's like, shh. And she's like trying to get away from them. Puts them both into her back. Uh, one catches really well. Ooh. So in terms of stun, how will that work for like reactions? Did you say? No, you can take no actions, reactions, anything. One pump. Uh, and that's yeah. going to last seven turns. The end of its next turn. Hmm. This is a little bit of a pickle we got ourselves in. Uh, so that was 15. Um, 10. No, 11. Calidor. Fuck. She turns around, pulls out her two weapons. She, she turns around, pulls out her two weapons, and <coughs> her black wings sprout. Her eyes just, like, you know, uh, remember in, uh, Doctor Strange, when their eyes like blackened and almost like fell into their faces, basically, that's what happens to her eyes. Because she already has the that, like, crying mascara look on her face. All of that just turns black. She loses her eyes and it looks like it sinks into her, into a void. Her black just skeletal wings come yeah. out. 
Oh, they haven't <laughs> seen this before. Yeah, they haven't seen it. You've seen this. Yeah. Black skeletal wings come out from her back. Her her eyes sink into her face into a black void, uh, and this just aura of malice appears around her. Um, I don't know if these guys are immune to fear. I don't have to make a fear saving check, do I? <laughs> no. <Okay. sighs> oh, she's on my side. <laughs> it's even scarier. <laughs> it is pretty terrifying to yeah. see. Sleeping in the same house. What about your friend? <laughs> Usman's like, ah! Uh, yeah, I don't know what. I told Usman to run, but he did not listen. <laughs> He's not, he hasn't even gone yet. Yeah. Did you roll for Usman's action? Uh, not yet. <laughs> okay. I mean, did you give him the. <laughs> he did. What do you call it? Uh, initiative? Uh, uh, no. He just goes last. It's not like he's a combatant. Yeah. I mean, he is a guard, but... Not a good one, apparently. <clears throat> well, he doesn't guard against this kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Necrotic Shroud. It's causing all within ten feet to make a charisma saving or be fighting, frightened. Uh, so, yeah, you, you do need to make one. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Don't worry about your stun. <laughs> will matter for you. What am I rolling? Uh, <clears throat> wisdom. Charisma, sorry. Charisma saving throw. Charisma? Interesting. Oh, uh -oh. This is better. 14? Yep, uh, that's what you needed. Oh, man. All this right. last thing we need right now is you running away. Right. Everyone's hurt. Fuck you guys. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my band-aids and going home. <laughs> frightened. A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within sight. The creature can't willingly move closer. So this guy, this thing is frightened of her. So. Well, good. That worked. Yeah, be scared. Yeah. Bastard. Uh, and she attacks it. Oh, and she's adding... Five points of extra damage to one attack every turn. Necrotic damage. These things might be immune to. Alright. Her short sword of wounding. Hits. Her dagger of blind sight. Ebony and Ivory also hits. Six, ten, uh, fifteen damage. Weak. <laughs> she didn't get a sneak attack on it. And her second attack is. I hate the sound the D4 so makes. But Think. Yeah. You're like barely here. You're like, you stupid T4. Yeah. Uh, is seven damage. So she sh blades into him. Could always roll D8. Half it. Clink. Uh, there you go. Alright, that is Calidora. Uh, uh -huh. Needle. Needle? I uh, triumphantly stand up on my feet and fall over again. Uh, death saves. Death saves. Ten plus. Da, 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 da. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. So one successful save. <clears throat> uh, Go away, bright tunnel. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with you, <laughs> Dermok. Stay in the cave. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna spare the dying him, so you're stable. Oh, nice. Um, and then I'll summon summon the jewel mall. Spare the dying is a bonus. It's a, it's a cantrip, and yeah, then cantrip. the jewel mall is a bonus action. Right. Oh, the jewel mall. Wait. Spare the dying. Is it an action? I don't care if it's a cantrip. Oh, it's an action. Yes. yes. So, so now I yes. can't do the jewel no, mall. No, you can do the jewel because the the weapon is bonus action, right? Yes. Yeah. Magic weapon or spiritual weapon is a bonus action. Yeah, I'm spared. Unless they stab me again. Or is it an action? Spiritual weapon is a bonus action. Yep. Okay. So, so, yeah. so I'm going to go there. Yeah. So it counts. <laughs> and attacks no, I think, I think I'm uh, the one that he already attacked. Okay. Or which one's true? Oh, no, it counts. <laughs> uh, you can't <laughs> rightly tell. Yeah. All right. Then I'll, I'll take the first one. Callie looks like she knows what she's doing. 
<laughs> okay. You don't even know what she's doing. I mean, so you can't tell about how wounded they are, but you can tell how wounded your people are. Yeah. Uh, Kalidor's at 11 of 33. What are you at? All right, then I'll get the one on, Cal- the one on Kalidor then. Okay. Uh, That's good. 16. That is? All right, just barely. Bonk! Of uh, 11. Hell yeah. 11 damage? Yeah. That was an effective round. Yeah, and it's over. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life for now. All right. You still can't do anything, though, right? No. no. I'm on Tom Heal. I'm getting there. When you... So you're stable. You do what you gotta do with these assholes. Which I'm pretty sure when you stabilize as a PC, that returns you to one hit point. Does it? And you can get up. I just thought it means I don't... I don't continue bleeding out. You touch a living creature that has zero hit points, the creature becomes stable. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I actually have to be healed to come back up. So, because like, if you're normally making death saves, if you succeed in three, you get back up. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, I don't know, because this is different, because this is, you didn't succeed on three, this is just, you become stable. Now, hey, San Hippo, A stable creature Nobody doesn't regain conscious. A stable creature doesn't make death saving throws, even though it has zero hit points. But it does remain unconscious. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, unlike the death saving throws, which you can get back up from, yeah. mm. like a stable it's creature, trying to regain consciousness. A stable creature that isn't healed regains one hit point after one d four hours. So yeah, I have to bring you back. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're back at the top of the order. Oh. So no action. Bonus yeah. action. Anything like that. Um, I think you struggle with <clears throat> words. Are you still stunned? He's still stunned. How do you unstun? To the end of that guy's turn. Mm-hmm. Ew. So everyone's turns are over again? <clears throat> yeah. Well, no. Not theirs. <laughs> they are. No. Uh, so Usman uh, pulls out a blade. Hey, Usman. <laughs> <laughs> My money well spent. And uh, oh, tries to attack the one on uh, Kalidor. Of course. Watch out, for magic the... to actually hurt them. Yeah. Watch out for the jewel ball, Usman. <laughs> it's like swinging around. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, he bum, hits. Bum. Hey. Get him. Does four damage. Sweet. Nice. Do you have a knife? Usman. Uh, short sword. Yeah. Think. God. For Nurse Hall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So fifteen. You do nothing. Uh, it's. <clears throat> It looks back over its shoulder, then looks at you again, and its eyes flare up. Wisdom saving throw. No. Oh. Keep you stunned. Hey. Oh. Uh, Thirteen. The. Yeah. Last one was what? Twelve. Yeah, I think it was. Um, was the last one twelve? Okay, then that's not good. Well, yeah, you're still stunned. No. You're going to be stunned for another. The cycle. Around. Unless you want to spend a, the, they just refilled the yes, group roll. Spend it because we could yeah. use you. Of course, you could use me. <laughs> oh boy. Nice roll twenty. Uh, I'm gonna let you break free now. Nice. Yeah, yeah natural twenty. You're just not only like his new flare comes up, but you're like, no. <laughs> Which one did this man attack? Uh, oh, the one in okay. Caladora. Okay. Like everyone else is attacking the one in Caladora because I mean you're you so. Thank He's got to do That's this the on best his own. I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> um. You've rarely seen Caladora in a fight, and I don't think you've ever really seen her get hurt that much. Ah, it was those slaughterhouses she was getting pretty fucked up. Yeah, but uh, we didn't see that. You were the only one that was there. Oh, no, she uh, kicked a lot of ass there. in the slaughterhouse. She did. She dropped like four people. Yeah. So, going after one of All right. <laughs> Doing anything special with it? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Did we just get another one? Bing. Yes, you can. Give one to Galador. If you want. Um, I'm assuming that a uh, 12 misses. Yes. Alright, second. So you want to use it? Yeah, go for it. Why wouldn't you? That's probably better. Probably. Does a 26 hit? I just, I just is, imagine yeah. you being like pissed and just attacking. Like, it's not your turn anymore. Like, it doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter. Like, uh-huh. Vidic's so mad. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> Super Sasquatch wants us to leave. So Kalidor gets an inspiration. This oh, one. The doting attack wore off anyway, so. Yes. Well, this is by So I'm going to go kind of... again. It's, it's, it's magnetic. Yeah, th- there's a metal weight in there. Cool. So this that. is resin, yeah. and normally poker chips are clay, mm-hmm. so they have a heft, mm-hmm. a specific heft. So the people that make the resin ones get that specific weight by putting a little sliver of metal in here. Uh-huh. So that's why it sticks to the iPad. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that looks tasty. Seven, ten. Uh, people are dying. Yes. Yeah, so they had, I don't know when you stepped out, but they had drunkenly wandered to the, the gate to see if they could get outside, go out to the, the outer city. <laughs> they were turned away because the gate's closed at night. And uh, on their way home, two skull-masked, gray-robed, Entities descended upon them from uh, an upper level of the streets uh, and is absolutely destroying them. Yeah. <laughs> to uh. Kill Needle in one shot, He's not- stunned uh, Vidic and got some damage on him, wounded Kalidora pretty heavily. So. The dwarves are kicking some ass. You dead drugs. Yeah. Uh, 24. 24 damage? 24? Damn. Slice and dice! Do not piece off <laughs> on the axe surging. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. He's been goaded again, too. So, 24. Goaded means he has to attack you, right? He's got a DC. Check again. I believe that'll mean that he has. He's will have disadvantage if he attacks anyone other than him. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Uh, he passes this one. Don't! Oh. Second attack misses. Right, unless uh, 12, 13. 13. Nope. <laughs> um, what is, uh, How many attacks do you have? Action surge? Yeah, I'm going to an action surge. <laughs> While you still have an action? Yeah. So yeah, the surge went in. Oh, oh. Keep going up. One. Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> You're gonna find out what that armor class <laughs> is. Yeah. One miss at a time. <laughs> what is it? Uh, fifteen. Hits. Um. Oh. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, eighteen. No, you get your second attack now. Oh, you you action surge, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you get oh. your two attacks. Shit. Slice. You get a new, You get a whole other action. Well, we know that. One. And with one action, you can attack twice. Thirteen. Thirteen misses. Yeah. Um. Then I'm gonna second wind just to top myself off. Second wind is a. Is it a? Oh, is <laughs> it a... <laughs> what? <laughs> I will. Do it. <laughs> the second win doesn't take an action? It's a bonus action. Oh, nice. Okay. So you're re-rolling the last hit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 13 again. <laughs> so I'm rolling sixes. <laughs> six, six, six. Yeah. All right. So, like, you're cutting into this thing. You know, its cloak is all slashed up and burned now. But you still, like, don't see blood or anything, like, coming out of this thing. <laughs> oh, crap. Blood. That... Perfectly topped me off. Not over, not below. Just nice. <laughs> All right. So now, it since it's screwed up or you passed so well on its uh, stair, uh, it's going to finish off its attacks on you. <laughs> uh, uh, thirteen and sixteen. No. And get me even if I didn't have all my friends here. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is still not attacking Kalidor. It is trying to get away from her. Oh, <laughs> because I Because it is frightened. It's scared of, um, of so demon angel. It is 
going to take a swipe at Usman and then disengage. No, can't disengage. This takes an action. <sighs> move away. It has to disengage to move away from mm. well, Calidora and Usman. Can't get closer to Calidora. He just can't move. He, he, yeah, he can't get closer. He could stay, technically, but he doesn't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. I mean, unless you want him to stay. I don't know. Fuck off. Yeah, get out of here. Um, <laughs> no, it's going to stay then. It's going to stay. Oh, son of and it's going to put one into Caladora, one into Usman. And the one on Caladora is at disadvantage. And, uh... Still hits? <laughs> no. No, it does not. What about like, Usman? No. Uh, so, it's like, you know, that thing happens with her, and he's <laughs> like... Not prepared for that. Oh, yeah. Like they're making no sounds yeah. or anything like that, but it's like, and it like no sounds. Yeah, like it's not, they're not talking or anything like that. It, like they're tapping down, and you can hear the blades and all that, but they're not saying anything. They're not grunting. You don't mm. hear them breathing heavy. Interesting. Uh, so it uh, s- goes forward with its blade, but it's still like not committing to the whole thing. So like almost reactively. Caladora just like lifts up her sword to block and takes the blade out of his hand. Nice. Forgot. I can do uh, the action attack every time they miss me. Right. Uh, can I do that? <laughs> he didn't. Oh, he did miss you. Oh, but no. Um, so she, this guy drops his weapon and he takes a swipe at. Uh, Usman. Usman. Uh, hits him handedly. Hmm. No. You might have to, you might have to wait another round. <laughs> you have to wait another round because I'm going to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Uh, I'm stable. Yeah, Usman goes down. Oh, shit. It's just like, ching, ching, and it's like, oh. <laughs> like, he stumbles back and falls to the ground, and he's like, kind of like, pushing himself away. As this thing just cut into him, and just way too much blood is coming out of him. Oof. Wither strips is not good armor. <laughs> is he wearing it? <laughs> no. No, okay. <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, all right, that was 15. Uh, 11. 11, Calador. So Calador is going to press her advantage on this. Since he has advantage. Uh, that hits. <laughs> and that hits. So, okay. It's going to be a lot. So our first attack with sneak attack is going into this guy. Oh, he needs to take his d4 damage because he's wounded by the sort of wounding. Right, well. Wow. So, two... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, shitty damage. 15. 15 damage from the sneak attack. These boys have a lot of hit points. Yeah. Uh, no, she's adding 5 from the necrotic. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> You've used uh, like 5 so far. <laughs> <laughs> then she does Whales of the Grave, which is... As she sticks her blade into this, a uh, like a basically a black wound appears, and in the same place on the other one, a black wound appears. Aha! Uh-huh. Um, and it like kind of shrugs back and looks down, uh, but otherwise seems unaffected. Hmm. Um. Then she attacks it again. Third day. And misses. Aww. Dermal. Oh no, needle. I remain Blur, stable. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Yeah. Uh, Dermak. All right. Let's give him. Let's do the healing word third level on needle. <gasps> Boom! What, what, what? What about what about your friend? Yeah, he might not even know what's going on yet. Just wake Four, up. Four, five, <laughs> nine. Take twelve hit points back. I will. Thank you. <gasps> and you wake up on the ground, and the mists are all swirling around you, and your compatriots are 
in the heat of battle. And the Jewel Maw will press its attack on the Caladora one. <laughs> Also, this entire area for like 40 feet. So uh, an eight. Is what? Lit up by me. Aww. Okay, yeah. In, it's not really 40 feet because fog. Well, so, whatever. but yeah. The jewel mall misses. <sighs> you got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's throw my back. back to the top of the order. Oh, you can go in like five turns though. <laughs> They just reattack you. <laughs> you take 13 damage. <laughs> yeah. Not after that one. Perhaps I'm still prone. That's a That's nine. A nine. Not a six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, 16. That hits. <gasps> you found it. Uh, don't bother rolling damage. Roll your next attack. <clears throat> the natural one. Okay. So, this is, this is what happens. <clears throat> it's really weird. Like... So it looked down at that, you, and you don't even really know where that came from, but like this black burst came across its chest, and it looked down, and it looks back up at you, and you go like, ah, because like that little momentary distraction, and you just like, get a killing blow on this thing, and you go right through the throat, and you can see your blade come out the, the back of his neck through his cloak, and then you pull it out, and it's just like a black mist, like almost insubstantial. And you're like, what? <laughs> you get to like pull back from that, and it kind of moves. You swing your sword. Let's see. And hit the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> back that I go. Um, yeah, I don't want to hit you. Please, <laughs> <laughs> excited to explode. So. The whole thing well, with, like, that going. insubstantiality, like, coming out and that is unnerving and it threw you off your your attack. So you can either stumble back five feet, which would give it an attack of opportunity on you, or it'll have advantage to attack you for its first attack this round. You will take the advantage. Because you're just off kilter. Because what are, what are the rules wait, wait. for attack of opportunity? So basically, it's either it's going to get three attacks against you or one attack with advantage. To the advantage. And to yeah, yeah, wait. So I stabbed it and missed it away? Nope. It just... The, the wound never happened. Like, it just... You go through its neck and you pull it out like it was it's insubstantial. Like your sword didn't even hit uh, it. Jeez. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll go with the advantage. Okay. So you're giving it advantage. Good choice, because this guy's running away. <laughs> he disengages and leaps back up onto the, the bridge overhead. <laughs> and his cloak is still hanging up there. Took all his movement to do that. <sighs> Damn. Can I... So is that other one still down here? Yes. Uh, uh, when your turn's over. Right, because you you I attacked once, attack. then you natural one. Well, I mean, I can bait and switch with uh, Caladora. You're not next to Caladora. Caladora was next to Needle. You were next to Needle. Well, it's next to him. I could be at least next to six people. Yeah, you're not walking in a little <laughs> phalanx formation. <clears throat> um, I'm not. But if I have the plus two AC because I'm within five feet of four then, people, then you I'm don't. Within five feet to then you don't have that AC because like you were walking wide. Shouldn't have said anything about the AC. <laughs> oh man! All right, so now yeah. what? You're all walking in the huddle. You're walking in a. From now on, we always move with everybody standing around. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying this, I'm like, what? What's going on? <laughs> I'm still high. The other one is seeing his companion leave, uh, disengages, and bolts off into the fog. Hmm. Can I still see the one that climbed? You can see both of them. All right. How far away? Which ones? The one. The two that thirty feet, and the one is the other one is fifteen feet up above you. 
All right, I'm going to guiding bolt the up one. <laughs> Level two, bitches. <laughs> Level two, bitches? Ugh. I'll take that. <laughs> That's that last inspiration. But uh, fuck. That wasn't an inspiration. That was a highlight. That's up above. Oh. See the top right there? Redeeming inspiration. Mm-hmm. Um, that stepped away what's happening right now. So uh, 13 probably doesn't hit. No. Okay. Can the jewel mall make it up? Was that an action or a bonus action? That was just an action that I just did. Yeah. So the, well, the jewel mall has its own actions and stuff. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. it works, on his, works on his bonus action. Oh, okay. Well, it's, it's the bonus close. action then. That's no, no, no. Oh. Wait. So you hold on. I'm getting can. confused. Okay. Not the jewel burst. The jewel mall. The jewel mall. Right. Yes. It can go up there and attack. Gotcha. That's what I want. Then. Sorry. That's I keep I'm... I keep thinking you're throwing your hammer. No, 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 that's, that's the jewel burst. This yeah. is the jewel mall. <laughs> uh, the jewel mall rolls a natural one. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so it heads up there and swings at him. And you just see it like, goes up, swings, and gets enveloped in that cloak. And the dark mist envelops it and it's dissipated. <laughs> it's forcefully dispelled. Oh, shit. Use my bonus bonus act. <laughs> uh, that was actually. Why were you going? I don't know. Oh, because they had both disengaged. So just, like, and you said to go. Like, but I just it was Cal- in. You just jumped in. It was Calidora and Needle next. <laughs> so it seemed like we moved. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that Needle. Like, because like, you're just like, I'm like, they disengage. He runs away, and you're like. I'm gonna do this. I'm like, uh, uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Metal bar hold in, in my brain like the, <laughs> the on who? Um, whichever one's in sixty feet. They both are. They both are. Uh, let's get that fucker on the top. Sorry, initiative went out the door when they. No, just no, I'm sorry, because he's gonna be hard to get. You break out the spell. The one on the ground. Just running off to the fog. And it's a what saving throw? It is. It's going to be a, um, um, I believe it's Wisdom wisdom 16. Damn it. That's the first time I've ever missed with Guiding Bolt. Too. Sucks, <clears> throat> right? Throat> so he's like, and you see his cloak that's like super you know, fading into the mist because it's the same color. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Get him. Get him. Push him. Yeah, Kaladora. What did you cast? Runs oh, forward. Person. Uh, takes off his mask and then pommels him in the head like right yeah. in the temple and the guy's like still held <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, uh, so that down. was Caledora and Needle then you went back up to the top <laughs> uh, so this is it you have your turn before the one up top gets to get the hell out of here Throw a javelin. I mean, I'm... throw two javelins. <laughs> throw two javelins. Oh, wow. <laughs> Twice as no, you have two attacks. The same time. Like, wow. <laughs> it doesn't have the reload property, so you can throw two javelins. But I don't know if that's what you want to do. Well, what I'm thinking is I throw a ram instead. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you ramming him? Are you ramming the bridge he's on? Um, you should ram. Arya yeah. said I can't. Break right? Things. Okay, I just I wanted to make sure. All right. Fucking Arya. Fucking Arya. Fucking Baldur's Gate. As fun as it would be to smash that bridge up from underneath him. Question is, <laughs> we just how many charges? Anime, like, like everything is just yeah. way overpowered. Ask, like, ask Giant Hippo if he's still around. How many charges of the Ring of the Ram you should use? Three. <laughs> it's always three. The answer is always three. Yeah, it's never. <laughs> it's gonna be done before too long. Yeah, fuck him up. Three. All right. So what's the roll to hit? <laughs> That's seven. Okay. Nice. Three. Uh, so Twenty-three. Yeah, 23. That hits. Bah! Give me all your d Oh, yeah. I guess, I mean, if you really want to, you can. Yeah, we want to see it. All right. How many d do you roll? Go for it. Uh, six. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> That's the damage? Yeah. Force damage. 
I don't have any more. You're just gonna spray <laughs> <laughs> little like little cow shame with oh, blood. No. I think I lost one. No, we're back on each side. White D10s. Oh no, there it is. Get this garbage out of here. <laughs> Get the GM's garbage out of here. No, it's the powers combined. I'm using everybody's D10s from the There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so zero. So that's a nine. Nine. That, that's ten. Honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus ten. That's a one. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. Oh, you're right. No, I thought it was a D hundred. So twenty nine. Holy shit. Thirty eight. Thirty eight. <laughs> plus twenty. Forty. Freaking the Bram. Forty. Twenty two. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's just forty two fucking damage. His, uh, Blah! <laughs> just splatter. <laughs> yeah, just, he just split him in half and the legs up. It's like this Dano snap, but it's just like blood <laughs> off. And you're like, oh, I got it in my mouth. The thing you oh, have in his corpse goes flying across the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you blow him into little Callum yeah. Shane from Heapside. Yeah. <laughs> Guards just walking. <laughs> what the fuck? Bring it to Bram. Give me my D10. No, these are all mine now. Stay together. Yes. That's why I'm saying if Rob will do that. Sometimes I'll look over and like all of my dice are now are belong to you. <laughs> all your dice are belong to him. Yes. Yay, whole person. Best spell ever. Alright. Forty three damage. Alright. So <laughs> you take your hand, throw it up there with the ring there, and Anamantine. A ghostly adamantine ram head appears and flies out up at it, and as it hits it, it goes and just kind of gets enveloped in the mist. Oh, the ram head was enveloped in the mist and gone. Yeah. Oh. The cloak is like dispel or something. Holy shit. Yeah, like, so the one was just you, yeah, you know, yeah. you failing. So this thing has a thing, these guys have a thing that, uh, once, it basically gets to ignore three killing blows. So you, you oh, yeah, because you just say don't worry about rolling damage. Right. But, so you attacked yeah. it once, like so. Caladora hit it with. You actually had it at one hit point, right? And Caladora did her. Caladora did her thing where she damages it along with the guy she's attacking. That took one of his things. Then you had two attacks, and you hit it through its neck. Took its second one. Then you rolled a one. So it still had one thing left, which then it jumped up to get away. You sent the hammer up there, but rolled a one, yeah. <laughs> and then you used all your Ring of the Ram for its last use of Unstoppable. And now it's so, Nicholas's turn. Does, just kidding, it gets away. Now, now. It, get, now it just yeah, it's runs away. No, oh, did the force doesn't knock him down or anything. Damn, no, take the cloak. Takes of the nothing. One. Takes uh, zero. Say so tell Calador to take the cloak of the one that we felled. Damn, I was really hoping that somebody was going to get a brood awakening when a cold just went through. It would have been awesome. Thanks, but it literally just fun. basically negates the attack that would have killed yeah. it. Yeah. Like, Damn, if he threw two javelins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you would have attacked twice. I still have my second attack. No, you don't. Your entire action is to use the Ring of the Ram. No, that doesn't count as an attack? No. It's not it's an attack object. action, it's use object. You don't have a bonus action, throw javelin? No. <laughs> <laughs> bonus action, throw javelin. <laughs> it should be a thing. Uh, Damn. Uh, so but hey, we got one. Two javelins. Hey, you even... may have had a chance of killing him. And only Usman is dead, but I'm going to try to bring him back right now. Yeah, he's he not can, even hurt. He's not even dead, is he? No, he's like on the ground bleeding, and you All can right. go over and heal him. Right. So that guy is probably. Like, Do I need to take that off me? Yes. Holy shit! I just barely got out of there. Yeah. Uh, he takes thirteen healing. Uh, he's hey, oh, back sorry, in. that's a D ten. God damn it. Huh? And he takes seven back. So. Is he? Oh. <laughs> sorry, brother. You guys know is the danger gone? Uh, you fought well. Thanks for coming to the aid of my compatriot. Where are we? <laughs> We're in Heapside, aren't we? Didn't yeah, we? you're on your street. Yeah, I know. You're just... I know. Yeah, I know. I'm I, it seems like we're <laughs> being Drifada too yeah. much. 
She, we he already guarded the streets. Is there I know, to guard the house? Yelled, immediately should have yelled for Drifada. Drifada! <laughs> just holding this whole person spell. Like, well, he's dead now. No, no he's unconscious. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. got the one on the ground. Shall we question? Uh, yeah, we should ask all kinds of questions. Okay. All right. Well, I'll take Usman home. You guys can get to the dirty work. Hmm. Split the party. Well, I don't. I don't involve myself in torture. Oh, is that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened on the boat last time we kept someone to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys didn't do the torturing. The Rivington rats did the torturing. I know, but I, was, I couldn't be part of it. Yeah. Okay. Needle's high, I'll just do whatever you tell him to do. This one's just like, all right. Needle came back from the dead. He's like, Ugh. Did I die? <laughs> <laughs> They're just really high. All right, so I'll, I'll leave with Usman then. Uh. Are you put in here? Or take back the pie? The I probably would have said I take him to the pie <laughs> to question him. Yeah, let's have pie. Don't do it in the street. Uh, I'm slowly getting better at the Scottish accent. It's pick him up. It's becoming less Bryn Yalp Bryn and more Scottish. Is this like an actual person? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good question. <laughs> like, can can take off we, the mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah what's the face of like? She already uh, did. She already took off the mask and knocked him unconscious. Yeah. Um, I had to throw him over my shoulder. And <laughs> I'm casting back. mage armor. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case that guy comes back. All right, so the three of you carrying the body head back to the piece of the pie, where when you enter, Drifada is... At her post, dutifully. Javada! <laughs> I brought you some drugs. <laughs> some what? Don't do all drugs. That, oh. <laughs> oh, and this guy. <laughs> Javada, I wrote you a poem. What has happened? <laughs> I, I was killed. It was amazing. But unfortunately, you are still here. You saw the weave. Uh, this saw. this guy, uh, he, he tackles with friend. And friend gets away. I think. Because uh, all we saw was just mist, right? My back hurts. Well, you saw his cloak <laughs> depart. Ah. Uh, so we, we question him. Sorry. Uh, is sealer open? Yes, it is open. <laughs> it's our place. Uh, well, good. Uh, search him like he's still unconscious. Yeah. You can strip yeah. him down of his armor, cloak. Uh, like, the cloak is just this very, very fine fabric that, like, just blends into itself. So you can't see its folds and all that. Really weird to look at. But underneath that, he's just, you know, black clothing, leather armor. Is uh, it nice with you? Does it feel good? It feels great. Uh, I'm going to just touch it for a while. Mm, this is great. Uh, uh, it's like the first time you feel silk. You're like, mm. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> yeah, Caladora, like, takes the winch. <laughs> pulls it down, starts tying him up. But this is like the Punisher now. <laughs> and then cranks him up, <laughs> hanging above the cellar. <laughs> you guys saw the original Punisher, right? Where he pokes the dude with the popsicle when he's torturing him. I never saw the movie, just the, no, just the show. Okay. The show oh, is yeah, he's good. all like, it's so hot that it just burns. Yeah, he, he basically ties the guy up and he, he turns on the, the welder, like the. Like, ch -ch when he turns it up real high and he's like at this temperature any damage I do to you is permanent he's like I'm gonna burn you I'm gonna burn you bad and he's like you're not even gonna feel it it'll, it'll burn off all of your nerves it'll burn your skin just know that it's melting and then he ends up like taking a popsicle out of his mouth and like poking the guy in the back like that and yeah. dragging the popsicle and he's like oh no no because he thinks that he's like burning the nerves off and like oh, geez. basically damaging his back and then when he lets him down, he's just covered in, like, juice. <laughs> God. Um, so Sorry, I didn't mean to poke you so hard. Like, no, that's okay. He's still unconscious. I mean, uh, does he wake up at any time? Or? You can wake him up. Yeah. Take a bucket of water and... <laughs> splash it on him. Or See if he likes the Oreo. Yeah. Slap him. Yeah. <laughs> Get, take uh, those feet. Should <laughs> I... <laughs> Get somebody from the Revolver's Union to play stuck in the middle with you. 
Just make some, make some sparks fly in his face. Uh, first question, where's the paper, obviously. Um, yep. Second question, do you know anything about this book? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And third question, where can I get uh, some new clothes design? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> give knife back. <clears throat> um, uh, Needle's going to give book where he was writing his poetry, flip through some pages and start... And he's going to. Uh, You're going to do the, the bogon thing. You're just going to recite goblin poetry until he gives. No, a- no, I'm flipping away from those pages. That's 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 not going to be good though. Detecting thoughts. Yes. What's the saving throw? Well, so it just happens, but I am going to try to dig deep. Dig deep. So yeah, that will be a. Uh, that's detect magic. Hold on. Um, that would be a wisdom sixteen. He fails. Excellent. All right. So. So that we don't have to graphically go into detail of a torture scene, um, he's he's not going to talk. Like he's okay with dying. Uh, I figured, yeah, death cold assassin. Right. Go figure. Yeah, okay with him dying too. Right, but through you, uh, you know that he, uh, like, so your thoughts, like thoughts are. <laughs> you, we cut uh, his foot off and feed it to him. Detect thoughts. I'm assuming he's not just words and things like that it's like yeah, you're you're, you're seeing everything like you're seeing memories yeah um so you see uh Corian Key not Corian Key the other guy uh the main one well you do oh. see Corian Key but you're you know that he's about, dead I have it written down you're talking about Jameis Exaltarian <laughs> and the other one the one that owned the place oh the owner um who was that the gnome nope gnome owned your place Corian Key, let's see. Pask and Rhea? Yes. Oh, okay. In Rio, yeah. Who's the name right trying to figure out? The guy that owned the slaughterhouse. Pask. Oh, yeah, Pask. I think that's yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> Pask and Rhea, okay. Pask and Rhea and uh, Jameis Exaltarian and Corian Key. And you see all of them, but you see them each in their full dead three regalia each is dedicated to one of the gods oh so Jameis is uh Merkel not Merkel Jameis mm, yes Jameis is Merkel uh Posk is Bane and Corian was Bale really and you see specifically Corian Key a lot in his memories, deep memories. He was the person that would assign him to his work and tell him who to kill. Poskwood? Yes. Okay. No, not Posk. Oh. Uh, Corian. 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 Okay. So, bail to bail. Got to murder to murder. Right. Yeah. He is a death's head of bail. This person before you. Um. So a couple things. You see some mutilation of bodies in the slaughterhouse. You also see them being dropped outside of a tea house at the, in like the small hours of the night uh, by this man and a couple others of the cult. Um, as these people have been, the bodies have been sacrifi- or sacrificed at the slaughterhouse, then mutilated in a specific way, and then dropped in front of this uh tavern tea house or not in front behind the remains yes the body okay um <clears throat> you see that posk tasked this man and the other one you don't see his face or anything you just see him and his death head uh to seek revenge upon you Hmm. And that they've been waiting for a couple nights. They've been just watching your two, to and froms, and waiting for a time to strike. Let's see, ordered by Pops for that. You also know or see a memory that these aren't the only people that have been tasked with uh, revenge on Spinel Road. Uh huh. 
I'm starting to think that working for a dragon is not the coolest job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so shit. you could accept, expect more retaliation from the Cult of the Dead Three. Right. At least as long as Posk and this is Jameis. House. What, what can I surmise from that? This is my city. What? Monkey pulls the turnip. Yeah, Usman and I performed the Balder Sutra maneuver. Monkey pulls oh, the turnip. I, I see that now. Jeez. <laughs> it's from a movie called Outsourced. It's actually oh. a really good movie. <laughs> Can you just show me a picture of a tea house right now? Uh, make me a uh, history. <laughs> Not unless you pass her history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whew, uh. That's going to be a 23. Okay. Actually, just in case, I will use my inspiration here just to see if I can get higher than that. All right. I don't know. It's a 23. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. She was. I just want as much memory. Is yeah. Vedic like just punching him this whole time? <laughs> huh? No. I mean, they do try various things, but it's pretty obvious that he's not going to talk. Yeah. Twenty-three. Who knows? Like, if I, don't, if I don't recognize anything. I don't recognize anything. It's not like I've been in every tea house in the city. I'd love to have my iPad at the moment. Ah, oh, sorry, man. Just holding up the, holding up the, the stream here. All right. Psycho will have uh, probably be expecting more of this shit. I don't know when you left and what you heard. Yeah. Uh, Posk. Well, this is a citizen. He's still out there. We yeah, just... Posk is one of the few we haven't had any contact with yet. Yeah. Okay. But with the, with the slaughterhouse being all probably crawling with fists and who knows where they are. <coughs> So, um, <clears throat> digging through the memories a bit more, like it just looks like a a business, like a restaurant, you know, all that stuff. So you're thinking tea house, but uh, once you see the bodies and you see like the building, because they don't really go around in front of the building, you just see it kind of when they leave. The memories of them leaving the body and then exiting out, they kind of like glance back. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you pretty much instantaneously make the connection. Because you read the Baldur's Mouth, yeah. as you you take notes and all that stuff, it's it's the news of the city uh, that the place has to be the Smiling Boar. Oh. The Smiling Boar is in Bloomridge. That sounds swanky. It is the swankiest lower city district. Um, but it's downright rubald menu. Is it rubald? Ribald? R-I-B-A-L-D like, I've never heard anyone Ribald. say it out loud a Menu of salaciously yeah, renamed breakfast foods The Smiling Boar was always intended to cause a stir In the well-to-do Bloomridge uh, But For some reason Some serial killer has been Targeting the Smiling Boar mm. And leaving corpses In its back alley oh. Ribald Ribald Ribbled. There's no bald in it. It's just ribbled. Um, so, ribbled. for the last six months, bodies have been turning up 
with this mutilations behind this tavern in Bloomridge, and it's really been affecting their business. And you, the moment you see the body and its mutilation and it getting put down there, you're like, oh, like I've read you know nine yeah. of these articles about another body was found found behind the smiling boar and all this stuff. Like, so it was ham hocks for whatever reason. Well, that were sacrificing people, mutilating them, and then taking them into the city and dropping them behind the smiling boar. Why there? Because it's far away from where you're doing business. You want the the heat off you. Uh, but the the mouth has dubbed. Like so if I now told you I'd leave you out the back of Thirsties. And also, like, oh, someone there must have done it. It was shame. Uh, the the mouth has come up with a portrait of a serial killer that's doing this dirty work, and he is called the Sickle Man. The Sickle Man. <clears throat> yeah. how, how, how close were they to being right? Not at all. I mean, it's yeah. a group effort from all these Cults of the Dead 3 out in a slaughterhouse in the outer city. Interesting. Well, I don't say anything, because I don't want this guy to know that I know anything. Okay. Um, I'm just dealing with the... <laughs> He's this very ticklish. Seems like something that would really piss off a death cult assassin. Like him laugh. <laughs> like, wait, there's nothing you like, can do. Trying to be all cool and broody. <laughs> <and> just take a little. I think it'd be funny if they were the other way around. They're like elementary school teachers. Like, we have a bake sale this weekend. For the Merkel prayer. Oh, I meant to put the bake sale off because I've got to go to my prayer of Merkel. I mean, they were just running a business. And sacrifices and all, but. It's not uh, the same. So what? Mm. Yeah. What are you? What are you gonna do with this guy? Um. Uh, Needle says. Uh, uh, well, he's obviously not gonna talk. So let's just give him to the fist and tell him that he's associated with a uh, with a uh, uh, I uh, Ifus's case. Asia. Oh, I'm not here. Never mind. No. Never mind. No. Uh, Adolphus. Where's, where is her? It's Ifus. Yeah, Ifus. Right. Yeah. Mm, he's an assassin. He tried to assassinate. He did assassinate me. God, my back hurts. They're so rude. So, what are we going to do? Just kill him and bury him in here? Then we'd be criminals. You know, you put the top uh, caustic brew. You make a bit of brew, put him in caustic brew. I don't think it works that way. It's more of a, a splash than a but an actual vat of vats of dust. we supposed to we could make one. Um, we could let go. <laughs> let's go. No, 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 no. The other one already got away. I don't see why we shouldn't just hand him over to the fist. They come around and they ask questions again. I don't like talking to fist. We don't have to. Just drop him off. Sir. It's one of these cultists we're telling you people about. Yeah, you know that there, there's a station house essentially in uh, Eastway. Yeah, there's that ni- the actual nice fist guy. Who's, yeah. <laughs> well. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like I, I don't know if you'll ever see him again, but it's, uh, yeah. Alright, fine. Uh, I guess keep your secrets. <laughs> fine then, keep your secrets. Yeah, was he... Was that actually like this disguise? Was that was that Myrtle or uh, never mind? Um, yeah, that's that's what Nita suggests. I'm arrested. I'm thrown, kept away in this dungeons. All right, but if he's come asking, come knocking, you you talk. I'm not too. Okay, all right, I'll do the talking. So yeah. Bring him down and throw him over your shoulder. And yeah, how's a dragonborn feel mm-hmm. about all this? Yeah, huh. she's like, I'm gonna go watch the other doors. Like, yeah, we're, <laughs> she's we're paying her. She's gonna uh, react to it the way we tell her to. She's like, I'd have just killed him. <laughs> I'd <laughs> just you. killed him. <laughs> and she goes upstairs. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Needles like Chulmal would have liked it if we gave him up. <laughs> and they may be able to get more information out of him. Who knows? Mm-hmm. There is an investigation into this cult. So you take him down to the, the, the barracks, the barrack house, the local chapter of the Flaming Fist. It's pretty far 
like it's pretty much like the the furthest away and east way you can get. It's more towards the gate. Uh, and we'll leave a note for Julemal if he gets back to the pod before we leave. Oh, I'm staying here. Okay, very okay. well. <laughs> uh, and you go over there. Uh, the place is well lit outside with its green lantern on and just a ring of torches around it to burn off the fog uh, as like a little like bastion of hope in the, the dark, foggy night. Uh, but it's still pretty damn imposing. It's two stories with barred windows everywhere. Two stories. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it doesn't have any other anything next to it like other ones like the other buildings have are stacked on each other and against each other. This is just separate on its own, sitting in the street. Uh, it's got a basically big entrance on the side, the main entrance, the front. Uh, there are two fists sitting outside, uh, and as you walk up, they're like, "You should see us, see us." All right. Yeah, best explain yourselves. <laughs> See, I told you. We t- I'm, I'm, Go ahead. I'm still a little hot. You talk to them. He literally <laughs> said, "You have to talk to." Yeah. Him. I love it. <laughs> he tried to kill us, and he beat him up. I'm like still bleeding or something. <laughs> like, yeah. See, look, I turned goblin around. <laughs> hmm. All right. Take him inside. <laughs> Maybe we give you, you take him. Cult of the Dead 3. He did, yeah, he says it's a death set, yeah. This cult He is... opens up the door for you. Thank you. What do you think the odds are that the cult has infiltrated the Flaming Fist? I'll just... Neil, you bring that up! No, let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go inside. And uh, tell them, uh, ask if they're aware of the investigation in Gisipus. Uh, <clears throat> so you in walk in, and in front there, there's like a counter and there's this large man in his flaming fist uniform and has crumbs on his beard and, and tunic uh, as he's just gonna lean back and he looks up the door opens and goes oh I alright oh and I definitely took this guy's cloak worst <clears throat> NPC ever <laughs> worst in- uh, what we got here assassin quite successful one at that Oh, he wouldn't be here if he was successful, or would he? Well, that's a funny thing, if you ask. I, I suppose I didn't actually die. Um, are you? Do you know Captain oh, Ifus? Phone. Oh. I was like, where? <laughs> what is? <laughs> <Sorry>. Ifus. <sighs> Hold on. <clears throat> Run! 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 <laughs> no, I don't. Know. <laughs> Little, like a younger man who's like. He's in Flaming Fist colors, but he's obviously like an apprentice or a, a whatchamacallit? A uh, rookie? Mm, to a knight, you're a squire. Oh, squire. Basically, like, he comes in, uh, yes, Captain? And like, go rouse Ifus. Oh, shit. And he goes, <laughs> right out, and he runs off here, go upstairs. Some time passes, the guy just kind of like leans back, pulls up the Baldur's mouth, and just keeps reading. Huh. <laughs> Have I read that issue? I probably haven't read that issue. We were on Little yeah. College. I think you're in the, uh, this issue. <laughs> so he just goes through some of the more salacious stories in there. Oh, I heard about that one. Yeah. Uh, and then eventually Iphis walks down with Rin next to him and she goes, <sighs> Hello! <laughs> it's us again! Yes, thank you. Alright, um, what is this? Uh, so we definitely brought the mass with us. This is an assassin of the of the cult of the, the three. This one works for Bale in particular. All right, <laughs> pick him up and bring him in here. Pick him up and bring him in there. <laughs> so I can. <laughs> you, she has you throw him into a cell and then brings you guys into an interrogation room. Uh, well, that's, you know, brings in a pitcher of water and some cups and just like sits down and, and splashes it pulls in. out her <laughs> pulls out her book and is like what happened <laughs> yeah uh, I guess it's just getting the situation we're on our way back from uh, from outside the city and when they jumped us we never got outside the city well, yeah, we, we were didn't. on our way back from Little Callum's. No, you were. Oh, no, that's right. You were on your yeah, way from yeah. the gate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the closed gate. My soul. <laughs> yeah. 
That's right. Yeah. Start going into his 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 uh, existential crisis yeah. a bit. I yeah. talk a lot about that. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Ivan? <laughs> um, I think we should be talking about this Death's Head assassin. Yes. So I um, fended them off. There was two of them. One got away. But this one we captured, and uh, I used uh, my my weavings to peer into his mind. I didn't want to say this in front of him because I don't I don't know how long you can hold him or if he's well, I don't. I won't assume anything, but um, yes, this one, this one was working with the same with the same cults cultists that were operating the slaughterhouse house over in uh, Stony Eyes. And do you confirm now that uh, Posk and Janus yes. are indeed yeah. leads of the cult? Right. Yeah, and I don't know how that works with like because that's just my testimony. I read his thoughts and yeah. saw these things, but. She writes it all down. She asks some follow-up questions. And uh, yeah, she's like, all right, I'll... And particularly that this one's responsible for the, for the, the, for the sickle man st- dumping bodies at the, uh, at the, at the uh, uh, Smiling Boar. So, wait, what? <laughs> yes, I know. So, You've read it uh, too. <laughs> So you, like you tell her, I'm like, oh, it's the people from the slaughterhouse. We're doing this and bringing them here and doing mm-hmm. that. So she writes all that down, and she's like, all right. Well, I'll deal with this in the morning. I hope I won't see you again before. <laughs> yeah, I hope they stop attacking us too. Should we not? Should we not? Uh, <laughs> if we get attacked again, should we not let the authorities know? No, just yes. Bring them. <laughs> just. <laughs> Just get out. Yeah. Get, out <laughs> get the fuck out of here. What you don't realize is that Iphis has been unintentionally dragged up the hierarchy because of you guys. <laughs> she was getting promoted. Right? Like she was yeah. she was at the the rock and then that whole thing happened, Muriel and all that stuff, and they're like, oh, you should come into you know Stony Eyes, we'll put you at this district. And then the ham hocks case br- broke, and she was there and took care of that. And now she's now been she's, moved into the city. Yeah. <laughs> and now she's, she's, busted, she's cracked the sickle, sickle man, man case. case. <laughs> like, she's just like, I just wanted a, a nice easy station. <laughs> she keeps getting promoted because you assholes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Uh, so, yes, you guys head home. Uh, within the next few days, the mouth breaks the news that the Sickle Man case has been caught and that it was a cult of the Dead Three at the Ham Hocks that we reported on last week. Right, yeah. All of that. Uh, I fucking love this paper. Uh, the Smiling Boar does give you all, like, you know, Drink each a dozen. It's, it basically, it's a dozen free meals. You can't, you know, get more than one per each of you on any given day. But, sure. yeah, like... Ah, sweet. Completely celebrating the fact that you've cracked this, and hopefully there's not going to be more bodies. Right, like, he was just one. Right. <laughs> and even if they do, they know that it's, it has nothing to do with the establishment now. Right, It's been yeah. discredited in the paper, and everyone reads the paper. Um, but the big thing happens when... Uh, uh, in the next couple days, a woman arrives, sent from <laughs> from Turhan, from Ganesh. Oh, uh, she is a pie. She's what? She turns up the pie. Right. Yeah, she turns up with the pie. Yeah. Yes. Um. <coughs> Uh, she shows up, and she says that uh, uh, she was tasked with questioning the prisoner, Vanessa, ah. and that smiling boy. Um, at first, Vanessa disclosed that she was working for the Iron Throne. <gasps> 
It's like, but, it's like, in my line of work, you realize that the first thing thrown out from one of these types of agents is always a smokescreen. Mm. So I dug deeper. Uh, unfortunately, the only thing I could pull out of her after that is a word. Hyrith. Uh, I think in the language of the Northlands, it's a term for a longing for home, or a re longing for return to home. Mm. It's H-I-R-E-A-T-H. Hyrith. Hyrith. H-I, I'm sorry. H-I-R-E-A-T-H. Oh, okay. No W. Hyrith. A longing to return home? Yes. What language? Uh, in uh, Nord, in uh, what do we call it? The people up north. Oh, uh, those people. Yeah, what are they? Barbarians. Yes, but the, they have a name. Like the never, like the like the, not like the like the Icewind Dale kind of like yeah, area. Yeah, those people. Yeah, uh, I don't remember what they're called. Mm. I should know. Like you had the werewolf girl that you guys ran with in the. Oh God! Uh, oh, what were Dragonborn? Those guys? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, like it's a shit. prominent. Group in Round like Realms. Uthgard. Uthgard, yeah, that's yeah. it. Uthgard. Yeah. It's in Uthgard. It's it's that. It's a it's I'm a feeling. Better. I'm yeah. better. It's a feeling or a thing like of a of a place that means like that's home, uh, that you can't return to, and it it's even like more esoteric than that. Is it? It may have never existed. It could be like a return to a like you want to return to a thing, an of purity and an ideal. Isn't that uh, ranger in Earth Garden? Hmm? That ranger? Or that, that ranger I mean, you were yeah. wooing? What she got? Um, yeah. Does, is this, she got this word out of the person they were torturing? Finesse. Right? Finesse. I mean, okay. you don't... She didn't say she was torturing him. She just said she got the word out of him. It's Sunday stuff. I'll say there's a phenomenon that people go through that, like, usually happens when, like, your parents die or something like that. That, that idea that you can never go back to, like, your uh, home when you're growing up as a kid or something yep. like that, that that's all gone. And yep. And this is a real word, by the way. You can look it up on Google. Oh, cool. Um, hmm? She said the Iron Bing. Throne, though. That's weird. You can look it up on Bing, too? I mean, probably not. <laughs> it you would should... be like, did you mean High Heath? Huh. And she's like, obviously this word means nothing to you. No, but uh, Iron Throne did. There was someone who was after us who also used uh, and, uh, used the symbol. Of the blue. Can't trip that up. It was this, that, that bard. What, what was it, Muriel? Muriel. Well, whoever this person is. Now, I know you said you don't, do you think that's just a smoke screen but it, how, what a weird one to use um, given the coincidence so essentially through the exchange of information you learn that uh, it's discovered that his son Ganesh's son was, was a, had joined the right Pashas the right Pashas and wanted to take oh. over the thing and someone approached them this Vanessa woman and basically made an offer to join forces basically he was going to do something undisclosed. They haven't got out of it yet. He was going to give some resources or money or whatever, clout, to some group that was going to assassinate him and pin it on you guys. Uh-huh. Wait, who... So, wait, who did this... Did this... Uh, did Finessa approach for hot or...? Yeah. Okay. So she used that opportunity to... Okay. I just got to notice that... Wiley versus Live. Oh, oh, good. Good. Treat tokens. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. His motives are clear. It's what the bright posh is. They want to keep Kalachan closed. If he could take over his father's enterprise, one of the most vocal people to open it, and then use that to you know, flip the script, that'd be another prominent voice or another prominent household wanting to keep it closed. Yeah. But who the, like, this group coming in from the outside offering 
help with this. Pinning it on you. Can we see her, Vanessa? And she is still being held by us. You are free to come. You will, we would welcome you into our home. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I think that would be good. I would just want to just look into a connection, a possible connection. Yeah. And then on that opportunity, I'd like to detect her thoughts and blah, blah, blah. See if, see what comes up with that. Asking about Iron Throne and Oh, you can do it to Vanessa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, not, not... Not this woman. Yeah, does she give a name, by the way? Or yep. she just Yasa. Says, Yasa, All right. She calls herself an inquisitive of Ganesh. Oh. Cool. Give her tea, some bread Calidori made, I'm assuming. Uh, thank her for her time and cooperation. Uh -huh. And uh, that's... Damn. Session. What a sesh. It's a very short five hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Lots of... Uh, lots of loose strings starting to... Yeah. Tangle. It's nice to... Nice to have some... Some leads on some things. God, that chase was nuts. Assassination. Party time. We were assassinated. <laughs> yeah. You were assassinated. Yeah, I was. Got these two stupid scars on my back. On my beautiful green back. Yeah, does he do healing? Does healing not cover up scars? Or <laughs> receive scars? It does. Yes, yeah. It's really up to your your preference or choice. Because I remember that was something that was fun in the first fable. Every time that you lost all your hit points, you came back with a scar, uh, and you got you know an achievement for like making it to the end with only like three scars or something like that. Oh it yeah, was fucking impossible. <laughs> I remember that game having some pretty rough spots. No. Normally, yeah, I, I mean, I tried. Go. Normally, yeah, we let should. the goblins die, but he's been pretty useful. <laughs> we kind of need Needle. <laughs> Yay. Well, yeah, not this time. Hippo. If that's your real name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gears are turning. That was a, that was a fun session. Mm -hmm. It was a good balance of the, of the combat versus... Uh, the thinky stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, the thinky the, stuff hurts Vidic's brain, so... Well, even the combat is kind of thinky, you know? Yeah, that was some pretty tricky combat, for sure. Yeah. Let's go back and actually count up how many inspirations I used in that <laughs> right. Yeah. So, what's up? You, you're not going to be here next weekend, right? Okay. Uh, we can get back to that? Should be. Okay. Oh, actually, definitely will be, because I'll use up all my hours. Oh, okay. Week. So, Giant Hippo... Next Sunday, you're available for a one shot. Because he's yeah. off on the next couple Sundays. Right, right. Savage here. Worlds. Oh, I have a. You have a D&D &D one shot? Yeah. I think you should have like three or four of them just in case anything happens. We can always throw a new one in. Uh -huh. So we don't miss Sundays anymore just because somebody can't make it. It's another uh, tie in to the, the yeah, Spinal Road campaign. Just I like the last one. Keep throwing little novellas. Yeah. In. Yep. Maybe it's more like, and more. Meanwhile, like, yeah. you know, it's all this stuff going on here. It's like, meanwhile, miles away, something yeah. completely, seemingly inconsequential happens. <laughs> it's just little vignettes. <sighs> hmm. Well, I guess that's it then. That is our session for tonight. You, you taking us out? Sure. Uh, this has been another edition of the Wileyverse where we're playing the Spinnel Road, which is a long campaign. You did it right. Five. What's up? You yeah, did it I'm right getting away? it right finally. <laughs> which has been a uh, which is a long campaign 5e uh, set in Forgotten Realms. We play uh, an ongoing campaign every Sunday at four o'clock Mountain Standard Time at the moment. Arizona doesn't change, so check your own clocks. Four hours from or five hours away, geez, from when we started right now. Um, if you enjoyed the stream, or if you want to catch up, or you want to see anything else, or you want to see what we've been doing other than just this campaign, there's a YouTube link down below where you can catch up on all of our previous stuff, see some of the other things that we do for fun. Uh, and just catch up on some D and D. We're also sponsored by Drive Through RPG. You can see their link down below. If you make any purchases from there using that link, we get a percentage of it back here for the for the studio. Uh, Drive Through RPG is a great place to find source books and rule books all in PDF and save a whole bunch of money. We have some other stuff you should too. There's also a link down there for Wileyverse merchandise where you can get headbands and shirts and thongs with the W all over them. Uh, so you know, I know 
Easter's coming up, they make great Easter presents. Mm. Yeah, everyone stuff wants like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone wants Dungeons and Dragons, that and the we Satan all, game. Yeah, right. And we Easter. always we always want to say thanks to everybody that came down and hung out with us today. Super Sad Squad, Giant Hippo, it's good to see you again. Uh, Drew B JP, thank you as always for being down here. I Wait, like did JP jump in? I feel like he was here way early in the beginning. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Yesterday. I think that was yesterday. Yeah, that was yesterday. Did I miss anybody else too? There's Giant Hippo, Drew B, <laughs> Super Sad Squad. I feel like I'm missing one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess not, huh? Well, always good to see you. Always good to see you guys. Out. Yeah, and then uh, just like always, if you haven't checked out SuperSadSquad.com, it's uh, yeah. artists from Arkansas does some great artwork, some neat stuff. Friend of ours, you should be a friend of yours too. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see you next week on Sunday, if not before. Uh, we will be doing a one shot next week as one of our players from this game. He's not Game here. On. Yeah. Cats, cats, cats. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week, if not earlier. Bye. Wait, Sunday. Bye. We'll always see you next week. Yep. See you next <laughs> week. I can't see you any earlier than next week. <laughs>